Yo, what's going on, everybody? Splendu, I met you guys. Get some more out of ore. That's right, we're back after the Easter long weekend, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sorry, just playing some music in the, the truck. Wicked music rocking it out. Hell yeah, buddy. Make sure you guys come to chat. Make sure you guys say what's up on Twitch and YouTube. Well, let me open up my notifications here real quick, guys. So we can see what's going on. It's Vates. Thank you very much for that. Uh, man, appreciate that. What's up, dirt nerds? No doubt. We got Kevin Smith. We got Anthony Defiant. Randy King. Bag. What's up, guys? Keith as well. What's up, guys? Hope you guys are good. Jasmine as well. Who that over on Twitch? Having a great day. We got Oz. Congrats, by the way, Oz, on your on your win and your free vacation, by the way. <laughs> Get some water in here. Welcome back. Yeah. So this weekend, just kind of give you guys an idea. I think it's on Friday. I was like, you know, I'll probably be, I'll probably be playing stuff like that. You guys are probably expecting me to do some streaming. I had a lot of stuff to do this weekend, and I don't very have very much time to really do like a lot of things other than stream and work, stream and work. So if I take days off, I'm normally doing something. I had a lot of stuff to do around the house, setting up for spring coming, and uh, get just getting outside and spending that time this Easter with. I can kick him back and relax next to the fire pit and uh, doing some barbecue and stuff like that. You know what I was doing the last couple days and uh, just kind of relaxing and trying to stay away from the, the video games as much as I possibly can. Cause I'll be having this big giant surge of content again. And I mean, this last push was like 60 something days of just work where I was like, it was more like 70 something days plus cause it's like testing, recording, you know, testing, recording, doing all kinds of stuff. Right. Call spring clean for a reason. Yeah, well, we still got a lot more stuff to do as well coming up here on uh, on that around the house and stuff. And next weekend, I think we're uh, not going to be streaming next weekend either. So we got, we're got we just really busy on the weekends. So apologies. Not really apologies, but, you know, still got to get that out there right off the bat. That's kind of what's been going on. Uh, sorry for the late um, thing. I, I posted the, the time last from the last stream, but I forgot. I didn't set it for the right day. So that's why there wasn't a thing until the other morning. And yesterday, you know what? I was like, you know what? Dopey said no. No streaming. It's time to uh, do some more stuff. So pretty much what was going on. Just was getting stuff done, hanging out, relaxing. And, uh, and then, you know, clear my headspace a little bit. You know what I mean? Y'all have a life outside video games? Sometimes, sometimes not. Like I said, this is our fam. This is our fam. Like, like pretty much like you guys are pretty much a majority of what we do a lot. And we enjoy that. So we tend to be around a lot where some people will be like, oh, you guys don't ever do anything other than just stream work. So what we enjoy to do. So and sometimes we just need a break from just gaming in general. It has nothing to do with the community, but they tend to go hand in hand. Right. So yeah, that's what's been going on, but that's what's been up. So pretty much what's been going on on the actual game side of everything. Pretty much. I have been just grinding my butt off. The last you know streams there's nothing i can really do that makes things go faster right so yeah there's nothing i can really do i can't i can't go i can't mine faster without using some weird exploity way of digging like you know belt mining or things like that right so it kind of leaves me i'm kind of stuck just continuing to do what i'm doing i know it might get a little bit boring from time to time but you know i did warn you guys in the beginning of these massive mega projects they do consume a lot of time. Yeah, I tend to work <laughs> work between gaming. Yeah, it kind of gets that way, right? Hey, what's up, Connor? What's up, Snippy? He said, welcome. Locksmith, what's up, guys? Preparing for bad storms. But yeah, so today, let me see here. What is on the agenda for today? I need to go check the... Um, I need to go check my... All the stuff I stuffed into all the stuff last time. Drive to the truck. Check out uh, all this. Make sure this is all up to date. I don't have a HUD because I turned it off. Let's turn that back on. Check all this equipment here. Get all of our gold bars. Let's kind of see how much money we have just floating around. I don't think these are loaded up with anything. Take a look. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Nope. Nope. And nope. That means these are probably full. So, yes. Ah. 
More money. And I have a decision I gotta make here soon. When am I going to actually spend all this money? Ooh, what? Oh. Okay. We're up to 9,000 more gold. 9,700. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this all in here real quick as well. Go in here and then I can uh, read chat for a second. More. Get all this queued up. 89? Okay, that's weird. We'll just slide it all the way over there. 99. You allowed to watch Aqua Barbie House? Pfft. No. 89. He's loaded for the day. Up here. Hello, all in split. What's up, Randy? We'll kind of take a look at our, our. I've spent a lot of money on explosives, so let's go ahead and uh, dump this in. Then I gotta go get the uh, wash plants rolling for the day. I was okay. I was gonna get on earlier. I was talking in Discord there. Man. I was just sitting there drinking coffee, watching the gold, the gold mining simulator discord. Just getting a good lull. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my gosh. The DMS just do not stop coming on this bad boy. Whew. It's been, this has been like the most entertaining thing in a long time. Oh man. Oh man. I got to get the, uh, I got to get the dirt out of the box down there. Oh my gosh. It's been absolutely fantastic to uh, watch. <laughs> oh dude trying to watch them on your phone where are you at yeah let's get some of this oh we have a lot of pay dirt remember because i stocked up on it so let's go ahead and pull pay dirt out and i'm gonna stick it up at the top That is all the extra pay dirt I have to run. Pull the solid rock as well, too. Oh, you guys, no power, huh? Damn. And I'm going to jump the truck, so I got to do all this boring stuff right off the bat. Woo! It's loud. Now, let me turn the sound off so I don't, like, smash you guys with the with these machines over here while I'm standing here. I'm going to mute the sound for a second. And send you some. Okay, so we got to do the same thing. We're going to keep processing gravel. It takes forever to process this gold, but I mean, hey, at a five to one guaranteed ratio, it's not bad. You know, it takes about five hours. You just need more. Right, but this is a, this is good for what I need to do. I can farm for about two hours and some change with my normal box. Uh, or just farm a full day like I've been doing and give myself a lot of material to put in here. That way when I'm making my runs up the hill, it's not so brutal, right? Like, Because when I hit bedrock, it's going to be really important to have this massive stockpile of uh, pay dirt to use but i will have a full another run of pay dirt so that's not too big of a deal a grumpy you don't want to turn into a grumpy old man with no power and the sound of these things and those other ones running over there is juicy get it Okay, we're all filled up here. 
I'm going to buy another container and just kind of put it right here for right now. A temporary uh, storage. Let's go into building production, and I'm looking for a box. And I'm going to put all the pay dirt. Oops. Put all the pay dirt over here. There we go. Slap it there for now. That way I can put in all the pager that's got to be ran over the next few days. There it can be sold. Okay. It's a lot of pager right there. Oh, we got some more in my inventory here. Let's pull this out as well. And I'm just going to put gold to be smelted right here. And I have gold bars over on the other side, so. Huh, interesting. My channel list and the front page doesn't show you as live. Uh, try refreshing your page. Try refreshing it. Sometimes mine does that too. Sometimes I have to refresh before I can see someone's actually live if I've been on YouTube for too long. If I have to refresh my page sometimes. And then you'll see someone as being live. It's, it's I don't know. YouTube is just broken, I guess. As always, right? Oh, gosh. Duck. All right, I'll sell some of this off. Get rid of some of this dirt. Kind of do a little bit of a cleanup today and see what I got laying around for some cash. We're saving the gold bars. Bring out our coal. Let's empty our box. Kind of consolidate some things here. See what I have. See what's going on. I need to make a major push for... Um, I need to make a massive push to see what I have for building materials and where we're going in the next thing. I did that a couple times. Like you said, YouTube is probably just a dumpster fire again. Pages do not refresh. You have to actively refresh yours. Yeah, it's kind of... kind of a shit show. Gotta love YouTube. Virus of the 19 months, brother. 19 months, man. Much love, dude. Poof. Making them fart noises, huh? Virus is now known as the Crop Dust King. Just comes into Discord, farts, and then leaves. Okay. So. I'm sitting on quite a bit of. Put this coal in here. Move these blocks down. We'll sell off all this crap. Go boss. We sell. Get rid of the solid rock. Make a little bit of blasting cash or whatever we need it for. Hopefully everybody had a great Easter weekend. Spending time with the family or just relaxing. What'd you guys do? Did you guys just kick back, hang out, watch movies? and Or did you guys actually go to your guys' fam? What do you guys do? What'd you guys do this weekend? All right, so I made a cool 300K. Well over 300k. Let's keep getting rid of this stuff. What else do we have? Anything else floating around here? No. Okay. Anything else selling here? No, we're keeping still. Steal. Let's see. Sleep and eat. <laughs> Getting close to your first relic. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got some iron ore. Blasted rock. Gravel. Let me just get rid of the blasted rock. Got some iron ore here. We got a little bit from mining some of the residual nodes out around the area. Uh, gravel and some DLC stuff in here. So nothing really in there. Oh, birthday party. Sun turned 12. Nice, man. Well, you guys had a good time. I was digging dirt all weekend and still going. Oh, yeah, buddy. Did the exact same thing. I do every other weekend. Nothing. Damn. 
It's all right, though, dude. We got you. Okay, so I do have a little stockpile of gold saved up here so far. And the stuff that's processing. The 5,000 or something that's being smelted right now. As well as the 3,000 something that needs to be smelted. Let's see. And then we have some diamonds, rubies, and silicon as well. All right. All right so we're all cleaned up. Let's go and drop a save then. We don't want to have to do that all again if we crash. So, yeah, no. It's the save has been acting a little wonky, so I got to baby it a little bit. And we'll turn the sound back on here in a second so you guys are once, once we get away from the machines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, bud, you weren't wrong. It has nothing to do with the leaderboards. Yep. Okay. All right, let's go take a look at the uh, the mine site down there. These are all these are all rolling for gold right now. Those will be done in about uh, about fifty minutes. So in about an hour, yell at me, guys. So I come up here and swap that out. We need to get that gold. We need. I need. I definitely need this week. I need to do. A big I need to do I need to add on to the dam for sure. You know, we need to sell all that gold, we need to sell everything, and we're gonna have a 50% tax, so I need as much money as humanly possible to buy bricks and stuff like that with. Because we're still not on bedrock. Let's go down and take out the check out the cuts. <laughs> kind of evaluate what I gotta do here. So we got the wall that's already chunked out here. We got the road that's put in. We have a cut over here that we can start. I still have not made up my mind yet whether or not I'm going to free build in a, a rounded part. I was thinking like an S, but man, that is going to be very tedious brickwork. Now that we have free build without snapping. That is a that is a big one. Free build without snapping. Remember remember when I was sitting up on top of the up on top of that building over there and I was sitting there trying to snap that block into place? At that very moment I realized I needed to campaign to get that fixed cuz that is bullshit. Like <laughs> like we have snap mode Right? Why did free mode need to be snapping? It doesn't. Okay. So yeah. Uh, all the money that gets saved in the company fund from the taxes gets put. It can be, I can use it on decorating, right? So right now the, the company bank has $800,000 worth of taxes that it's accumulated. Now, we had a whole week where we spent a bunch of money because Den came in and dropped 50 gifted subs to take the tax away for a week. That's why I was able to progress so quickly. And um, But this week, we don't have that. So at some point, I'm going to have to buy... I'm going to be spending a lot of money in taxes. So... Yep. But that should... I should be able to finish this part over here. And I should be able to finish the front side of this, and then s I can't start the second portion. Free mode should be uh should be for making diagonal or circles and diagonal edges. Absolutely, that's that's why I was telling Christian I was like, it doesn't make any sense at all to have free build snap to anything. It should it should just be a free we can place it wherever, however, and rotate it. Uh, yeah, we can't flip it up on the axis and stuff like that and rotate it that way, but at least now we can place them inside of other blocks without them snapping and looking at weird ang angles, right? So that is that is a huge bonus to having free non-snapping free mode. Like I said, we already have grid mode and we already have snappy mode, so there's no point in having that. That was my argument. I just was like, this is absolutely makes no sense at all. When you look at something and something's just like, what the F? That was one of those things that just kind of irritated me. And the more and more I played with it, it just really pissed me off. <laughs> it's like, so I'm ho I'm happy that he changed it. Hopefully it makes more sense that way, guys. What's up, Dark? Oh, the jumping off and spinning? <laughs> me walking around? Okay. All right, so what am I doing here today? Let's see. Okay, I do... I need to make a decision on this. I need to make a decision. I need to see. 
what I'm doing with this over here. Does the dam need to be symmetrically even on this side? I don't think it does. I'm thinking it doesn't. I, it's not going to fit the landscape as well if I do. I think if I follow the natural curve of this mountain, it'll be a little easier for me to... Let's zoom this back here a little bit. We're going to have a lot of block mesh in here. It's not going to look perfect, but we can hide it and disguise it. I know, right? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to take a look at this to see how I want it. I think if I just slowly start to. Diggy diggy holes. What's up, Cam? Okay. That's actually not looking too bad. See, now that's, this is the problem. See, that was, that's why I had to literally stop the Hoover Dam project was because I couldn't, you could, it was hard to get the curvature when everything would just snap, right? So you couldn't do this before. It would just snap. And uh, it's kind of a bummer now that I've already been, I'm this far into the project, but I could do a teardown and a re, a thing, but that would take me quite a bit of time. To uh, fit every piece in here. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to curve this in or I'm just going to do a little bit of a bend, right? Now, if I put a block at the bottom and as long as it's lined up right here at this bottom here and then I go up, there'll only be a little lip at the very top, which is completely fine, right? It's not like I need to go OCD hardcore and there's a lip on this back end right here, which is no big deal. I can block merge that in to make it look like it didn't even happen. All right, but I can kind of put these in with a little bit of wood here. So if I, I want to curve this. I kind of want to curve this like an S. I want to go, I want to keep curving this and then straighten it out and then curve it going, then going this way. So it has more of a unique shape to it, right? Because one thing that I dislike about the game is that it kind of pigeoned us before to always keep things in straight lines, right? Like everything's perfectly squared. And it's like, I, ugh, it, it kind of bothers, bothers me after a little while. You know what I mean? I'm like, ugh. But, um, that's the best way for me to do this would probably be to zoom in. I can't, that's max zoom, I guess. We're doing okay. I just need to not overthink it and just keep doing what I'm doing. Try not to merge these blocks in too, too deep to each other. A little bit overlaps, okay. Yo, split. I'm late again. Oh, y'all good, dude. Never have to worry about that. What's up, Eagle? What's up, Kevin? What's up, guys? Anybody who I might have missed just in there looking at blocks? Yeah, no, not very exciting. <laughs> trying to trying to see here if I can round that off.
Yeah, I had a great weekend, dudes. Honestly, I had a really good weekend. Just I like I said, I tried to get as much work done as I could around the house, as well as just kind of relax, just relaxing, right? Just kicking it outside. We pretty much just sat there and and uh, enjoyed the fire pit. We torched off a whole propane tank, f the carbon tax. You know what I mean? Do that bullshit, and uh, we kind of just just chilled. Ugh, that's garbage. We get this line in. Yeah, I've definitely been needing it. Like I said, I've been, I've been going hard for about 70 plus days. Um, just need that extra extra sleep, right? Just kind of catch up and then neglecting things around the house. <laughs> you know, ne neglecting things in life, just in general. You know, going back to work and... Effing tree. Dude, that's way off. Okay, it's a nice little bend. Now, if I'm looking at it from up here. Let's go up top here. Take a look here. So this will follow that. That's all right. I just hard curves off. I should have went out a little further. Then bend it over. But that'll be okay. Like I said, it's not... Not looking for... Be per perfect. These big giant builds. Sometimes you can just kind of like... I want, so yeah, if I go this way... And then I was thinking about going and then curving it off that way eventually. And then right pushing... That all has to come up to here, this height. That means I have to push this whole mountain in to fill this in. I think it'll look, it'll look really good once it's done, but right now it's kind of like, what the F is going on here? No, it'll be fine though. Okay, let's give you another uh, stomach churner. All right. Okay, so everything down below that, I'll have to, I'll have to get that line eventually done. I'll probably do it. I'll probably put the line in off stream, but um, that way I can get the curve down. The way that I want it, and then I'll do all the buying the brickworks, and I'll replace all this with stone and and stuff. I'm still debating now since we got free build, free build without snapping. I'm still debating whether or not to make the dam curved or not, because it's, it's still gonna have the black the the brick merging problem, right? So it's still gonna it's still gonna have that issue, and I don't know if on this big of a scale, all those things meshing into each other is going to cause a big issue. I'm still, cause I had to do the backside of the dam as well too. Right. And, uh, that can be, that's a lot of grid work, right. To make sure everything is, is, is correct. Right. That's ma math. <laughs> yes. I was also thinking about changing it up too, and just doing the normal do this. And then the bottom part down here, having it be a bowl. A dish um because it's gonna be a different a different style down here than up there up there's gonna have the road and then down here i might be able to do a, a curved one on the bottom because you remember this is gonna be a two-tiered dam right so two jobs gets you after a bit yeah it does get to you for a little while you know it took me a little bit of uh getting used to so i've been really trying to enjoy my weekend can you test it what do you mean test what no that i mean for me testing that would be a ridiculous amount of time to rip all these blocks down and then map it all up and that'd be something i do off stream with a doobie and and some metal music and just zone out on my own it's a little hard to do that that work when i'm on stream and you know trying to focus on the stream and everything like that they gotta draw it out i gotta draw it out make a template make sure everything's gonna line up math wise and blueprint it pretty much in a sense because the distance between i make a grid like this right on the top side the the, the road has the road on the top side of the, the arch has to be a certain width 
right? So I have to keep that width. And if I build the top, if I can get the top in fine, the top two rows going all the way in and they're marked out, then it should be no problem. And then the bottom will just fall into line, right? So as long as you can get your top section down, you're good to go. It'll, it'll the blocks will then you just snap all the way down. So it's, it's an immense change. It really is. And then I got to fix the backside of the dam completely as well too, right? So that's two factors that are, that are annoying. But I mean, overall, I think it would look insane being arched. But then again, I'm also looking about adding a massive amount more time to the project. So yeah, I'll be looking for a bit. Good to see everything's still going. Hell yeah, buddy. Okay, because like, okay, if, you know, you're like, oh, can you just couldn't you just arch the the top piece? No. Um, because if I arced this piece here, right? If I arced that around, then this piece here would have to be arced with it. Sounds B day. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. Spend the time with the fans. The alert move. He's going to have him and listen to T, T Swift. Yeah, that was, I'm, yeah, that, that's like sitting here going, this is me sitting here going like this. Hmm. 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 Well, hmm. So I don't know if I want to get into that battle with myself right now. You know, you know what I mean? I don't know. Because it can't, if it's off. One thing I tested when I built the when I built the Hoover Dam before and just in flying around to be able to like do things in dev mode and like one thing I found out was is that it was for one it caused more lag. And it was just yeah, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. The way the end of way they ended up, up close it looks like shit. Far away it looked okay, but now but we have the damn we have the outside, we have this non snap right. So that was my that was kind of my concern, or my my mm, awesome but damn I wish we would have had that before we started this. What is it called? When the outside is hollow, what do you mean? Outside. I would suggest keeping the dam. In its current shape, given that the build system is still kind of badass. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking we can alter it down below, I think. I think the best thing to do would be keep this big thing the way it is. Because I'm I'm gonna be doing a massive amount of like work on the front side of this to make this thing look crazy. And I'm thinking about doing a mini Hoover Dam down here. Right? Because remember how I said I was gonna add a second tier? That would be kind of sick. Could you imagine this dam here? And then down below, there's a little Hoover Dam size thing, and there's like a little lake back and behind it. So it kind of falls down, big grids, and then and then it goes out like this. So I'm thinking that's what I'm probably going to do. I knew I was going to make a double tier dam, but doing a, an arched one in between this layer here, right? And then having this kind of curve out like this, and then that one do the same thing over there. Let's see. Yeah, I know I'm kind of just pointing around going derp, 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 derp. But yeah. All right. So for the day, what am I doing? Let's see here. Looks like I have two options. I can either start mining over here or I can start mining along this cut wall. That means I can start filling What's up your oxen. Yeah. So that's, that's a couple of my options here. So I have 329,000. And I have a lot of overburden to remove, but <laughs> survival. So I need to cut this out here. That means from, let me just go and put these block placers in here. Kind of like a placement here as a reminder where we're at okay 
And then I need to need to run a strip here. You know what? Let me bring the uh Okay, because I need to find the front lead wall. I need to, if I'm going to open up the cut, let's see. If I'm going to open this cut up, I need to find out where, because remember, this is all sloped, all weird. I need to take explosives and I'm going to find where the cut wall is. I, I guess we'll just start from here. I guess I need to start from this area. Because the road's going to come along the back wall. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's find it. It looks like it's probably going to be out here somewhere, so... Okay, or more right here. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Do it the way I did it last time. That way we can save a lot of time. That's arcing down. Down, down, down. Maybe my cut wall is more out here. Hmm. Once I get the, uh, okay, yeah, we're right about here. It was pretty, it is pretty steep over here. Or was. Okay. Just use a plowshare. Uh, I can't. Not on this save. I'm not allowed to use uh, plowshares on this save. Okay. So. Okay. All pay dirt. Right. If I was to use plowshares, it would just be done instantly. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we're sitting with a, a little bit of a cut here. Pop this out real quick. It was a joke, and he was, I was like, hmm. Okay, let's get these popped off. Okay, so I need to go down a little bit. This is all gonna need to get blasted out. Okay, let's buy some more. Because it shouldn't take me if I do it right, this shouldn't take too long. And I need to get this wall exposed and then dozed. You're pretty good, Jeep. How you doing, man? Okay, I'm going to go into grid mode here. Not a fan of... Fan of grid sometimes. Get up with the grid. Are you just exploding pay dirt? Uh, no, I'm trying to find the lead edge here. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to do. And I did not mean to place this one here. I do not like that mode. Okay, that's what it's going to come down to a ramp here. Anyways, trying to get rid of this lead edge, which is mainly pay dirt. Remember, because I I blasted and pushed in. Let's go ahead and go into snap mode. Let's remove this edge here. Remember, because I was saying, last time I did this, I didn't want to push any dirt down into a new cut, right? Oops, that was in the wrong area. Okay. So last time I didn't doze a lot of stuff over the hill, I blasted, and then I and then I cut a, a ditch along the front side of my edge. So there, there's a lot of uh, overburden here, because you see how steep this is? The overburden is actually, when you stretch it and then you angle it down, you lose quite a bit of, like... So normally it's like six meters of, of overburden when you're on a hill it can be less because it kind of like conforms it and then angles it down so we want to cut that angle off and we don't want to push any more overburden 
down this hill because we won't then well, that's just more overburn i gotta move later All right so that's why i'm gonna use the blasting on the edges go ahead and get a drone right, let's send these drones to the garage on a drone get a uh, good drone shot here yeah it's just a little easier when you're cutting on the side of these mountains to do that to just blast off and then doze i that's uh, from what i found anyways a rando drone right there yeah let's go remote trigger let's go down to 0.5 Okay, it's funny. The nukes seem to be named after Project Plowshare. They are. They 100% are. Okay, so now we're just going to rip some of this off here. Uh, lay out a string on the side of this. That kind of curves a little bit, and I'll merge these explosions into there. Turn on. Time lapse, and... Let it rip, Tater Chip. What's up, life? How you doing, man? Okay. Kill the drone. See how we look. Looks like shit. All right. So, one thing I like to do with these is a little bit go a little slower. And we'll just pop one at a time okay we're right there but we need to go down deeper right definitely need to go down deeper okay so i'm gonna grab the uh the dozer here and i'm gonna take some of these where this crap overburden is for some of these trees here i'm gonna cut some of this down here we gotta go a little deeper in this cut we gotta define the height of this uh this lip, right? Okay, I'll turn that back on. Okay, turn the time lapse off. Okay, now I'm gonna blast along that that wall now. Right down here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to ride this line right here going down. Stopped. Just going to take it like this. Turn that off too. We're not seeing any pay dirt, so we're just removing overburden. This will be my road into it, so we don't want to remove too much material here because we want to make sure we have enough. So I'll come through here, place them along. And I'm going to lower the second one down. I'm going to put it right on this lip right here. See how it kind of goes up a little bit? No big deal. I'm gonna put them right here so if there's a little divot it'll fill in it's gonna fill it in kind of where we want it to be over here on this side higher and lower it's kind of varies in height camera Let's go evaluate the cut. Still nothing. We're still seeing overburden, so we got to keep pushing back in. Plus, we have to have a. Uh, we we're going to be on this driving with the truck, right? So, still no visible stuff. So, let's go ahead and knock a little bit more down up here. 
All right, we can zoom out a little bit more. Place it right in the midsection. And then I'm going to come back in. I'm going to place them on here. So you'll use more every time you're going deeper. That's okay. Second row helps with the wobble. Turn off the camera. And we're starting to hit pay dirt now. See? Because we're going back. Now we're hitting that pay dirt. We're going to keep going into it. It needs to be a little wider. Right, so now I'm gonna need to start using three. So I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna place a bottom row here. Now I'm gonna go up and place a middle row. And then I'm gonna place a top row. He spotted. <laughs> and we're looking a little better. Now I have somewhere to load the truck. Good to go. Let's remove some of this crappy overburden here. And I need to use the rest of the truck. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Nope, not poop time. All right, let's go and drop a save. Oh, you K-Dub? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Just been uh, enjoying work and life and, you know. <laughs> streaming <laughs> all the above okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to export mm, hold on not there yet go ahead and a little bit more to blast and this this part's all good to go that's a little bit of overburden up there Hmm. Wonder how much overburden I actually have to go till I hit. You know what I mean? I wonder how much overburden I actually need to remove off the top of this cut. Because man, it is it's looking like I need to go back a little bit more. You see the line right there? Got to move the equipment off of this.
Okay, let's see here. Make sure there's nothing in the bin. Let's clear this area. And I gotta go all the way to this side anyway, so. Nothing else in it. So how's everybody liking the uh, the DLC? If you guys got it, you guys been uh, enjoying being able to do Bob Ross the shit out of things. this close that there we go okay oh they missing the open hole sign the dlc was awesome it's well needed yeah it uh i feel it was too as well i think it was it definitely it made the game feel a little bit more alive i guess i should yeah let's go ahead and let's let me go ahead and blast out some more of this here because this seems like it's a little bit uh do the three wall here actually you know what i can just run this line here let's run the actual cut line itself because we got a lot of overburden over here and then i'm gonna need to do the higher portion as well might as well get it all done and ready for dozing so Let's go ahead and knock off the top here. back yeah you guys must have got ads uh let's see here gold rush uh which is a gold rush uh xbox gold rush update still hasn't came out i don't think uh a lot of the name changed but uh everything else is exactly except for the music and everything like that yeah i mean that's it was a rebrand right so they had to change a bunch of the stuff uh brand wise on gold rush i mean it was uh pretty much Discovery is not obviously behind them anymore, so they got to move forward. And, uh, you know, they're in the process of doing that, so they're going to need to take a little bit of time to settle themselves out a little bit, because that's, that's, I can only imagine the process that they, that they have to go through right now. They're not trying to make excuses because things aren't really handled quite properly right now at the moment. It's fact. Just being, uh, you know, got to make sure that, uh, we're being uh, honest as we possibly can here. With, I can only say certain things, but, you know, it could have been handled a little differently, but it wasn't, and it is what it is. But um, as far as the overall transition, there's still some things that have to be done. Uh, they said it, the patch notes were kind of like a little meh. Uh, eventually, the, eventually, the console version will be caught up to the uh, PC version. That's pretty much what I can say. Okay, I'm going to get this blast off here real quick. Okay, now that put us way into better standings here with this. Okay, that's better. I like that. I like seeing that. Better cut wall. Didn't delete too much. 
this crap up here still got to go. Right, so this is still original crap rock we got to get rid of. We don't want to spend thousands of hours digging on something we just don't need to dig. That's why explosives are a beautiful thing. As it helps you define your cut. Okay, let's blend this one in right here. And we won't have to deal with it. go to my drone real quick and I need to connect to it and I need to export this okay thanks for having the time to answer no problem I can only answer answer so much uh being a part of the testing team and stuff like that obviously you guys know there's NDAs and shit like that we're not allowed to say anything until they some they say something first and things like that right but as far as we know it's everything is moving forward there is two more DLCs planned and we already have the first DLC list. Let me, let me iterate that real quick. We already have a DLC. It's called the Parker's edition. Well, not the Parker's edition anymore, but you know, that was rebranded as well too. So we already have DLC number one. DLC number two is coming. They already have a name for it. DLC number three is coming as well. No name. Can't say anything about that. So it is, uh, it is for sure getting worked on. It is, they are doing, I guess I can say they are, they are doing what the old development team had planned on. So they just pretty much came in picked up the pieces and are now giving us what the old team was supposed to give us many, 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 many years ago. Right. So that I can confirm. Okay. Now we got a cut wall here. Let's make the ramp to it and flatten it out so I can drive on it with a truck. And let's go ahead and move this to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, they haven't gotten all the stuff removed yet. So. up there's yeah they haven't gotten all the stuff removed yet and they're still working and there's there's also there's certain things that steam has to change on their own and they have to wait uh for that as well so yeah there's a lot of stuff that they have to wait on okay i need to change my dozer controls because i was doing a lot of testing and i have to go back through and change up some of my dozer stuff here one second guys wasd as you guys notice with the hot fix, a lot of you guys are having issues whenever you went like this and hit clear. And then you saved. If you just hit clear, these would just revert back to default. That has been fixed in this last patch. So a lot of you guys' control issues with things reverting and not saving, that's what that was. So a lot of us came in here and cleared all these, right? We cleared them all. And then we would save it and go out and go do other things. And then we didn't know that they reverted. So that's what a lot of you guys are having issues with. I'm guessing Twitch will be the last to change the name. Yeah, I think it's uh there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that need to be changed. When you, have, when you do a full rebrand on a game that's already been out for seven years, that is not an easy undertaking. Everything. Like you got SEO score. You got everything, man. Like that is a huge, huge, crazy, crazy, crazy thing to undertake. Uh, blade up. Let's see here. Blade is up. We're going to change that to R F. I'm going to go to clear. Tilt it to the left and the right. Normally go arrow key. Left, right. Mm -hmm. And we want to clear the ripper. Uh, 
Um, I mean, the game's already seen its lifespan, right? I mean, the game's already the game was the game's technically at the end of their lifespan. They're just adding stuff onto it. Uh, I don't think you know. What I mean, it's it's them going through and they were completely rebuilding the world. I don't think it's worth their time. I think we're always going to have those little little loading zones. They are a lot faster now, but you know, those are tilt uh, blade up left and right. No, blade up and. What am I looking for here? Hear that? Down. Okay. Still. Right. So, and we're sharing controls with the Ripper still, so we're going to go clear the Ripper. Uh, make sure the Ripper's in its upward position. I think it is all the way up, actually. Yes, we are. Go into the controls. Scroll back down. Uh, let's see. Ripper tilt left, right. We're going to go ahead and clear that. Okay, we're going to clear this one. Zoom. And let's go ahead and save again. Now, mouse is up twisted. Is the game still made by Code Horizon? No, it's still made by Code Horizon. Um, gold Mining Simulator, aka Gold Rush. Yeah, so right now the game is made in like sections, right? Like a lot of video games are. But however, if you look at uh, the way a lot of games were made back then when, it, when, when Gold Rush was made, most games had loading zones and grid patterns. It's just the way that uh, uh, Unity, it was Unity 2016. One of the most horrible versions of a game development tool around. Let's just be honest. Every developer that was on that was pretty much, they pretty much left and went to Unreal at that moment. There was a lot of games that did that. There was a mass exodus of that. And they didn't, right? So they've also had a lot of problems stemming off of that. Okay, so I need to push this down. Let's go and tilt blade, rotate, turn time lapse on. And let's start to bend out here. Yeah, it's just from an old era of building games and stuff like that, right? They build the map in sections and they piece it together and put loading zones in to try to help with the uh, LOD and ROD load and load on you know so each little square has its own performance pretty much in a sense right but with the with these newer engines you can just map partition the whole thing out and make one big giant map and uh the worlds look seamless right right it's just a new technology I mean, it's not really even new it's just you know new-ish i guess yeah It works really well. As I said, Gold Rush is really dated. It, ne it needs to go bye bye. It needs to. Uh, it needs to get a couple DLCs, and then they need to go. Okay, we're done. We're completely done with it. That's it. No more. Fans, shut up. Stop asking for more crap. The game's out of date, and it needs to be squished. Like, fix it to work on console and GTFO. <laughs> hey, Hellboy dude, thank you much for that uh, follow, buddy. All right, let's back this up here a little bit. Uh, any chance we'll ever see this game coming to console? Probably not, dude. I'll be, I'll be honest. This game is a, a working concept. It's not a, it's not in early access, but it definitely needs a lot of um, it definitely needs a lot of concepting and just playing play testing. It's gonna need a lot of work. And I don't think they're even trying to even think about building it for console. 
The console's a whole different beast, right? Yeah, right now everybody's best bet for uh, a mining game on console is gold mining simulator. Pretty much about it. God, it's gonna be hard not to say gold rush, you know what I mean? Holy. All those years of saying gold rush, right? Like, holy crap. It's still gold rush in my heart, man. You know what I mean? All those years, dudes. Uh, we're being, it's, the dozer's being really aggressive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift my blade all the way up. Why do I think it's going to be done after these next few DLCs? Uh, just because the what they've already been kind of leaking and teasing is Easter eggs in the patch notes. So many people have been so many people have been uh, so worried about um, small little stupid things like this April Fool's, you know, day slash patch update rebrand that they've missed the little things. The development team has literally been telling us exactly what they're doing. It's just people want, don't want to read between the lines, right? So I've debated making a video on this as a meme. Because like it's been so insane to see people freak out over something that quite literally we've known about for like the last five years. I mean, how many times did I say I was testing all this stuff five years ago? <laughs> if you're a newbie, I guess maybe you wouldn't have heard it, but I should do a video on it. I don't know. It's it's kind of like a piss off to the devs and a piss off to the viewers because honestly, the viewers are doing stupid shit as well as well as the devs kind of being a little uh dumb there on some of their decisions but hey it is what it is right like i'm always you know i can't say much and there's nothing much to go on so i figured it was just gonna be a waste of time and some dude just talking about a video of something that most likely everybody knows anyways but it seems like people are really confused seems like people are real confused I like YouTube much better than Twitch regards to user interface. The user interface. We can talk right today. Yeah, I've been debating making content about the the whole the whole process, right? I mean, I know I've gotten like hundreds and hundreds of DMs, but um, you know, people are just confused and they're angry, and I don't know if I will add to it. and I don't want to add to it. You know what I mean? I don't want to add to the confusion because yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a hard, yeah, yeah, cool. I can get some views, but I don't want to know if I want to add to the confusion, you know, I guess that's the best way I can put it. I don't think the devs even know half the time right now anyways they're kind of like all over the place so i tried to get some legit information from them so i could could make a video but i got no response i think all this should be up to their community manager um i don't know it's 
I mean, why do you think people called me the unofficial community manager for like the better part of seven years? Because the devs would do their stuff, everybody would yell at them, and then I would kind of like smooth things out. That's how it was for years. It was literally that way for years. I mean, the devs would post something, then everybody would run to my stream and see what's actually going on. stop doing that because the developers were just like they went dark for so many years right so even though i was in in their crew and noma's friends they just couldn't say anything and it's probably the same case now right so i can as a content creator i can only ask so much and they can only respond so much apparently so i'm not gonna sit and fight and fight and fight i got other things to do you know what i mean and and um i would happily continue to do the same thing that i do with this game with that game but that has to come from them right so my wife told me not to deal with deal with it anymore she said you've been you've been like you literally were like the voice of gold rush for so many years but you had to do so many things the hard way because you got so little help from them when all i was doing was helping them and the community my wife told me to stop spending time on that she says until they can either get their shit together or whatnot then don't worry about it and I, I would have to agree that, you know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't be trying to, like, smooth over people's mistakes and shit like that, right? For the games that I love and the communities that I love, right? It's not my job to do that, and... It makes it to where you can't... It makes it to where I can't enjoy the game anymore. And... You know? I'm, I'm tired of not enjoying video games. Because I gotta do so much bullshit. So like I'm on a, I'm on like the battlefront of trying to figure out what the f I want to do, right? Like I love the game, I don't care if the names change, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, what matters is that all the all the viewers that like watch like watching me play that and but it seems like almost all those viewers that like watching me play that don't like watching me play that anymore because there's not any content in it anymore. You spent so much time being a gold rush streamer that you forgot yourself yeah i mean that's true that's 100 a true statement man i mean i always i was always loyal to the viewers and being truthful and honest about what's going on as much as i could but uh sometimes that's stressful what's up primes i know this is a stressful position to be in you know what i mean Like, I'm not really in it for the views when it comes to those things, right? Like, do I think it's dying? No, I think people will always play it because of what it is. But I think it does. It's, I'll, I'll, my opinion is, I think it's it is 100% going to hurt them not having the discovery name because so many fans of gold rush only knew of that game because of gold rush so i think it is going to hurt them massively but there's nothing they can do about it i don't I, you know what i mean i don't think there's anything they can really do about it they are they're pretty much in a sense it's i think the game will be it's hard to say it's hard for me to, to say this It, I think the game's going to be looked at in a different light because it doesn't have the name. I guess that's one way to put it. The name meant a lot of stuff to a lot of people because we're super fans of the TV show. So now we'll be sitting there playing Gold Mining Simulator and feel awkward because you always have those people that are like, well, this is not Gold Rush. This is Gold Mining Simulator. I'm going to go to Reddit and complain, right? So we're going to have those nerds. And that shit is annoying. They're following Todd into the jungle. I mean, and, and mad props to all the, the developers that are working on 
you know, gold mining simulator right now because the problem is not there. So we can't take out our aggression on them because the problem existed before them. This is a whole new team, All right? So we can't be like, well, your shit's ass because it's not their fault. It's not even their game. They're still just fixing other people's mistakes in the past, right? So. So it's a very weird thing. I guess only time's going to tell. And, and you know, for me, I mean, I've already played the DLCs. I know what they are. I've known what they are for four years. The development team actually told me to start teasing things four years ago. And it's now just coming to what's going on now. Right? So four years ago, I had, I literally had to stop my campaign on getting ready to advertise all this new stuff because, well, bad shit happened in the company. So I've been sitting here on hold for four years, right? So for four years, and a lot of the OG viewers know because the developers used to be in my chat and stuff like that, that I was getting ready to do the whole DLCs breakdown, right? Because that's, you know, that's what I did. So for four years, I've been on, on pause. Thankfully, this last year and some change, I've actually had some, uh, something else to play. Right? Like, you know what I mean? But I still, res I mean, even though there's nobody there that I know now, I still respect the fans. Um, I don't really know these new devs. It's not that I don't respect them, but I don't have the same bond and um, the same relationship that I had with the old devs, right? So, like I said, every, a lot of people are still left in the dark. We don't know what's going on, uh, things like that. So that's why I have I find it very hard to make content or want to connect with the game myself personally again. I'm having a hard time connecting with it and like wanting to really feel super hyped about it because I already went through the whole process of like the hype and everything. And then all of a sudden, nothing for four years right so it's kind of it's, it's it's a weird one for me it's a weird it's a weird one how am i enjoying this game i really i really i'm really enjoying the chill relaxed vibe of uh, out of war and and just doing whatever you want to do Right, that's 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 what I'm enjoying about it. I'm setting my own story, and in these type of digging games, that's I think for me, I'm spending you know, thirteen thousand hours on Gold Rush and four thousand hours of stream time and leaderboards and teaching people how to play. It was very cut and dry, and this game is I can just do whatever I want and still teach people and still kind of just relax and have fun at the end of the day and just build my project. So I get a, I get a lot of enjoyment out of this game. I got a lot of enjoyment, enjoyment out of Gold Rush over the years too, so I can't say that I didn't. But nothing beats, I don't think anything beats the freedom of just doing whatever you want to do in uh, Out of War with heavy equipment. And that's hard for me to say, like I was saying, that's a tough one, man. Gold Rush was my jam for seven years. Well, the go went super strong pretty much for five and a half. You know, didn't miss a stream day really. So yeah, it was a, it was a tough one. It's tough. It's tough. It's a tough thing to kind of like, you know, hmm, what do I want to play? Right. And every time I've done a poll, the chat's always been like, no, don't play gold rush. There really isn't anything new. You're just going to be digging the same hole and you're just going to be doing the same thing. And you know, which I don't disagree with. And yeah, it's a digging game. What do you do? Dig dirt. That's what I had to say for years, right? Like, how do you continue to play this? I dig dirt. I just like digging a hole. But in Out of War, I'm like, well, I can build a gigantic this and do something crazy here. And if I'm bored, I can go into like decorating my stuff and and progressing my mind site and do all these different things, right? In Gold Rush, you can't really do that. You're just, okay, well, I'm just going to dig. 
and I'm gonna wash my wash my my gold. <laughs> right, so it's very niche for what it is, and I loved it for many years, and I still do love it. But you know, I'll I'll showcase all the new stuff coming out and and play a little bit. But I'll never play leaderboards again. There's no point uh, for me. No point. I don't like the leaderboards. I'd rather do a solo play and just kind of have fun and relax. I want to do some just digging, right? But. I thought Gold Wars was going to get a physical or a graphical overhaul or something, but it looks to be a bunch of DLC. It was mainly just a rebrand. So they, they this update here was a rebrand. Trying to get rid of all the Gold Rush stuff. Discovery Channel is not with them no more. So that's pretty much where it came down to. And then they're they're working on pushing out uh, the DLCs and fixing some more stuff. I was confused when I saw the name change for Gold Rush. I watched the show and now uh, it's not as fun. Yeah, so saying I don't think it's as fun for a lot of people. I think, you know, knowing that now that there's bad blood, it seems like between Discovery Channel and Code Horizon and Playway and and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I completely scrapped a, a, a project. I was going to actually return to Gold Rush here recently with all of this. I was going to come back and return and, but the rebrand kind of puts the a halt to that. Because what I was going to do is I was going to do a weekly, um, Gold Rush, the TV show update while playing Gold Rush and talking about it. And, uh, well, there's no point in doing that now, right? <laughs> Rip. RIP, noob. still a good game if you haven't played it and if you're looking for something very specific when it comes to mining gms does fill that uh gold mining base the wash plants the cleanups things like that right still good I just find it would be a little weird of me playing GSM and talking about Gold Rush TV show episodes. Oh, I find that would be very weird. Otter and Hale in here right now, sweating my ass off. Has Christian mentioned anything about bulk dirt when unloading? I'm not a fan of the boulders, to be honest. Uh, when unloading? You mean like when they're falling out of the back of the truck from bulk mode? Is that what you're referring to? Ooh, I should have just came down here and cleaned that up with the... Uh the loader let's come back down here with the loader or are you talking about when the boulders fall out of the back yeah i think that's what i just said yeah oh 
Oh, y'all good, Robin. Um, I don't think that that's going to be coming until they do. He does some polishing or something, but I, I don't know. That could be a long ways away. Um, with the next gen equipment, I'll make sure I add my note. Uh, to see if, um, just as a reminder to make sure that the, uh, he controls the, uh, the way that they generate out the back from bulk mode. Because I, I do agree it's a, it's a little chaotic and all over the place. Same thing with the boulders in general. I know a lot of players would rather just see an animation and sound and, and, uh, particle effects and things like that. It just has a overall general better aesthetic. But, um... Yeah, it's 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 hard to say when he's gonna add all that polishing and, and uh you know kind of fluff in a sense to the game. Yeah, Stu, thank you much for the uh the sub there, man. Well you can well he can uh let you play out of war and talk about care bears if you like. Yeah. I mean it's kind of uh I don't know, people get a little uh oh, like people have always gotten a little weird in the past. I mean, on, I mean, I mean, I guess nobody can complain at me if I was playing out of war and talking about Gold Rush now because there is no Gold Rush game. So, you know, you know what I mean? I'll, um, I, I have a list of things that I'm just holding off on because I know that he needs, he has, he's really busy right now. There's a lot of things that he's got to do and work on and things like that. So uh, that is kind of already on my list of things to mention and make sure and they don't. it doesn't happen in the next-gen vehicles. Because I know a lot of you guys are worried about the next-gen vehicles having the same stuff. Wait, they're making a Gold Rush game? No, noob. Gold Rush the TV show, Scrub. There is no Gold Rush game anymore. It's called now. It's called like Noob Simulator or something like that now. Get it right. Moderator. Jeez. Yeah, the, um... The, you gotta think, the Voxel... You gotta think the voxel or the sorry the bulk mode disappeared for a while, so that's why we didn't talk about it. It came back. Um, what what patch was that? Nineteen. What patch did that come back in? Point nineteen. Is that what the one that came back in? I'm not sure. <laughs> we gotta get five shit. Freaking damn noob mods. Same thing with Matthew. Yeah, 18 through 19, yeah. In my in my opinion, I would rather see the whole game go bulk mode. No balls, period. Yeah, I do agree though. I do agree. The dozer, the dozer is really good in bulk, in um, non-bulk mode. So they do have their place, hundred percent. They do have their place. Has it been an hour with the smelter? I'll go take a look here in a second. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate that.
Okay, let's stop the uh, time lapse. Let's go ahead and drop a save. I'll just export on that. I like to export when I'm going to do something else. So I, if something crashes or happens or like that, I don't forget to you know, save <clears throat> and export. Watch a fair few videos. I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed. Hey, you're all good. You may, you may have subscribed and then, then YouTube unsubscribed you. YouTube loves to do that. And YouTube loves to tamper with your guys' bell notifications. So if you're not getting notifications for the channel, make sure you guys either, if you're not getting any notifications or something seems like it's fishy, YouTube loves to, uh, give people, uh, give channels that they don't really want you watching a, uh, a secret little, little shadow muting on your shit. So one way you can get away with that is turn the bell notification off and turn it back on. And if it still is doing it, you can unsubscribe and resubscribe. Uh, I've had to do that with a lot of my channels lately that I watch, that I watch. I've had to do that. I get a notification just uh, for just three days later for some reason. Yeah. I mean, that's another thing too. They prioritize on the big content creators that make them a lot of money and they, everybody else gets the shit. So like literally almost every Every small content creator under 50,000, I don't get their notifications until like a day or two later that I watch. Well, mine is the same way. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, export this. Oh, I, sorry. I guess on Twitch and YouTube. So you, YouTube, a subscribe is just a general click of a subscribe. So a subscribe on on thing is actually just a paid. So yes, I know the lingo is kind of. <laughs> the Discovery managed to put out three deadliest catch games. Uh, yeah, for for a while there, Discovery was really pushing for a whole new gaming division. Uh, how do I know this? It's because they actually offered me the position to be the pretty much the voice of discovery games at one point for a horrible amount of money. And <laughs> like, I, we actually declined them. It was, it was actually quite funny. They wanted me to delete my channel, which was booming at the time. And we had a lot of people coming in and subscribing and they wanted me to go PG 13. And, and, uh, they ended up calling my house at like, what time was that? Like four in the morning, dopey. Early enough to piss her off is what it was. She thought it was she thought it was a telemarketer. She picked up the phone and she was like, "Why the fuck are you calling me?" <laughs> oh man, dude. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yep. How about those water water blisters? <laughs> Yeah, play some water blocks is a nuisance. Yeah, no, it was uh it was a uh, it was interesting. I don't know, I just felt like the amount of money that they were offering was stupid because it was like pr pretty much it was like I had I would have had to pay three times more to do what they wanted me to do than they were paying me. So they would have paid me, right? But it's an amazing opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, but there was no advertisement for that game, those games, right? There was no mainstream advertisement, so what the hell, right? I figured it was always just be better to keep doing what I was doing on my own. And it did. It worked out. It worked out pretty well. I'm, I'm having fun. I've built, we built a great community. We're not in control of anything. And hey, I guess I got the last laugh because <laughs> there's no goal for us to game anymore. <laughs> so I would have really been freaking screwed, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay let's keep adding these things up here yeah, that would have been interesting, right? Imagine. 
being tied to all that and then all of a sudden this all stuff happens that would have been crazy that would have been crazy crazy okay i need to go up and get the iron and i need to start making uh some steel while that gold oh actually no sorry i have more gold my bad oh i will what what's up from what Let's keep feeding these beasts. there's any discovery games being made anymore is there i don't think they have anything on the list anymore do they i don't think they do actually is there anything from discovery being made into a game anymore or has it all been canceled i don't believe that there actually is anything Let's go ahead and get the uh, the front end loader. Yeah, here, buddy. God damn, sound like a train rolling by. I know, right? Open up my front end loader. Yeah, there we go. Discovery is probably mad because it didn't ever get put out. Like they signed up to all these deals probably and then nothing got made like good. I mean, Discovery likes to have good products. I mean, from their TV show, right? Their TV shows like, and I don't think, I don't think that they were handled very well. I'll be honest about it. I think it was one flop after another. I think Gold Rush was probably the best thing that came out of uh, any of that stuff. But even then, it was we all saw how well that was handled, and that had nothing to do with the current developers. That's all the old developers, right? So, it's gonna call it like I see. It. To bring the truck over here. Well, the thing is, is they want if they wanted a AAA game, they should have went with a AAA developer. Not, no offense, Playway. They shouldn't have went with Playway. that in the thing that is uh one of their people that helps work on the game
I don't know if they want people to know who was who, but yeah, I'm not going to leak that out. Man, what am I doing here, buddy? Well, just get a little in the truck, why don't you? Maybe you'll get some in the truck. No, I didn't reset up my storage box. I'm just trying still to define the cut here. And almost all of this is gonna go up to the up to the plant. How dare, how dare you? Now nah, I'm just trying to get a little bit of scraped up here so I can come in with the dozer a little easier. Best dozer in the game right here, boys. Yeah, sometimes sometimes devs will put their their real names in there and not their their internet handles. Obviously, you know who's Christian is, but <laughs> right? Nah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> if the twenty three fifty can't fix it, it's not worth doing. Christian who? This guy that makes this game, man. Who is this guy? The guy that eats chicken nuggets all the time. And cheeseburgers. Oh, it's been a little while since we take a taking a trip of dirt up here. Make it into the truck this time. No. Kirsten, Christine, 
Christine. <laughs> it's evolving. Did I stop the recording? I think I did. I forgot, I gotta do all my controls. Hold on. Damn it. Hmm. Boom. Long drive. You need to line that with Jersey barriers? Yes, I do. Oh, it's a tight, it's a tight one. Is there a cruise control? Did he set the cruise control back up? I don't know if he did or not. There used to be a cruise control. There might still be, but I haven't looked yet. Just drive straight off. It'll be much shorter. Yeah, no. Yeet. Most of this is overburned. I'm just going to I'm just going to torch it with the uh We're at that real weird low spot right here in the, in the cut. We were just hitting right here. Where is it at? Where is it at? We're hitting some... No, nah, we're not hitting nothing there. Just barely scraping. Have I hit bedrock yet? Only one spot of the mine that's over in that back corner. But it's only in that very far back corner. I get rid of overburden, man. There's so much overburden. It's around this stupid, the stupid uh, decline on this hill. Dig in. Boy. Boomstick time. Well, I'm just trying to clean up that little area right there. I should at least try to reach down and hit that bedrock when I'm scooping this next time because it's, yeah, be a pile of butt. A oh, butthole. Like I said, I don't want to push any more overburden down that hill. And I have to deal with it yet again. I'd rather only have to place like 500, uh, dry my at the bottom of that, um, like I did this time here. It'll make the progress go a lot faster.
Mm, just jump in the dozer here real quick. Oh, or not. <laughs> While I was gone, you're watching some, you're watching a big giant loader dumping into dump trucks. Is anybody else getting that weird, like, ground deform change now after this last two patches? You'll you'll watch the ground, it'll just pop all of a sudden, and it'll, like, change its shape. Are you guys getting that a lot more after these two patches, or is it just me? Like that, see that? I'm just wondering if my save is, like, getting to the point where it's just borked, or... You guys are getting that a lot more now, too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's not just me. Yeah, getting that a lot, a ton. You found out that it, yeah, this happened after this update. Yeah, same too. That's what, that's what I was talking to Christian about this morning. I was like, man, there's a lot of like voxel world popping crap going on Yeah, it started, I think it started like three updates ago. Uh, whatever, whatever's been going on in the last like three little micro updates. Definitely changed something. Something's happened. Maybe it's a way of saving performance. I don't I don't know. The GPU loads. Yeah, but now we've got this weird janky janky dirt popping around all over the place. That's <laughs> what what's the better? I'd rather I'd rather load on the GPU be back if the game runs better. Like as in like the Things aren't popping around and stuff. I don't mind if my GPU runs at 100%. Like 90% of the games on the market run, I run at 90%. Right, so I don't know. Yo, what's up, nice? Yeah, it obviously has to do with whatever he's been changing performance was. Something obviously was tweaked because sometimes have you guys noticed that sometimes the shadows will like load within your render distance. You see them like merging like last stream. I noticed that a lot, which is weird. They're not doing it today. Um, I'm not sure what the heck's going on there. Like they're not disappearing now when I get closer to them or away from them. Strange. Uh, what GPU CPU am I running? I'm running a uh, i9 13900K uh, Intel and I'm running a 2080 Ti.
Yeah, floating hammer should be fixed. Yep. Gold rush is unplayable apparently from on the the new update. Something's completely broke. It's broke. It's a broke. just some weird building hammer glitch thing when you like you jump you have something in your hand and you jumped in a vehicle that's all it was nothing crazy yeah so no no i mean like like i said from the beginning it's not that big of a deal when it comes to like things being weird because they are changing a lot of things he is messing with a lot of stuff he's trying to find better combinations for performance for everybody uh, and all those things like that, right? So it's... I assume that that's what it is. Um, is it that big of a deal right now? No. Is the game still playable? Yes. That's the main thing. After every time he does something, considering we're still like... He's still concepting the game and he's still building the game as long as the game is still playable. I think that's our... As a community, I think that's the best thing that we can come out with is that it's still playable. Right? And he can find that good balance. But if you guys find something to be odd or something to be kind of like doesn't make sense like broken wise like like say the dirt like how it's reacting or something's weird that you might be having you need to report that you really you guys do need to report it right you can't just come into my stream and expect me to report everything you definitely need to report it because if he hears it from more people than just me then you know what i mean that's what's it I was just glad the floating hammer did not have collision. Uh, has he set a day for the next gens? No. Um, I think he's doing a good job with the game. Yeah, he's doing a really good job with the game. You know, they're they're constantly changing and updating and new iteration after iteration of the game. And it's still 90% playable or more. I think that's, uh, I think that's good progress. Uh, glad to be a part of the game to see how it develops. Yep. That's my main thing. Like I've been saying for a while, Tadiko. I've been doing it since pretty much out of war came out and just following and following and screaming and answering questions and just waiting and doing, the, doing the whole doing, you know, it's been fun to be a part of the whole progress and progression and stuff like that over, over a year and some change now. Been a, been a good thing. Stop that. Let's scrap the front end loader again. Still nowhere for me to really put the front end loader down there, but yeah, I've been I've enjoyed it. I mean, it's been a lot of work, but I mean, happy to do it, right? Like, I don't mind putting in work when there's progress and stuff like that being made, and like we're not being left in the dark, and you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm more than happy to do it. I'm more than happy to showcase the game and play and answer people's questions and and things like that, right? Like I said, that's the best part of what I do and why I like doing it. If I can, if I can literally help one person from not refunding the game by helping them out, then that's more than enough. You know what I mean? That's why people always tell me to, they tell me to stop, like in the middle of my stream, stop, stop, don't stop what you're doing to help somebody. It's like, no, I, I will always stop 
unless it's something I don't need to. If someone's like really having a hard time, right? Like, or if there's a bunch of people, yeah, yeah, yeah I had the same problem with that. Of course, I'm going to stop my, what I'm doing and, and, uh, show somebody and help somebody, right? Like, I mean, I stream for like five to eight hours, right? Like what is, what's, what's three minutes to five minutes, right? What's three to five minutes? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, if your PC can't handle it, I can't help you with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't, I can't, I can't help you with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I've been telling people for, for a lot better part of a year and some change now, you know, this is a fun thing. It's a fun thing to be a part of unless you got some troublemakers being stupid and stuff like that. And just blatantly being blatantly being dumb, but we only have a couple of those floating around. You're watching me. You're you're good. Just watching me play, man. Hey, appreciate that, dude. Remember that's the way it was with, with uh, Gold Rush back in the day. A lot of you guys had consoles. You didn't have PCs. You guys are just watching me play. Any idea if the game's gonna go on sale on Steam? I don't believe it's gonna. Probably. It's pretty cheap as it is. Like it's. I mean, honestly, it's a steal. It's already a steal for what it is. So it going on, it going on sale, um, you know, and as an indie dev, I don't think it's probably gonna, I don't think, I don't think it's probably gonna go on sale. I mean, indie devs, you, I think they need, they need as much money as they possibly can get. They don't have a bankroll to run off of. Right. So that's why, you know, like the creators, uh, like the DLC, the supporter pack was so, so important, right? It was so important. Like that's when Christian even even entertained the idea of doing one. I was I tried to jump all over it with you guys. Like, come on, guys, let's get some ideas, the things that you guys want and we want to put in, right? Let's just work, 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 work. Let's figure this out, right? What do you guys want? We literally just sat in stream and talked to him when he was in stream, and almost all of that stuff that you guys suggested made it into the DLC. You know, with you know with a, with a handful of uh, you know he didn't want to make it too big, right? Because then he would have you know didn't want to take too much time away from everything else. But uh, a bunch of it, a bunch of the key components made it in, right? So, and hopefully that's helped out a little bit. Hopefully that helps out, you know, give somebody some money that's been working really hard on the game and Christian can write somebody a check and, and pay them and, and also help himself out or just, you know, invest into the things that the company needs. You know, whatever they're going to do with it is I could give two craps as long as it goes towards the betterment of themselves or the game. Right, so and and also too, if it just helps them in general, put some groceries in their fridge for a couple people for a couple weeks, then you know what I mean. That helps out the game directly as well. Happy devs equal happy game, happy gamers. You know. So hopefully, hopefully Christian's doing well, and the team is thriving, and uh, everything's going good, right? And hopefully, you know, within when the game, when they get a little bit less busy, we can uh, start up another uh, poll and stuff like that and start polling for new things to add towards maybe another supporter creator pack DLC. 
No more instant noodles, they said. Yeah, I know Joel. That's what Joel... <laughs> Joel's like, yeah, I don't eat instant ramen for this week. Woo! Okay, whatever. I have to stop on my road and turn. At least we're down here. Snippy coming in and hunting some freaking grays, brother. First banger of the month, dude. Drops in with a 10 smash. Started out. That's 10, boys. Last month was 462 gifteds. Last, uh, last month. 462. Happy Easter, y'all. Dude, thank you much for that there, uh, Snippy, dude. Appreciate that, dude. Coming in like a beast. Coming in like a beast, dude. If you guys got a gifted man, so make sure you guys say uh, thank you to Snippy, dude. Got a few active speakers, dude. Hell yeah, dude. You yes, you did. That's awesome. I love when, I love when the uh, gifteds go to the people that are actually in the chat. Nice. Nice to see. Okay, so I'm gonna push right here. To clean this up here. Okay, I can barely get the loader in here. I'd really like to get the whole wall face to be able to be mineable. But I'm taking a little bit more time to be careful here. Oop, damn, damn, damn. We're going to get some weird frames in there. Not to discretion, but 90% of the... 90% of what is in the deco pack can be found in Robocop Rogue City? Yes. Um, because assets like that... Assets that are free use for a game like this are kind of important so finding ones that are decent enough to use free wise is important was is, i guess it was kind of important right we didn't we like we also told them don't spend a lot of time on it but can we have some little things here and there right now it doesn't mean down the road that he can't upgrade all that stuff right three hundred players daily yes Yes, it's uh, it's definitely jumped up quite a bit. I remember, I remember, I remember. You know the crazy thing was, all the way up until this patch, I always had more people than that were playing the game in total at any given time, all the way up until this patch. And then this patch happened, and kind of like a game changer, to be honest. Like, obviously, shit dies down, but... Now there's about 150 players on average throughout the whole day, which is great because it used to only be like 50 or 40. Now, you know what I mean? Like, that's the great thing. I am so happy to see that. And if I contributed in any way, dude, I'm... That makes me happy. nice to see twitch finally coming into play i mean it was weird it was really weird to see nobody on twitch streaming this game like actively streaming it as like their main game right it was really weird a year and some change and nobody it was never nobody streamed it like as their main game kind of weird been telling people for a long time man out of war gets views stick with it make it your thing like you know what i mean the 
like trying, you know what I mean? Like trying to like hint, hint, wink, wink, noobs. <laughs> Get on the train now. Like, holy crap. Hey, hey, what's up, Reaper? Yeah, there's so many of you guys now. I'm trying to I'm trying to jump into your guys' stuff. I'm just, you know, it's hard. So if I just disappear, don't take any uh, disrespect to it. I've got a lot of people that I try to help and check out. At least try to hit the dis hit the hit the dislike button. Hit the like button and yeah, come and hit your dislike buttons on Twitch. Now come on in and say, at least try to say hello and, you know, try to support all you guys as much as I possibly can. There's a lot of you guys now, dudes. Before it only used to be a handful of us. Now there's like a lot, right? There's a ton. So coming in, smashing the like button. Not every day can I jump in and leave a comment, but on Twitch, I've been trying to get around and say hello. And I always try to raid the lowest guy on the list. What's this game about? I'm new here. You guys don't let me get away with nothing anymore. I don't think it, I don't think I've been to one channel in the last four weeks where you guys are, you guys have been like, shut up, split. You know what this game's about? You guys suck, man. Come on, dude. I want them to give me a rundown. I want I want to try to get their opinion on the game. You know what I mean? You guys need to stop calling me out, dude. Like, what the hell, bros? I'm trying to get like their opinion on the game, and they're like, how they feel about it. Y'all are just like, kill the split fool you, bro. <laughs> he knows exactly what this game's about. Oh, well, let's keep it stopped. <clears throat> now, nah, this game's only going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. I, that's, that's my that's my thought that, that's that's how I feel about it it's only gonna grow and grow <laughs> you did primes you did primes is like man this is he, <laughs> he tried because everybody else is like nope not happening You're a long way from anonymous community manager. <laughs> oh man, dude. Yeah, it doesn't work no more. You're a split in three undercover account name. Yeah, you did primes. You were like, yeah, it's not bad. You should check it out. Do I know how many developers are working on the game? Uh, I believe he, I believe he just has a couple guys that are, they're not really, they're not really developers. They just, everybody has their own unique ability in an MC, right? Some guys are good at doing certain things like skinning or modeling and and stuff like that right and then there's a couple guys there's a guy that does a lot of work on like the back end and the main coding same with christian and stuff like that too so it's only it's only a handful of people right it's only a handful of people and christian is still the main guy right so it's still pretty it's 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 indie 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 right and that's good man 
I don't I don't want to see this game go to a publisher, dude. So I hope he does well. I hope he's making money and I hope he's uh being able to be super productive with the amount that he's got or getting. Cuz if this game goes to a publisher, we're screwed. We're screwed, dudes. Honestly, I'll say it right now. We'll be hooped hard. If this game if this game goes to, and, he, and he has to sell to a publisher and get a publisher and stuff like that, they're going to control every movement he makes. And I, that'll be a horrible thing for us. As a community that's been helping this game uh, change different directions with giving feedback and things like that, it will absolutely change what this game is doing. I think it'll, I, I think it'll ruin it. I really, I really do. I think it's good as like a grassroots movement style game, uh, super indie. But then again, I also understand if Christian has to do that as well. You know what I mean? Because after all, he has to put food on his table and he has to progress his company in the best way that fits him, right? Man, I don't want to see that. I hope, hopefully he's doing well. You know what I mean? It's like going into Shark Tank, giving up a bunch of your company. You know what I mean? That's in a sense what he would have to do if he went with a publisher. Right, for them to really not do anything. That's why I was that's why I was telling people, guys, like like when I talked to Christian, me and Christian openly talked about this to you, with you guys on the QA. If you guys listened to what we were chatting about for the first few QA's. You know, it was so That's why I was saying I I'm gonna offer up my channel because I believe in what you're doing. And I feel that you deserve more spotlight than you have. Whether or not anybody else is streaming the game or making videos on the game or whatnot. I'm not going to sit there and tell you guys something that's not true. That's I'm not, I, I will definitely play it out on there. Like if something's stupid, I'm going to tell you it's stupid. Right. And you know, that was my offer was, you know what I mean? You scratch my back. I scratch yours. And I've absolutely enjoyed every minute of doing this. You know, we got nothing to hide. You know what I mean? All the big boys, they came in and played it. They got their views and they ran just like they always do with every video game. And then they leave video games high in the high and dry and left in the dirt and uh it gives a bad taste in people's mouth they don't want to come back and try the game ever again because they saw what those guys saw and they never think it's gonna ever change again and you know as i said just promoting just promoting people to get out and try the game is is a tough one people people lost a lot of faith in this game because of that how bad it was in the beginning and now people are like hey wait a minute how are you able to do what you're doing in this game right now this was not like that a year ago. Well, because the game has changed in a year. <laughs> right? You know, that's where it's at. It's here. We got it. It's working. Shit's going. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not a big fan of microtransactions either, but honestly, like if someone if someone that's not busy in the team at, at a moment has time to do something like that, T-Man, I agree. A kill dozer or something like that would be hilarious. I'd pay a couple I'd pay a couple bucks for it. You know what I mean? Like a buck or like a buck ninety nine. Why not? All right, who cares? Some people would be like, that's absolutely stupid, and they freak out and they get all like ridiculous about the developers adding anything, right? Like But hey. That's up to them. Hey, yeah, get out and promote the game. If you're, if you want to be a content creator or you are, or you're trying to be a streamer or whatnot, get out and try. What do you got to lose? At least you're recording your game footage, right? And you're talking about something that you like playing and you love it and you're passionate about it. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. Love your gold rush skins. How polished is this game can uh, compared to gold rush? I'm about to pull the trigger on this. Um, well, it really depends, Scott, on what you're actually like considered to be polished. It's this game is not polished in the slightest, but it has a lot of features that make the game worth picking up. Like the game's in constant change, so a lot of the, the micro little details about the game are will will piss people off like the economy the pro, you know all the prices of stuff uh, the values that are held in the buckets and in the truck so you're, you're doing a lot of uh role playing when you play this game at the moment 
but if you can look if you don't care about that stuff and you don't it doesn't really bother you and you just want to go through the motions of building like things i'm doing here and you want to do some like production stuff and you're building cool crazy projects and things like that then an open world digging thumbs up right so it really depends on what you're looking for gold rush has gold rush has a very well i wouldn't sit and say gold rush anymore gold mining simulator has a very good gameplay loop very specific to one thing so they're they're a lot more polished in the tedious like wash plant setup and stuff like that right so that's one thing that that, that game does really well uh, but this game i think as far as like digging in general and creating your own story in a sense uh has it down it's got it's got to be Right, let's actually drive this thing down inside the uh down here um no it doesn't it doesn't have that stuff yet it doesn't have like the wash plant like water and uh power management and stuff like that but not yet it is it has been uh the developer did say that that stuff will be coming but there's a lot of other things first Remember there's progress is involving there's haters yeah there always is or there's snarky little trolls and you know hundred percent by the way we are on twitch and youtube by the way so i'm reading comments from both if you're wondering what's going on <laughs> Oh, get this thing down in the pit now. You hope it's all optional. You absolutely hate the micromanagement in uh, in Gold Rush, really. Really, you don't you don't you don't like the uh, the in depth stuff. You just like to just arcade it up. Interesting. Well, you may have just got me sold, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Always keep in mind though, it's, it is an open project. It's not early access and things change sometimes weekly or definitely close to monthly. Right now the game's in a weird uh, transition between trying to go multiplayer and getting out all new vehicle models and things like that. There's a lot of them. So I know they're working on that and there's a lot of other things that are kind of on the back burner too. So, but patches and stuff like that happen quite a bit. We're not going like six to eight months before we see an update. We're, we're going like a month, month and a half at most. Right, so. You're a simple man, just diggy diggy hole. Yep. I feel you. I feel you. You don't, you don't enjoy as well? You guys, so you guys are more like super arcade sim players then I guess that would be the category category you'd be put in You have mixed feelings about it i i like it for the uh the over i always thought the setting up the wash plants was really fun again this is just me in my opinion i always thought it was really fun to set them up in immersive but then during the leaderboard season it was just a drag it was it was a drag like oh gosh i gotta do that again but during like the solo play just chill and relax hard mode it wasn't that bad right because you weren't setting the flames very often Especially if you're just digging RP wise and you're not trying to like meta dig or anything, you know, pwning the claim in like 15 hours or less. But one thing I always hated, five rock trucks got to got to clean the wash plant. That should have gone a long time ago, dudes. Like 
That should have gone away a long time ago. Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, I, you know what, actually, T-Man, I do agree. I actually didn't mind how you cleaned out gold in, in, by hand back then in the game. Well, not even back then, just in general. I actually didn't mind it at all. I just kind of thought it was fun and relaxing and, but um, only in the early game, when you get to the big part of the game, that's, uh, that's brutal. So that's why everybody just went wave tables and, you know. Today is not your day with PUBG, huh? Yeah, I would like a little bit of less... Pretty much the same as GR, just not uh, where we have to clean out as often, where we can actually go based upon a ton of different stuff. You know, letting us go a little longer like they do in real life, so we're not sitting there like, you know, changing the mats constantly. It shouldn't be a fixed number. It should just let us go. When we clean out, we can clean out when we want to clean out. Like, oh, I got, I got 40 hours on my, my mats, you know, if you're, if you're running a, like, say you have a plaster mining pay dirt set up. Versus, oh, I got to change my mats every, you know, five trucks. I think, it, I mean, I, I do like the, uh, I did like the hog pan area of that game. I thought it was good, but it would have been nice if we could have moved it wherever we want it. Instead of a fixed place, yeah. I wouldn't mind that style of, uh, like I said, that little bit of a tediousness with the, with the mats and like the hog pan set up and for early game, you know what I mean? Early game should be more like Gold Rush, I believe when it comes to the wash plant stuff. Like the first, I would say like the first three tiers of the game should be more like that. So let's just say the first 20 hours of the game. But that'd be my personal wish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm, cause it's, it is a good gameplay loop. I ain't gonna lie. It is good, man. It's traded, it's traded thousands and thousands of players very well. Especially for placer mining. You know what I mean? Which majority of this game is built up of material that is actually better to run placer while style, style than anything else. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Like that's, that's what I was telling people. You can't, you can't really, you can't really make gold rush or gold mining simulator you can't really compare the two they're two completely different things so which one is better is not even relative to the argument anymore it's just two different things right if you like a really well-rounded like just gold the simulated experience on a small scale that's gold rush right so they're not even they're not even on the same they're the only thing that makes them the same is that they they're both digging games in a sense right the only thing that makes them the same i was talking about the dirt from the big pit over to the hand screener oh <laughs> damn dude bruh <laughs> For me, I know not everybody's into gold mining, right? But you can't deny how big of a an industry gold mining is. And I think it would be I think it'd be a waste for Christian to not really 
capitalize on the gold mining aspect in this game. I think that would be a, a blunder for him. Like, what, what a wasted opportunity, you know, kind of thing, right? He already knows what worked or what worked really well. I mean, that's just like anything. Take inspiration from anything out there nowadays, right? Doesn't mean you're ripping them off or copying them, but good ideas are good ideas. Why not? Why not put it in your game in, in, in its own way, right? Just like musicians with music. You know, you're not ripping them off. You're just inspired by what they did and what, how good they were. Right? So I think people just need to stop looking at video games like that. Oh, you just ripped off this game. Dude, every game is a rip off of every game. It's never going to change. When something's good and players like it, add that type of gameplay system into your game. Right? A dump truck's a dump truck. An excavator's an excavator. You know what I mean? So... Who cares, right? I think it's I think it's the fans that care more than anything now. Oh shit! Oh, damn! Oh, just took a bite out of my seat on that one. Get wrecked, nerd. Yeah, just like the movie industry too, as well. Yeah. Eventually, we've came to the point now where this is a copy of everything. Everything's just a copy of one another, and you know what I mean. Yep, absolutely, Scott. Absolutely, hundred percent, man. I think I think it's just this. I think it's just the gamers that are. It's just the gamers that have the issue. Wow, nearly employee number eight gone. Yeah, we are at that point. Exactly, Tatico. Exactly, same thing. It all it all is the same. Movies, music, you. You can't recreate enough something new. Every chord's been played, so to speak. Every movie idea has been been made. Every video game idea has been made or thought of or brought up or you know what I mean? We're in that we're at that stage right now in entertainment because it's all it is it is all entertainment after all, right? Video games, music, movies, TV. I think it's so stale. There's nothing can nothing's gonna be new for a while. There's I don't think anything could is anything even possible that could be new? I wonder if they could steal the idea from, uh, away from Hydroneer hand washing stuff. Um, well, technically, Gold Rush does the same thing. Just, I think Gold Rush does it a little bit better than Hydroneer. Yeah, I think uh, Gold Rush is is Voxel as well, right? So, I think they, I think I'll be honest, I think they dominated. They did. I mean, they did a good job. You can't deny that they did do an amazing job at, at GR, right? <laughs> like. <laughs> Bro, compare the the hand mining in in Gold Rush to Hydroneer. Which one's better? Be honest. Hydroneer is like basic, basic, and they did it years and years before anybody else. Right? That's the crazy thing. Look, that's what I've been saying for years. I didn't understand. I didn't understand why people bagged on Gold Rush because they had features in their game before a lot of people had anything or even thought of or concepted. They were so far ahead of everybody year in year wise. And a lot of those games were inspired. You know what I mean? Like still those guys that got inspired by Gold Wars, they had to have. Because you gotta think of them every click and movement is almost exactly the same. Like you gotta put the bucket, you gotta put water into the pail when you're gonna hand wash gold. Except for Gold Rush did one up. You get to put it into a hog pan, goes through a mat, then you clean that mat, and then you get then you get to pick your gold. They went into way more detail than anybody else. So I never I never understood people's this game's stupid. It's got nothing to it. It's dumb. But then they play something else that has literally a tenth of the mechanics, and they're like happy with it. So I never I never understood that about why people why that game got so much hate. You know what I mean? I never, I never understood that. I never understood why they got so much hate. What do I think about modding and farm sim like in Out of War or Out of War? Um, I don't see that to be a problem, but once the game's more uh, developed, because I don't want to see the modders going through a headache constantly. Because right now the game still needs a lot of work on the back end. So bringing in modders right now would just be pointless.
I mean, Christian, those guys are modders at heart, right? So they would, they would know full well, most of my work over here has to be, get my butt, my butt over here. Where I can actually see what's going down. Working over here, just recording the weeds. Yeah, Christian, those guys would have a good idea. They mod, they've modded before. The modding company, North Modding Company, get it, right? You know, like, so if they're saying, if they're saying, yes, modding's coming, but the reason why it's not coming is because they know how annoying it would be to add modding right now for people. And as well as, imagine all of us as players, a modder, say a really good modder comes in and makes a mod and we all love it. We're like, hell yeah, this is freaking awesome. And then Christian puts an update out, it's broken. Then the modder doesn't fix it right away. And as soon as the modder fixes it, Christian puts out another patch. Broken mod again. That situation would be a nightmare. No modders are going to come over and deal with situations like that. None. They're going to stay doing mods for farm sim where they're making money with their communities. They're making money off their mods. And they're getting paid. But you know what I mean? They're not going to do it. And that's going to be a nightmare for them. Hey, no problem. Glad to help out. Yeah, no, no modder is going to come over under those circumstances and, and make mods where the game's constantly changing and they're going to constantly be just busting their dick constantly when they already got a good thing going for them right now in farm sim. I think once the game gets stabilized and the game's like more around like version one, so we're talking probably a year and some change down the road, I think that we'll probably see once modding does come available, I think we're going to see a lot of those guys possibly come over and start modding because the game hopefully will be exploding by then, right? And we'll see a lot of those guys come in and, and put down some good modding. Modding in Unreal actually isn't that difficult. It's roughly the same thing. You're just ex you're just exporting your bones from your blender ad. It's not really that difficult. If I can do it, if I, if I can mod in Unreal, and I'm not a modder, and I know these skilled modders can do it no problem. Making the conversion over to Unreal is not that big of a diff deal. And you get way more power of what you can do in in um, Unreal than you can on the farm sim Giants engine. Uh, I have what you call bulk mode turned on. So if you go into your, when you're in a piece of equipment, Press I, go to equipment, and then you turn on bulk mode. Like I am not a modder at all, but I figured out how to do it in, in uh, Unreal and it did not take me that long. So once you import your, your models and stuff like that over and the game has certain parameters to go off of, you just copy those. The devs will probably make it very easy for people to do that. Like the buckets, right? Buckets and scooping and dump trucks and everything like that, right? It's all got to get lined up. You got to put all those things in. That's not too difficult on Unreal. I don't think people like David from 82 Studios and stuff like that would have any issue with it at all. <laughs> right? I think it'd probably take him about a week at most if he doesn't know how to do it already to start making mods for a game like this when that time comes. I would, I would love to see him come over and make mods for this game. Absolutely, man. 100%. Bro, where are you driving right now? Like Giants engine is horrible. I'll be honest, man. That that thing is so basic, dude. Whew. That thing is like, man. Good Lord, help them. That's all I gotta say. Is that engine's ass. I downloaded it and I was dinking around on it and I was starting to make a map and I was like, you know what? I just don't care anymore. This thing is horrible. 
This thing is just a this thing is so generic. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, dude. Like how well map makers like Lancy Boy and, and all those guys made their stuff look. You know what I mean? That thing, that engine is ass. What's up, New Day? I'm also the, a firm believer, though, that the game should be rock solid before the devs should do a majority of the um, like 90% of the game uh, and then the modders just do fill do all the fill right modders shouldn't be coming up with with uh ways to play the game the devs the devs should do that that those mechanics in the most basic form giants i think repl relies too heavily on the modding community and not enough of their own innovation anymore They're watching the game in the background. Hell yeah, dude. This game has been on sale three times. Hmm. I didn't, th didn't know if it went on sale or not. Maybe it's because I just didn't check because I've owned it, right? Maybe that's why I didn't check. I'm not sure. Maybe uh, it'll go on sale again. Uh, it was 15% off. Yeah, it's about six euros. Sorry, guys. I missed uh, some of your guys' questions there. Thank you guys very much, chat, for answering those questions. I appreciate this help. You guys are awesome. These guys have been uh, super badass in helping me uh, answer a lot of your guys' questions on Discord and stuff like that. I got tiresome answering so many. I just don't have the time for it anymore. If I, if I, if I don't answer, one of these guys normally will in Discord. And mine, well, if you guys need any extra help and there's people not on an NMC, just uh, join on in my Discord. Link's in the description below. Out of War section. Go stomp these trees down here. Some very, very helpful people that love this game, so it's good to see. Come on. There we go. I'll have to blow that one up because I already undermined it and it won't go away any otherwise. I'm use this to kind of get rid of some overburden here. I only spread disinformation on Discord. <laughs> You know, that unofficial PR guy over there causing problems and putting people down, you know? Only 11,000 water blocks left, huh? I don't even want to do... Uh, I'm not looking forward to doing my water blocks, dude. I got First, I got to rip up all those water blocks. And then I got to put down... Then I got to put down like 10 times more than that. Like I said, I'm probably looking at 100,000 to 200,000 water blocks on this project. Not cool.
Yeah, I gotta rip up 17,000 on the back side of the dam, right? The back side of the dam down to the lowest part is 17,000 right down there. And then I need to make that whole area bigger. And then I gotta do the downstream, this whole canyon down here. Joy, joy, joy. That's all right though. It'll be worth it. Well, the water blocks on my save aren't necessarily, they don't have to be earned, right? They don't need to be earned. I can bring in company funds to pay for those. Uh, anything for deco is not part of me having to grind. It's just for decoration, right? So water, anything on the deco pack, I realistically don't have to spend money on. I can just use company fund money. Better get that blister cream ready. You gotta think my Hoover Dam project that I was dinking around with that was supposed to be seasoned this season here. Um, the reason why I was gonna do a dam is because in November I've had the I've had the DLC since November, right? So I was gonna come out with this massive scale Hoover Dam, but free build mode. It was snap. It's, you could snap and free build, so we couldn't get those really good shapes like we can now. So that's why I scrapped the Hoover Dam. But I put out over like a hundred something thousand, two hundred thousand blocks just in that. And the water to fill that was, I was looking at over a million and a half blocks. So I was, I was asking Christian, I was like, so you sure you don't want to give us 10 by 10 blocks or, you know, trying to see if I could sweeten them up a little bit, you know, you know what I mean? Like, oh dude, bro, it'll be a lifesaver for all of us players. Cause it is, our projects are getting so big or they could, you know, the scope of the game is insane, right? So we need those blocks to make that even better, right? We need 10 by 10 by two blocks. We need water blocks like that. Every block that we have right now needs to be scaled massively, right? Yo, what's up, Mark? <clears throat> yeah, I, that's what I was telling him. I said, we, we need at least a 10 by 10 block for water and things and, uh, well, it just means we could use less blocks. I don't know if that's really going to affect the performance. If we had bigger chunks. Dupe mode satisfactory would be a big quality of life. Yes, it would. I know a lot of people have asked for that style of building um, from Satisfactory. Would be good. I mean, the game does t take heavy inspiration from Satisfactory. If you tell me it doesn't, I'm going to call bullshit on you constantly. Obviously, it takes inspirations from Satisfactory and, you know, some GR or construction sim. A little bit of everything minecraft uh blueprint building you know there's there's so many things that he could add i mean even if it, even if he doesn't i'm okay with the way it is but just give us bigger building blocks you know i'm okay with not having those things but I just, we just need bigger assets like when i lay out when i lay out uh explosives i want to lay out a hundred string in like a row and it snaps to a grid you know what i mean i want to lay out 99 like bloop <laughs> okay now detonate let's go yeah one by one placement gets old real quick And bigger nukes. Mm, I don't necessarily want to see a selectable sorter. I want to see machinery do that like it does in real life. I would rather the game not go that far down into like the sorting automation and stuff. I'd rather them keep that aspect of the game real with heavy equipment. You know what I mean? So pretty much you're running into a sorter, into a sorter or screener or 
uh, trauma with different aggregate sizes. I'd rather them keep that aspect of the game real. Uh, because then, then all of a sudden you can get into a really sticky situation where the game is now all of a sudden too fantasy and too arcade. And it kind of goes away from the original idea of why like some, start, a lot of us would even want to play this game. So I, I'd rather it not go down the fantasy route. Turd nerd. What's up, brother? How's work going, man? We're going, dude. Hey, take it easy, Cam. Hopefully the birthday party went good, dude. Yeah, I would like I would like to see the same thing. That's what we were talking about like 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 three weeks ago. I would like to see different tiers of the thing. Not make it automated, but a tier structure would be would be really nice like yeah we got like tier one like smelter and then we got a bigger smelter that does more and or upgrade it like we were we said like give it upgrade slots like in its own inventory where we can make the parts and then and do them but some of these things need to be like unrealistic right because you don't want to you don't want to have this weird balance where everything's super easy to get you want to have to work for something the um I guess I guess that's a I guess that's a balance for the player base, right? Like where do you spend your time grinding and what should we have to grind for? Should the grind always be the dirt? Or should the grind be like equipment? Like certain things. Like where where do we need to grind? It should the dirt always be the main focus of the game? Or do you guys think how do you guys feel about that? Like what do you guys think the main focus of the game should be? I mean, you know, we can actually do a poll. How many likes we hit? It likes we let me let me do something real quick take a look 95 likes okay we could do a poll man you guys 90 95 likes already today damn bros holy shit end the poll Main folks of the game. Okay. Pulls out on YouTube, guys. Just threw I just threw three basic key elements in there. And be honest, just say what you, I mean, everybody has, everybody has a different thing, right? We had, and it's one thing we have to, as a community, understand and not be assholes about it. Cause everybody plays differently, right? And just cause I say, I don't like something doesn't mean I hate your idea, by the way, keep that in mind. <laughs> right? It doesn't mean that I'm like, nah, your idea is stupid and it's horrible. It just doesn't make sense to the game options there. It's I'm not doing a poll on, on Twitch. Come to YouTube. If you want to do the poll. should do a poll of all the above well i'm trying to see where people i, I don't want to do all the above and then i don't get then i can't see exactly what people like you know what i mean so it uh dilutes the um the poll and let me do all of the above it dilutes the poll that's why it's like you know pick one that you guys think right obviously i know that there's a lot of you guys that will literally play every aspect of it but what do you guys think the main focus of the grind should be in this game is what that was that what that question is Twitch audience is like the redheaded stepchild. True, it is.
That is a fact. There, T-Man. That is a fact. There's so many, so many people actually are questioning, well, what is this game actually? Is it a building game? Is it a digging game? Like. It's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just curious what what you guys think the main focus of this game should be. I I honestly my opinion is I think it should always be in the realm of digging. Like I would say, sixty percent of what you're doing should be the manipulation of dirt. The rest gets filled in by the by the everything else. It's obviously a fantasy RPG. <laughs> True. <laughs> We need fishing and we need a horse and a dog with three legs and I need a zombie with guns, dude. What's up, big blade? <laughs> yeah, I want a, I want a ripper blade attached to a donkey, dude. What's up, them Clydesdale man? I want dragon smelting iron ore, dude. That's what I was telling Christian, man. You should just add some Pokemon. Get rid of this guy, this oh, this prison jumpsuit guy. Add some Pokemon, dude. And this game will go viral. Let's go. Pokemon, out of ore. Do you imagine a giant fat Pikachu in the cab of this thing? Like Christian said it numerous times. Like he's like, people come up with this, like, make it like, make it like freaking sons of the forest, man. We want hardcore survival. It's like, dude, no, we don't need hardcore survival. I don't need my character sit there and have to worry about eating food dude he said it numerous I heard, I heard pokemon huh I don't want to go into multiplayer and have to whoop someone's ass because they stole all the toilet paper in the outhouse. All right. So then he's got to put a fighting mechanic in there. Okay. And then he's got to add like special abilities like bitch slap and donkey punch, you know, and we don't need that shit, man. You know? PvP, I'm gonna come in and steal your shit. So all the noob ass gamers that can't play first person shooters are gonna get dominated. Or come to your save and steal all your crap. Mortal Kombat out of war. <laughs> what? Pretty soon we're gonna have like bikini shows. Tatico's gonna win all those. You know? So I mean it's like, dude. That's one thing I hope never comes to this game is leaderboards of any kind. I honestly hope it never does. I, I, dude. You know what I mean? I hope leaderboards never comes to this game.
Yeah, but you can still load it. <laughs> True. <laughs> just walk up and just start siphoning. You're like, hey, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? You dig it? You doing okay over here? Yeah, I'm just on break. I'm <laughs> just slowly siphoning their fuel away. Get wrecked, nerd. I'm out of here. Peace. Throw a moly sandwich at him. Been in your cab for like a week. They get a, they get a poison debuff for eating it. Fighter jets, please. That's my dude. That is my number one. That is my number one thing that I keep asking for. You guys keep asking me what I want. I want an A-10 Warhog that shoots plowshares. That's what I want. You guys all want the Bagger 288 and stuff like that. You guys can suck it. I want my Warhog that shoots plowshares. All right. Or at least it shoots Draymite. I can't get plowshares. I want I want Draymite. Yeah, I know the truck is full. Over in here. Fresh map just parachuted. You make it like eco battle for resources. The NPC referee in the game could be Greta. Leaves just from into the cab. Nah, they would just think their wife was there. Get all horned up, dude. Nasty. Damn, Bill. Was your wife on the claim today? Yeesh. Dude, did you have to go there? Yeah, dude, uh, it's past a certain time. Of course I did. Do you expect any less? Come on, man. Oh. Watch out for that wall there, buddy. Who left the dead beaver in the cab? <laughs> if there was animals to shoot, man, there would just be dead animals all over everybody's claims. Come on. I shot this damn beaver, and I don't know where it went. There you go. Anytime if they added water, random event, beaver comes in and blocks it. You got to go in there and dig it out. We got a crazy moose on the loose. Dude, if we had moose in the game, I would definitely name one knuckle for sure. Best moose name ever. You know, after the Sonic the Hedgehog character. This is what happens if you dig too many holes. One day.
we need to widen that turn off right right that's a little sketchy over there i'm not gonna lie that one's like uh oh Will the tires get wear and tear i mean i would assume that they are going to be coming with the repairs i mean he showed the pressure washing thing right that's kind of cool how do you guys feel about that you guys actually gonna get out and wash your equipment I mean, if it has a if it has an effect where if you don't wash your equipment often and they break down more, absolutely, I'll be out washing my stuff for sure. Nah, just keep that thing dirty. I wonder I wonder if he's gonna do it like uh I, I, I wonder if it's literally just point and click like farm sim is gonna be his farm sim is. I, I was hoping it was actually gonna be like uh I was hoping I was hoping it was actually gonna be like um it's gonna be like a pressure washing simulator where you actually have to aim at the area to get the dirt off. But it's probably gonna be like farm sim where you just go up to it and click it and then it eventually becomes clean. Damn it. That's all right. I need that corner to be tight, though. Oh, only 84%. What the? Good job, buddy. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, so voxel, not voxel. Sorry, um, ultra dynamic sky and ultra dynamic weather is what he's using for this game. The rain feature, you can tie a lot to the rain feature, like flooding. You can do little puddles on the ground and things like that, but not with this static mesh. So you can, you can, but this is a very flat looking mesh. There needs to be a little depth to it. And I don't think the game can handle that performance. I've done, a, I've done a lot of testing with both of those type of assets. And um, on a small scale, yes. On a large scale like this, no. You really have to have your, um, your LODs and your RODs on lockdown for those things to work really good. Now, I'm not sure. I haven't tested them with the 5.3 Unreal. Because I know that they do a lot of um, auto LODs and stuff like that, so... Level of detail and render on distance, right? So. Your PC can't even handle snow. Damn. The damn. All right, let's drop a save real quick here.
take a look at the uh the poll see how you guys are doing so 35 votes and it shows digging 89 percent of the uh the poll is main focus of the game should be digging building six automation crafting six and i'm sure if we added 40 other one of those categories it probably would have been about 10 percent i think i think digging would always be remain i think digging would always remain to be about 50 percent even if you put ten thousand votes on there probably be close to just kind of was just kind of curious there thank you guys very much Oh, come on, man. Sliding right into the back of it. Building and digging. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not liking this new, whatever this dirt's doing here. You know what I mean? Not, not enjoying that. Not enjoying that like weird texture change thing. Diggy, 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 diggy. Yeah, they do. They get all flashy and distorted. That's what I was, that's what I was telling Christian today. I was like, dude, the hell, bro? What's going on? They get all distorted and stuff all weird randomly. This is new to this couple, last couple of patches. Needs to back off of whatever he's doing and go back a little bit more on the on the other slider. <laughs> whatever, whatever slider you change, go back the other direction. <laughs> right? Whatever, whatever that value is, add a little bit more back to it again. We'll find a good balance. Not everybody can play it. Fuck off if you got a potato. I'm sorry. Don't like all the rest of us suffer. We want we want a next gen mining game. Not one from 2012. We already got that. Okay. It's called Gold Hunter. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to. Just get a better potato. <laughs> right? Grab some tinfoil around it. With that gold tinfoil stuff, it makes it more expensive. Yo, what's up, Hellhound? Hell yeah, brother. Yo, what's up, Eamon? Oh, my road. They fit. I notice uh, like a crackling when the dirt is shifting sometimes. What do you mean? A crackling. Just get off grandma's PC. You been drinking split? Dude, no, I've, I've, no. No, actually. I gotta work tonight, so no. This weekend? Absolutely. Oh, okay, like the, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about the other day on stream. 
Yeah, it has like these like white little texture tears, like little whitening lightning tears, you know? We can see through the world for a second when it's trying to like reform and stuff. Yeah, I just didn't make the ramp wide enough on this turn or this this part because I'm such a so high to this. I should have doubled the width on the bottom. Oh, well. Yeah, and then there's a lot of people that have been having sound issues. So if you've been listening to people, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys, it, does it happen to me? Where I'm talking and the game, like my microphone pops or crackles and shit like that, like really loud. Like uh, a bunch of people I've noticed have been having that issue. A lot of people, especially you don't really notice it unless you're playing with somebody in discord, that their microphone's going completely stupid and crackling and breaking up and like exploding and making all these weird static noises and shit. Okay. Yeah. I'm like one of the few people like streamers that it happens to that doesn't happen to. I've noticed a lot of weird audio discrepancies and stuff like that. And a lot of people in discord we were testing it out a little bit too. You thought it was your buddy's mic? No, it's actually the game. It's actually the game causing that issue with a lot of people. I've been, uh, we've been trying to, we've been trying to talk to Christian about it quite a bit because it's affecting more people than, than we thought. Uh, at first, at first, um, hybrid steel was saying that is, Everybody on his stream was like, yo, bro, your microphone's like crackling real bad, like and popping and cracking. He thought it was like OBS or something like that. But um, now we had people in Discord as well, too, man. We had people in Discord. We were sitting there playing and then their microphones were like popping and crackling and getting all weird and shit, right? Like, and um, as soon as they closed the game, it stopped. So it's 100% the game having the issue. And it only, that only started uh, with... Uh, 0 0.21 so if that if you hear someone that that's going on let me know I know that like I saw like four or five streamers that it was happening to and it's different for everybody so not everybody has the same like audio pop or crackle or or whatnot so as far as we've also narrowed it down to it it is also just aimed like it seems like none of the people that run Intel CPUs have that issue like I run Intel I don't have it uh, but all these other guys, they all have AMD and almost every one of them pops and crackles. You hear the pop and the crackle on mine? What's up, Cope? Oh, on your end, you're hearing it. It's it's generally through a microphone is when you hear it. Someone talking. When you're playing, you hear like a weird pop and a crackle through your audio. Hmm. I don't think I've heard anybody say that yet. I've all, it always, it always seems to be their microphone that's having the issue, not their actual sound in the game. Oh, like your your friend's voice gets distorted. Did fix did Christian fix the dirt bug? What dirt bug? That's the update. Randomly change the progress. Yeah, it runs like crap. It's almost unplayable. Twelve to so something FPS on the mid graphics. Oh, that sucks. One of your main games you play? You like the DLC, Sean? Yeah, DLC's been, uh, been good, dude. Didn't have my camera on. Tell them to stop putting the microphone in their mouth? No, that's not really the case. Just got home from moving, huh? Building Lego and chilling. A lot of you guys really like building Legos, actually, huh? I noticed that. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys in the community do these big, giant Lego builds. You're fine on my end. 
Uh, what dirt bug are you talking about there, Cope? You've started over so much you can't build a mine like mine? Well... It'll take a lot of time, I mean. It'll take a lot of time. You will think I've been playing these games digging in dirt for many years. It's not something you're going to learn overnight. Yeah, take your time, practice, learn. Legos help reduce the tism. <laughs> Facts. Same thing with those Lincoln logs, you know. Nice and clear. Yeah, like I'm trying to narrow it down to help out Christian because it's such a weird thing, right? Like just trying to help these players that are also oh, affected by it. Holy shit. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants to, you know, you know, if you're a streamer, nobody wants to, you don't want to hear that half the people don't want to watch you anymore because every time you're playing a certain game, your audio is just blowing their eardrums up, right? Like that's not something you want to hear. And that's not something the game creator wants either, especially when it's on their end, right? Then it's like, well, crap. If all the creators, if a bunch of the creators can't play the game or they don't want to play the game because they're blowing their viewers eardrums out because of this, then that kind of sucks, right? No, it's not. It's not. It's it's one hundred percent in the game. Because as soon as these people turn off their the game, it stops happening. Like I can't, I can't press F twelve. F twelve doesn't work for me when I'm playing. I can't take a screenshot. I've went through every tutorial to try to fix it, and nothing. I can't, I cannot press F12. <laughs> it's not unbound. It's not the, any, any of the thing you can find on the internet I've looked at and I cannot get my F12 to work anymore. It used to work. It doesn't now. Yeah. So I can't press F12 to take a screenshot. Uh, when this patch first came out, I press it, but it was like super delayed. Now it just doesn't happen at all. Now I just can't press F12 at all, but it, it works in every other game. You make it look so easy, dude. Dude, I bro, I don't even look at my screen half the time. I'm just reading chat. You guys need to step your shit up, all right? You guys need to stop being noobs and just move the dirt, okay? Be one with the dirt. You broke the F12 key. I'm starting to wonder if no, it's definitely not. And I'm not even gonna unplug my keyboard and try a damn pro one. Yep, you get the hours in. You big noobs. It's a weird way to call us all scrubs. Damn right. Nah, you you'll you guys will eventually you will eventually get it. It'll click in. I would say I'm an advanced out of war player. So jumping into the game right away and trying to do what I'm doing is probably not going to work for you. But we will try our best to get you better. You know what I mean? Like my mind doesn't really make 
sense as far as like a full production mine because it's more I don't I don't like to go to exact code can I play the exact code absolutely I can but do I want to do that no a little bit of tism mixed with some arcade I'm good to go Mabby. It's all about that grind. May the dirt be with you. Yeah, it is. A lot of it is. A lot of it's just learning how things manipulate things. Right? That's really all this game is. How can I manipulate this to get the outcome that I want? And once you learn how to use the machinery to manipulate the ground to what you want it to do, and you got a winning uh, combo there. And that just takes time. Well, I remember the night Dead Man was talking about you. <laughs> How it feels. I'm well, going hard at it when I can. I thought that was, that was pretty. I was like, this guy talking about me, dude? Just randomly just listening and like watching different channels and sitting there eating dinner. I was like, what? what, what sounds like this guy's describing me. Wait a minute here. <laughs> oh, dude. I almost, I almost spit potato soup, tomato soup all over my monitor. <laughs> Hey, France is 49 months, dude. Much love, bro. Keep it up, dude. Hell yeah, I will. You know it. Only noobs get offended. See that hard to find dirt line right there? Ugh. Gross. Splits a noob, he just eats tomato soup with a fork. Isn't that the way you're supposed to eat it? Who needs a fork or a spoon? Why well, we have extra large coffee mugs? Break that shit. The only reason why you would need a fork and not a spoon is easier to fish it out with getting more soup on your spoon. That's right. Probably has a power outage. Yep. You have to use a fork. I would use chopsticks all wrong. <laughs> I don't mind using chopsticks. I don't mind. Except for when I'm drunk, dude. Then it's like, nah, ain't happening. Nope. No, wait a minute. Sorry, it's the other way around. I'm better at using chopsticks when I'm drunk. That's what it is. Dobie's trying to call me out. She says I'm the worst at using chopsticks when I'm drunk. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, you yeah, might be right. Hey, shame, dude. Take it easy, buddy. Thanks for hanging out for so long, man, today. Appreciate that, bud. All right, so who dreams of out of war in their sleep? Anybody? Anybody?
Not yet. It's more like nightmares. <laughs> you haven't hit that nerd level yet? It's always like, for me, if I'm playing a game, a lot. Right? Like, a lot, a lot. This is like, I'm not even paying attention 90% of the time anymore. You can obviously tell, but... It's always like that first 300 hours of a video game where you're just like junking out hard. Once I get past that, that, or unless I have a, like, for me, I have like a lot of stuff to do. Like when I'm getting ready to do the Q and A's and stuff like that, or I got a lot of testing and stuff to do, or that's about the only time I, am, I ever even think about it in my sleep anymore. Cause getting on and streaming and just working towards the progress of the save is not really like tweaking my brain out enough to, to do that, right? And then, and now it's like, I don't go to sleep I don't go to sleep after streaming because I work. So it's like, I don't, I have all that time to like de detox from it at the end of the night before bed. Cause I, you know, only I hear for like a couple more hours then I go to sleep and or I go to, I go to work. Right. So I don't, I think what it is, is gaming when you game too close to going to bed, I think that's what causes that. You had a dream where you forgot to hit the save button, lost hours of work. You, the, you know what the worst thing is, is when you do all this work in your sleep and then you wake up and you're disappointed when you go to log on to the game in the morning. You're like, gosh, damn it. I gotta do all that work again. I just did it in my sleep. Damn it. Oh. Uh, what is the most amount of hours that I have in a game? Oof, dude, I don't even know if I want to admit that. I don't even know, bro. I don't know. I don't know if I want to say. I'll just put it this way. In Gold Rush on two Steam accounts, I have over 13,000 hours. Between testing and streaming, I have 13,000 hours. Um, and that's not even close to, um... I guess World of Warcraft and maybe RuneScape back in the day and yeah, not even close. I do that sometimes in my sleep. Yeah. So on split into gaming, I have what? 3000 something hours in, uh, in gold rush. And then I have a, I have a testing account that I use that's separate from that. That's got uh, the rest of the hours. Like, I mean, mind you, the testing account has a lot of like AFK hours because I'm talking to the developers and things like that, right? So I got to just have the game open while I'm while I'm sitting there, and maybe sometimes I fell asleep at my desk and left it open. But my streaming account on Gold Rush has like hardly any AFK hours or menu hours. Yeah. Pretty much, man. Now, my World of Warcraft account, dude, I had multiple characters with 360 days played on them. But then again, that was also the same thing, too. I just kind of left my account running and, and stuff like that. But if you added it all up, I probably had easy 20,000 plus hours on World of Warcraft. No problem. By the end of this year, I'll probably have 2,000, maybe more, depending. Depends. Like, with working, I'm, I'm limited to, like, 40 hours a week. Most. Unless I I, unless I stream on, like, Saturday and Sunday, but... That get, that's getting a little... That, that is getting a little harder for me to do, because... The weekends is about the only time I can really spend with Dopey. Right? So... And and if, uh, you know, bar, wanting to barbecue and stuff during the week, and... Things like that, right? So...
16,000 hours in Rust, huh? You got over 4K and EU4? Damn, I thought eight hours in Skyrim was a lot. Yeah, I think Dopey and I, Dopey and I, when we played Farm Sim this one time, for the viewer challenge that you guys can find in uh, the membership, the hard mode survival Western Wild save that we did, that was 300 hours in a month that me and Dopey put in. Yeah, we did three, it was 300 hours in a month on Farm Sim 22. We were massacring to do multiple 24 hour streams. <laughs> People ask me all the time, you should do a 24 hour stream, bro. <laughs> oh, man. That's how I know. That's how I know. When people are like, oh, dude, you only play like five hours, man. That's noob numbers. You gotta be kidding me. You know who you're talking to? Looks like it's way faster in my sleep to do it. I just stopped doing 24 hour streams because it's just so they're so unhealthy, man. Like after my heart attack, it was like I, had, I did a couple 24 hour streams and it does not feel the same, bros. Woo, it does not feel the same. I do not recommend doing them when you're younger. Sure. Yeah, you can get away with it, dude. But uh, no, it's not worth it. And plus, you guys said you guys were did you guys. All the, we were doing donation goals for them, you know, 300 bucks. We could activate a 24 hour stream. You guys started manipulating it. And yeah, you guys started donating too much. Well, yeah, money's nice, but killing yourself is not nice. And a lot of you guys were donating a shitload of money to watch me and Dopey suffer. So uh, we've never failed the 24 hour stream. But um, a lot of you guys were messaging me that were the main, a lot of the main donators on the channel were like, no, we're not going to donate to you anymore. Uh, if you're going to keep doing these 24 hour stream donation goals at such a low amount, like you got to move them up to at least like six, seven, eight hundred dollars, dude. Because some of these people will just donate three hundred dollars, let you do the twenty-four hour stream, and then donate another one, another three hundred, and they'll just do it over and over and over and over again. So that's why a lot of these guys were like telling me to stop doing that. It just got unhealthy really quick. So yep, nope. Yeah, after tw after twelve, I'm fine up to like twelve to fifteen hours, maybe sixteen. As soon as I hit that 16 hour mark, though, I start to, uh, okay, if I'm playing the same game, it's worse. No matter if I love the game or not. Like if I love the game, 15 hours ain't nothing. It's nothing, right? Like it, it feels like nothing. And man, yeah, it can, it can start to, it, no matter how much you love a game, sometimes it can start to wear on you after 15 hours. I have a very specific routine when I hit that, that 16 plus hour mark. Um, you know, get a little bit of food and go take a shower. Right? Like, go take a shower, man. You know what I mean? Like, I fell asleep a lot on the last 24 hour stream, but I was still sitting there playing. That's why one of my cut was like going downhill because I would like fall asleep in between backing up. <laughs> like, not off. I was like, I was resting my eye socket on my microphone. <laughs> Just doze off. Oh man. That was when, that's when Christian bamboozled us and didn't put the uh, bulk mode patch out. And we had to wait until like 12 hours after I started my stream. I knew I shouldn't have updated that day. So I did the last one by myself. Yeah, true. That was the last time I did a 24 hour stream. Yeah. Was when bulk mode came out. 1.18, I believe, right?
you're lucky to get the TV for a couple hours, man. I feel you. I'm lucky if I get to watch any TV with just work and, and streaming, right? People are like, oh, like last last two days, we've I watched more TV in the last two days than I've watched in a while. I don't even know. sword art that evil show is pretty good been out for a little while we've been watching that mean dopey we've been watching that I finished watching the Halo series by the way the first three episodes were complete trash like they were it was a snooze fest the first three episodes of the of Halo season two but uh, after see like episode three and four really picked up, and then after that it was a banger. Oh, thank God! Whew, I had to keep giving it a second chance, third chance, fourth chance. I was like, okay. And then eventually it was like, okay, now we're good. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. The Halo series would be better if I had Master Chief in it. <laughs> God damn it. How do you, how do you guys feel that they that they actually gave Master Chief a face? I think I don't think did they even need it? It's kinda like the Mandalorian, like you know what I mean? Like I think it was fine not seeing his face. Right? I don't think we needed to see his face. I you know what I mean? As the character. Oh no. The character doesn't match at all. You mean the guy playing it or just the the, his overall character. I know, I know it's a hot topic item. I know it's a hot topic, right? Because they needed to find someone taller. His personality. True. I did. I did think the same thing too. His personality seemed a little off. I mean, the actor does a good job, but he, he's not. I think he was uh, a little bit different. No face needed, just the armor and the helmet. I think that's where the Mandalorian went right, because they just gave two shits about the, the actual, like, the face of the actual character. Keep the helmet on, bro. Yeah, no doubt, right? Come on, taller. Yo, what's up, Shadow? He wasn't big enough? Yeah, I agree. There's a part where he told her to shut up. Chief would never. Never played Halo? Oh, they cracked the game rating up on you. Yo, what's up, old yeller?
Hey, Byron, dude, thank you much for that, uh, that VIP, man. Much love, dude. Make sure if you guys got it gifted or you membered up on your own to, uh, link up on your Discord and do the connection there so that way you guys can have access to VIP. If you ever see me in there before stream or whatnot, come on in and say hello. I normally try, I try to do some coffee talks here and there, but, uh, come in and chat with us, dudes. Say howdy. Most of the time we're just talking about random stupid shit. Sometimes you might not want to be in the chat when we're talking because we're talking about all kinds of crazy stuff and I'm not going to repeat any of that right now. But yeah, it's like splitting two after dark. <laughs> Sometimes it's illuminated. Toby, shut up over there. I'm not going there. Yeah, much love. Thank you much for that support, man. Right, let's keep smashing here. Hmm. What before after? Yeah, we try to do a coffee talk here and there. I used to do them a lot more, but I don't have time in the morning. Uh, it's it's literally roll out of bed, check my DMs. Um, I have maybe an hour to myself to do that and then it's try to get on the stream before at my normal time slot of noon and then stream till about eight jump off hang out with Adobe, cook some dinner relax for a couple hours shit shower shave and go to work get off about seven o'clock in the morning rinse and repeat that's my schedule and try to watch as many people as i possibly can and You been busy? New strip cut? <laughs> the Halo theme song. Damn it. A dinger that every time. Be very helpful with the game, man. Hey, okay, glad I could help you out, dude. I feel like I've been slacking this week, like last two weeks, man. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm, I haven't like, I've been losing steam there, but I need to like, I need to pick it up, man. I need to at least get up to that 30 hour a week into the game. That's what it's going to take to get this project done. I mean, realistically, I'm not that far off. It just seems like it. Like it really does. It's, it's really odd to say that it is. It seems kind of weird, but I'm not that I'm not too, too far away. Once I get into just the building phase, it'll be a little different. But my problem is, is I hope I get enough bedrock out of this bottom bench layer that I'm going to pull out of here to uh to get a lot of that done and have the money right so your community is back apparently you guys are getting beat up by twitch
<laughs> at least you've outgrown the age you can play some different games now yeah my, my parents did, did not really care well they did but they didn't care what i played as long as i wasn't mimicking the video games hey they didn't care just get rid of this overburden up here Boop. Hmm. Yeah, I've been mainly spending the time on this. Just gotta get this this uh bench all prepped. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with the uh side over there, so I'm kinda like avoiding it for right now. <laughs> kind of avoiding that. Am I making a road? No, I'm actually just defining the cut. That's the cut back there, right? So I'm kind of pushing out this um area on this side because the cut needs to go further this way and a lot of this area needs to be excavated out so yeah i got the the bench layer right there all the stuff that's on top of that needs to get mined out i was gonna start that today but i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna hold off and start rolling to the side and start collect just keep i need more money i need like i need a lot more money i need a lot a lot a lot but i also would like to get to bedrock and start getting that all running i go like pushing like 300 hours and i still haven't hit bedrock yet well most of this cut is actually just is not actually um this part over here right behind me see the darker area that's actually just overburdened so that can actually just be blasted out or or uh front end loader deleted one or the other okay popcorn chicken fries if christian shows up it's not my fault He'd be in bed right about now. It's getting late. Well, maybe that's when he would be devouring nuggies and, and burgers. No, I want popcorn chicken. Man, it's windy outside. It's nasty. I don't know what I'm making for dinner tonight. I don't know. Figure out something. some of those damn buffalo tenders hmm oh no i need to lay off of those man i already had no, i'm good oh my garbage cans getting knocked over okay by the way we are getting a massive windstorm right now so you lose power that's what it is that being said i'm gonna go ahead and drop a save <laughs> yeah we're having a wicked windstorm right now uh, it's it's kind of like well it, i can see the cheese trees blowing around out there gusting pretty Oh, those buffalo tenders do sound good right now. Hmm. Problem is, is they're kind of painful. They're a little hotter than last time.
Your wind is crazy too as well. Oh. You guys are getting all wind too. It is, uh, it is tornado season for some of you guys, huh? Yeah, see, that's all. I think that's all overburden right there. It slopes down. There's like a little basin right here. For all this, uh, dark areas. You can see how it kind of like bleeds out, right? Down there below on that side. Your airplane, you're tricking us. That's like an airplane taking off right now. You're also under snow warning. Gross. Ah, uh, cool. Keep moving this thing out of the way. I mean, getting this cut prepped is a big thing. And we are running material, so. There's that crappy spot right there. Hmm. Kind of divides the cut, but it won't on the next layer though. Cause we'll be down to bedrock and around it. Actually, no, sorry. We are, let's see here. I am sitting. Yeah. Look at that spot right there. Yes, spot. That's all got to get probably blasted or ripped out of there. I'll probably take it out of there with the, uh, the front end loader to be a little bit more precise because I want to, I don't want to run it. That's just stupid. I'll probably hit it with the front end loader. Start saving some cash. Dude, it's only f almost five o'clock, really. Man, the day's going by slow today, dude. What the hell? I thought it was like six, seven.
Yeah. Um, yes, YouTube, YouTube does have a little bit bigger of a delay because they, we run higher bit rate. So there's uh there's latency modes and since I run 1440 I'm not allowed to go to ultra low latency as well too so but the video quality is way better on YouTube for sure And no ads. Well, only one starting ad because I can't get rid of that on YouTube. Any tips for someone new to the game? Well, where do you want to begin? Perfect place. <laughs> yeah. Any tips? The first, okay, okay. Number one tip for anybody who has never played this game. Have you played any other heavy equipment type of game? If you have, the best thing you can do is right when you get into the game, take the time and change all the controls to the game that you already know and play that way you don't have to relearn any controls or try to do controls that you're not fond of you can literally pick any game that you would like want so like if you if you are a gold rush player or farmson player just change the controls to those that way you don't have to have a learning curve of learning a whole new set of key binds and stuff like that i think that would be the number one recommendation i could say to people Why learn a new uh, key set when you don't need to? And I'd say the number, the other number one thing would be do the tutorial so that way you get the very basics of the game in its current state. The tutorial is definitely a, a way to help you learn how to do crafting basically and how to spawn vehicles and things like that. All right, so definitely do the tutorial. It doesn't take too long. Pretty much just like, it just shows you a couple things in uh, the basics, right? Like pretty much in this game, all you really need to know is how to spawn a vehicle. I take care of the vehicle. How to do crafting. And then pretty much, it's pretty much self-explanatory after that. And uh, come up with a plan early off on what you want to do. And like what you want out of the game and then just make it happen. Right, because the world is very basic and you just make whatever you want. Start off with like a pickaxe or I, I would definitely say starting off with a pickaxe is probably going to be your easiest way to stay. You know, try to play without taking loans. You'll learn a lot about the game and you'll learn just a lot. You know, so try to work up slowly, build up and then, and then then go from there. Yeah, default controls for this game are kind of bummed, so you're definitely going to want to change them. You do have a lot of freedom with the controls, so.
Uh, yeah, try to start with the small stuff if you can. Maybe even just start with the hand, the pickaxe, like the fast pickaxe. Start with that, work your way up until you can buy a piece of machinery, and then... Like, I would say start with the, the front end loader first, because you don't need a rock truck. With an excavator, you need a rock truck. Uh, you know, theoretically, you know... Unless you just build the hopper out to wherever you're going, so... The hopper line, but if you want to keep it cheap and run, run stuff, then you can just start with the uh, hand tools. Find a find a node. Start running some material. Get yourself into some uh, some pay dirt, which is which is lower than um, about six meters into the ground. So try to get down. Start running some pay dirt. But yeah, pretty much. Just try 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 not to take big loans. If you're a new player, man. You could get brutalized, so you don't want to try to run without any anything taking money out constantly, right? It's nice. It's better to put the grind in than than to uh, fail, right, or have a negative money and you can't recoup from it. Drive over here. No problem. If you ever have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. So there's a lot of helpful people among and at MC. So join on in, ask any questions, or even in the stream, just be like, yo, what's up, dude? Community is very, very helpful. There's a lot of guys playing, a lot of guys streaming that uh, are pretty uh, well versed in the game. So. I have a crap ton of YouTube videos as well too if you want to on what on YouTube so if you ever need uh information on things or things like that just that up loans are most people's problems in out of war says King yeah I think loans do get a lot of new players I think no loans probably the best way to go for a new player that way you can just focus on like the slow progression until you get into a vehicle and there's no like hurry right so that's kind of the main thing is is that you don't don't put any added extra pressure onto yourself you're in no hurry to if, you, if you're in a hurry then just play creative mode and just give yourself everything if that's what you want to do but if you want to actually experience the grind and stuff like that then definitely start out slow and and uh don't be in a hurry right it's gonna take a long time this game is not one of those games that you conquer in 20 hours so always keep that in mind and always think about way far ahead of, on your projects if you plan on doing something like I'm doing here. You know, two, three, four, five hundred hours, depending on how you're playing. Like if you're doing if you're doing like hardcore techniques like the belt mining or blast mining, um, it doesn't take as long to get anything done. It's just like playing the game on cheese mode. Right? Like you don't it doesn't take long to do anything. But it really depends on what you want to limit yourself to. Which also then changes the experience that you're having. So do what feels good to you. And there's plenty of stuff out there. Plenty of stuff. Like I said, I got, I got like three, almost 300 something videos on this game already. Slash live streams. So. Okay. Starting to get late. Almost 2 AM for you, dude. Damn brother. I meant to get up, get on a lot earlier today and play a lot earlier for you guys. And I got too wrapped up in laughing at uh, people freaking out about the uh, the Gold Rush rebrand. Got a good chuck. Got a good chuckle out of that today. Oh man. I wonder how my wash plans are doing here today. They haven't put too many truckloads into it, but.
Yeah, let's go down and take a look. So I was thinking a thousand almost. Not bad. A thousand that we didn't have. Those things are just processing over there too as well. Hey, have a good night, man. Enjoy your sleep, dude. Oh, uh, no. Horrible, dude. Horrible. What's for dinner tonight? I don't know, man. I have no clue yet, dude. No clue. I haven't even put any thought into it. No clue. Back it up, back it up. I think the bench is looking pretty good. That little area right there is kind of making me want to get after that, but oh, I'm off. Damn it. Feel the fate. Okay, let's keep looking. And I guess I'm be wondering about food now. Exporting. Get hit with that export, dudes.
do let's see down here I'm missing anything anywhere where we're I'm tapped out right now Damn it, you guys are making putting pictures of food in there. No. Not Discord, that's it. How dare you guys? How frick I'm freaking I go into I go into damn Discord and there's pictures of food in there. That's it. I closed it. I'm I closed it. Can't even focus now. How what am I pooping at my desk, King? I'm not you, bro. Nah, I was reading something while we were exporting there. He's pooping. Gosh damn you guys. Hope you guys are gonna stop doing that by now. This game is taking my life. <laughs> That's a good game, man. Get in there, dude. Got a lot of potential. Even if you just removed all the bugs or most of the bugs and, and fixed a little bit of performance stuff right now, I'd even be fine with just this being the game forever. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I would be okay with that. I wouldn't be that disappointed. Made the, make the economy make a little bit more sense. You know, fix a couple of the stupid things. A little bit of quality of life and I would you know for me honestly I think it's okay of course we want more though we're just we're just freaking greedy little gamers right we always want more <laughs> take it easy there uh, Tadiko Rest up your fingers, man. I'm going to send you my save and you can place my 200,000 water blocks. For only forty four ninety nine, I will place this many water blocks. <laughs> Reconsidered the ocean that you had planned, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I was gonna do a, a meme, but uh, I decided to not do that as well myself. I was like, you know what? I really don't know if I want to place a million water blocks. I'm good. I think I'm okay. I think I don't need to do that in my life right about now. Yeah. I'm all right. All right. We got this low spot right here. That's really, I don't know what I want to do with it. Should I, you see how drastically that, that line starts to go right between, between pay is you see how that slices down, right? 
and it goes it goes all the way to this dark spot right here because you see the original shape of the ground right so it's safe to say that i can literally just cut into this thing and namasaur this thing down right like it's it's you can see it it's definitely it's definitely there like and then there's that it goes right down then there's that little spot in the area i think i should just i think i should just take it out with the front end loader just to get rid of it it's making the cut look way bigger than it actually is because that spot's not cleared adam sales dude thank you much for that uh Prime man. Hit subscribe for two months. Appreciate that, man. Good day, mate. Alright, let's push this into here, and then I'm gonna turn the camera and I'm gonna start chomping that thing until I see Pater. And I'll back off of it and then I'll run it. Because yeah. That's a whole lot of material that's gotta get moved. That doesn't even need to go anywhere. No plant. I don't want to doze it. It's gonna it's gonna contaminate my cut, and we gotta start watching out for that uh, cut contamination, right? So I think I'm gonna start pushing in, and I'm just gonna take it out. Scalpel with the front end loader. All good, man. Appreciate that, man. moving my haul road sucks ass right now Yeah, that's a big spot. That's a huge spot that needs to get removed. It's probably not all of it. It's probably just like that one side for sure. Because like it came down to like a V right there in the in the little valley floor up, up on the top of that. So if I cut into that, I don't mind, you know, wasting a little bit of pay that's in there if I just get rid of it faster. That's a, that's a pretty good area though that needs to be removed. I'd rather just yeet and delete it than uh than spend you know three hours clearing it when i'm only getting a little bit of stuff out of it just if like 75 percent of it's just gonna be uh dirt not even pay dirt Test of that corner. I don't know what I was smoking that day. Damn, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell? Okay, I'm going to connect to the drone. Press I, and then I'm going to... drone right like this nope it wasn't recording good job <laughs> normally i like to leave my drones on when i move but yeah hey whatever i was trying to save too save game
You guys are getting massive wind warnings. Ours just comes in nice little gusts. That's about it. Not too, too bad here today. Nothing like what you guys get. Tornadoes and shit. Hell no. No, thank you. Okay, I'm probably safe to say you can see the line right there that goes down, right? You see the dark versus the light dirt? Let me come down to here. Yep, let's get rid of that. Yeah, we're not wasting much. It's less than I thought, actually. It goes really far down there. Ooh, it's even deeper than I thought right there. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's got this crazy potential, the game, like I said, I've been saying, I've been saying it for this whole last year, right? Like, I mean, the game's had some lows, I'm not saying that it hasn't, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to say the game's perfect or anything like that, because it's not, but, uh, right now in the sim space, I think it's got, I think it's got the best going for it right now. Hey, what's up, Mr. Death, dude? Thank you much for that, uh, follow, buddy. Appreciate that. I think it's got, I think it's got, it's got something going for it, right? It's got this little spark that we're looking for. I think a lot of us sim players are looking for. And I, you know, I can kind of tell that with the attitude of the players too, as well. You know, a lot of people are returning to the game when, cause they first picked it up like last year and uh, it was just, a, it was a dumpster fire, right? And uh, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking that people are coming back they're watching a lot of new people play the game. They're like interested in it again. And you know, they wanted it to be something different than it was last year. And now it's more closer to what they wanted, right? Or it might be getting closer, right? So it's in time for them to invest back in, get a little bit of gameplay in and Just trying to cut out this cancerous low spot here. How you doing today, Death? That's how it sounds like I wake up in the morning. How you doing today, Death? You know, you doing okay today, buddy? <laughs> right. Best dozer in the game. Almost getting through it. I 
closer. Let's see the end of the tunnel. All right, I'm stuck in the. What's up here, buddy? One little thing that's holding me up. Both sides kind of go under them now. Then I can lift up and take them off. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I think multiplayer is going to be that one. One of the things that's going to be. It could be amazing. It could not be amazing, right? We don't know. Like we're just we're, a lot of us are guessing. We don't know. Certain things could uh, happen out of nowhere. You know, obviously we don't want those things to happen. We want them to go good, but you never know, right? Gotta be optimistic about the game and its progression and and uh, its development and. Okay, we're getting close to about the rest of that being runnable material, so. But this side, yeah, you can tell how far that sloped down, right? Like, holy crap, that was a huge chunk of... Here, let's take a look at that, actually. Let's go ahead and do a little survey here. Okay, see how the... Now, you can see where the ground sloped in, right? So there was... You can tell there was a dish here. It's some above us, right? Way above us where we were digging. The way that the ground used to be shaped, you can actually tell by the the shape of the pay dirt and the regular dirt, right? You can actually see the original shape. How and then it was higher up here. Right, and then it came down to kind of into this point. You see right here on this side, on this side it went deeper into the ground, way above us, right? So you can see this is all just overburden. Yeah, and then over here kind of went back up the hill as it as it came down this natural hill itself. So I can kind of see where the ground was, how it was by looking at the layers. All right, so it went up, it went up, and it went up, it kind of flattened out, but it also came down from that point over there. The very top layer on the other side over there was higher at one point, right? So I dug down, came down, was sectioning down the hill. And eventually you're going to be coming down these layers and your cuts are going to be, you know, like half of your cut's going to be overburdened because it's so low compared to the other area. That's why you saw me cutting in this morning on the side to try to get an area to work with. So then I can determine where the actual pay dirt is because it varies so much. And eventually, once you get down deep enough, it won't matter because there just won't be any over whole surface area. But you got to get down that deep, and this area is massive. So, yeah, I'm not even hitting overburn right now. I mean, I'm not even hitting pay dirt. It's all, I mean, hit a little bit there at the bottom, but it's not much. A lot of shit. And then over on the other side, I'll just undermine it with the excavator, right? So. But theoretically, once you get down low, your, your cut will double in size because then eventually you won't be dealing with any overburden. It'll all just be pay dirt and it'll all just be uh, bedrock, right? So. My guess was that, my guess was that eventually it's somewhere I will hit pay, pay to, or bedrock before I get to the end of this, uh, this cut, right? So, but this area is so hilly and stuff that just caused a problem, but it is what it is. We've got a lot of money out of here though. Yep, that is t what I thought. I thought that it plateaued out there too, so. And that ledge, you can see that plateaus there, so I'll blow that ledge up later. Like I did with the ledge today. Keep all this crappy material. There's only a little bit of material here that's getting kind of deleted. Dead rock stuff right here.
Yeah, any pay dirt on top of that was the push there because of the dozer. Eventually, it's nice to clean up your cuts. Like when you have a big cut eventually to stop just sloughing it off the edge of the hill and just clean it up and define the edge and get rid of all the overburden above that layer. And that way, when you're going down, like I said, it, it, I call it cut contamination is you're dropping material on top of other materials. So sometimes it's hard for you to tell exactly what you're mining in until you get past that layer again. So you're like, uh, where's my cut? Where did it go? Lots of work. Ever ends. Which well, that's, that's the good thing, right? And if it's not ending, then you're not. If it's ending because you didn't plan your project big enough. <laughs> Sometimes your projects get too big and you're like, oh man. What was I thinking? I'm kind of like on that border of the later. Did I go too big for this project? I think it'll be just the right size for season four. If I keep everything on task and, you know, delete some stuff where I need to delete some stuff. But yeah, I mean, if I, if I used nukes, it would just be like done in, in a heartbeat. What defines the season? Uh, generally, I try to do it to the build. So like the project in total. And I try to take a little, I'm gonna try and take a little bit of time off between the seasons, but. And out for a little. Sick and tired of seeing. I'm. I am just sick and tired of seeing overburden. That's what my problem is right now. I'm so tired of seeing overburden. Overburden, I'm just like, I'm so done with overburden. <laughs> I don't mind the pay dirt, but this overburden is killing my soul. Like it is, it's really, it's really just kicking my ass. Like this is still the damnation cut. It's still, it's just, it's the whole thing and the way the, the top of the map looked, right? Like the way the top of the map looked, it was just so insane. Is overburden a burden? Yes, it is. But I guess, hey, we don't have the uh, luxury of when you're digging in a canyon, you're going to come into these problems, right? Okay, let's just finish that side out. 
and get that with the loader now or the excavator and push this up a little bit straighten this out You telling me as I go deeper, I have to come back up and widen out the top, hit overburden? Yes. Uh, well, I would like Keith to, I would like continue on this save but more than likely this project's going to be so big by the time i'm done i'll probably have to start a new project a new save i would like to continue on this save for season five but more than likely i'll break my save completing this save because by the time i start decoing and everything everything like that it'll be an immense amount of blocks and stuff what's up Earl damn overburden hmm Yeah, my plan is once the uh, dam is done on the other side up there, I'm gonna, when I uh, devour the mountain, the plan is, is to build season five over there. And, and or I could just do a video series and not do a season five, take a little bit of a break. But I don't I like streaming, man. I like streaming, dude. I prefer streaming to making videos. I get a small, I get a small amount of people telling me like, you know, oh, hey, your videos are way too long. You should like edit them and shit, dude. It's like, well, that's kind of what the time lapses are for, but you know, like they're too long, but it's like, you know, I'm not making a lot of money to, to edit, dude. I'm glad you're not the only one suffering. Hell yeah, dude. Suffering's the way we roll with those damn dirt nerds, right? I'm a glutton for punishment. Same here. Same here. It gives me, gives me motivated. It gives me stuff to do. Right. If I just made a tiny little project, it'd be done. I would be like, I don't know what to do now. Like I'd rather, I'd rather have a suffer where it's like you're working you have all this stuff to do and like, then making the project too small and you know, I don't know. This is how I am though. Yeah, I can reach the bedrock. A bedrock. I can reach the the dirt here. Just trying to find a good area to kind of anchor in here. So I got a little bit more to go on this front side. As you can see that that, yeah, it sloped down towards that little road that I just made right there. And now I have some good diggable stuff for there. So I don't have to keep taking. Very low. We're getting closer. 
Okay, yeah, we're right on that that point. Perfect. We're right on it. I feel like it's the biggest you've gone since release. Uh, yeah, I would say for for me too as well. Without using nuclear bombs and stuff, yeah, for sure. Still, we're still hitting this weird little dimple of dirt here. Maybe it's just right there. I think it's just the last few scoops. Right, it kind of yeah, definitely raises up there. See that? There we go. And we'll hit one more right here. Preparing the cut. Dude, maybe I should have dumped that out a little bit too on that side. That's not that much. That's okay over there because we're going to hit it eventually, but... It's a little on the low end. Should have went a little bit one more over, but I think we're all right. Should be okay. relatively smooth enough well let's just kind of hit it with the, the roller for a second okay now what i'm probably gonna do is once i strip back a good two strips off of this thing i'm probably gonna bench down again and get most of the benching work done and then it's just run 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 because yeah but then again i really do need to figure out what i'm doing with that hill there because that's going to be a lot you see where the pay dirt meets the the shit down here so <clears throat> i can't put a road in for a second cut when i have to, when i can't delete that much it's gonna go down again and again probably have to go down three more times is probably what i'm gonna have to go down more than likely Screw my sleep schedule up this weekend. I 
I was just all sleeping willy-nilly, taking naps and stuff whenever I wanted to. I got up way too early today. I know that. So today will be a 24-hour day for me. I was up at 8, so that's uh, kind of rough. Like, sir, man. Thank you much for that uh, follow. Because I won't get off work until 7. So that'll be almost 24. By the time I get in bed, yeah. I'm going to be... I might, might be a little bit late tomorrow to stream. I'm just going to say that right now. I might just get up in Trooper and have some coffee, but, you know. We'll see. We'll see how the caffeine kicks in and, you know, we'll see how it goes. Get some of that copy. that drop a save let me take a look here yeah i i can't start the second hut until i strip back at least i would say two cuts with the excavator 113 likes yeah how man dude that's that's dude that's insane bro honestly like that's crazy dude thank you guys very much for Immediately coming in and hitting that hundred likes like that's nuts to me to be to be uh hitting those numbers again after so many years later and a different game and it is absolutely crazy to me so thank you guys very 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 much for that Connect to the drone. <laughs> Top of the ramp, I'm cutting it off. One nice little close up shot here. Onward. Let's go. Get this thing over in position. Yeah, moving. We sure been out for five hours. Not bad. We're a little late today, but. but 45 minutes late. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Big noob. Can't see, can't rotate the camera while holding down shift.
get a little digging action going on here buddies Ooh, almost came out hit that the drone <laughs> poor poor drone so i'll strip this side back first and then i'm gonna go along that rim over there good depth on the cut i like it good depth i can reach it i want to take a little bit oh sh the drone dude i could take a little bit more while we're here why not Ooh, what the hell? Yeah. What was all that? Is that what you guys are talking about? Where it just like all of a sudden stops cutting completely and just yanks you hard? That wasn't even a full bucket yet. Yeah. Give it a good stabbing jab then. Give it a nice slow curl on the back end. Take our time, no hurry. Go past a hundred. Big deal. We're gonna put the bucket here as a reference. Back here to get the kids ready for bed. Oh yeah, John, welcome back, man. Ah, so my point of reference is the top of that hill. But I gotta turn that camera off because we wanna get some nice, good trucking. You trying to knock your drone out next week, dude, right? The poor drone's getting a little close. Reach out and touch it. So I got to turn that camera off when I get to the top of it. And I got to turn it back on so we see the truck going up the thing. God damn it. What's up, Randy? Just got that home for me, normal job, dude. This is my fun job. Good to go back to work today. It was a nice, it was a nice time off. I'll tell you that much. I had, let's see here, Friday. Well, Friday's normally my day off. Uh, Friday is my, uh, Thursday night is my last shift of the week normally. Have I been making bars or just digging? I have been making bars. I ran out of gold to process though, so I had, uh, I've just been, I should have went up there and started making some more. I'll go up there and, uh, deal with that here in a little bit. But I, I have already been making some bars already today, so. I think I'm up to four stacks or five stacks now. Like what, $1.4 million a stack? It's a tight fit. Discord? Aren't you in my Discord, Randy? Links down below. He's like, no, I left. You offended me. You're making fun of my old, my oldness. I 
I had to rebuild my Discord? I got hit by a hacker last night, really. The hell? Let me guess, you clicked on something somebody sent you? And you got pwned. Yep. It's a long ass trip down here, but gotta do when you're a haul trucker. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, damn. Damn, bro. You weren't using like two factor or anything? All you have to do is cancel the session token. Then that way they can't keep getting back into your shit. Because they're riding off of that one session token. For your authenticator, right? So. Because you clicked on that, it gave them access. And they're just riding off that one session token so they can just keep coming right back in and changing it back. But if you cancel that session token, they can't keep doing it. That sucks, man. Why I literally just don't click anything links anybody ever sends me, especially on my uh, network. These it's net, this work computer's network. I'm just like, nope. 
because you never you can't i mean yeah you could trust one person but the problem is is like if they get compromised that's why i always question it right it's like huh this is not normal something somebody sends me Those butthole links are tempting. I know, right? You're like, damn, I finally found a good source of some new stuff. Jacked. You're like, oh Man. Everything the same as links in an email. That's exactly what I do. I rarely open up links. Like, rare. Like it's rare, 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 <laughs> rare, very rare. What's up, Chris? You deleted your your uh was that the only thing that was compromised was just your discord Yeah, he was just session tokening you is what he was doing. Yeah, once they get in, they get your session token ID. Then it locks them to all your stuff on Google and um, stuff like that. Right, so... So stupid how they leave that open like that, right? And they got people fishing for that shit constantly. But like I get fished, we get you get fished all the time. Everybody's constantly being being uh they try to log into your shit. But if they don't have the uh the session token backdoor by clicking on that, they can't get in. Right? So especially if you have two factor authentication, they can't really do anything. Unless you let them in by clicking on one of those uh links, right? That's how most people are getting hit right now. That's why it's so important to not click on links and stuff like that. Especially in, uh, in Discord. Hey, what's up, Moment? So happy to have caught you. Uh, let's see here. One second, let me get off this death loop here.
Mm, please tell me I can stop launching my Traco off when I dig. Okay, I'll, once I get back, I'll give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a pointer here. Made that corner ass, dude. That's so ruins my flow. Yeah, I get a lot of the, I get a lot of the, um, as a content creator, I get a lot of emails that are like, Hey, we have this amazing, great deal for you. And they'll bait you with some game that like, they'll bait you with the game, right? Like, Oh, we want you to try out this game and we'll pay you this much money. All you have to do is download this PDF and uh, take a look at the contract. And by that time you're hooped, right? <laughs> like your pound. So what I do is I don't even open the PDF. I, I just email them right back. Right. I like to email them right back. And I'm like, um, I do all my business transactions and stuff like that through Skype. And they're like, Oh, I'm like, so would you like to get on and schedule a meeting? And they're like, no, no, uh, uh we, our, our offer is, is a one-time deal. I'm like, Oh, then I don't want it then. Fuck my ass. Suck my ass out of here. Weak ass shit. If you're going to offer money, you better get on and talk to me. Because I don't want your shady ass shit. Or your mass production grab of everybody, right? Playing some random game that my audience probably doesn't give two shits about is not going to do anything for me. You got to offer me something. You know what I mean? And that way my viewers are like, dude, did you at least get some money for playing that pile of garbage? It's like, yeah, I did. They'll be like, sweet, dude. <laughs> okay. Help me out with this, uh, with the excavators. Okay. Tip number one. When you're digging... Most people do this. They dig down to the bottom. They go down there like this and they go, okay, I'm going to reach in here. First off, I'm hitting the boom, right? So if I start to pull in, if I, if I, if I try to curl my uh, bucket, if I try to hit up against it or do anything like that, right? If I'm coming in and see, I keep pushing down. If I'm see how the buckets like half full right now and I tilt up and I keep pulling, it's almost full. Now it's full. Now, if I go to lift up, watch what happens. See, I'm pulling the bucket's full. The, bu the bucket is going to eventually it'll break it loose, but don't tempt fate. Don't do it. You're, you're digging too fast is what it is. So one thing you can do to stop that is back up a little bit on your cut. Take out the top, but be slow. You got to slow down with it. Don't, don't go too fast. Watch your bucket and, and pull out like that, right? See how it's nice and smooth. You don't necessarily have to have a full bucket every time. If it means you're going to start ripping your traco off the top. Another thing that'll happen too is you'll come in like this and you'll hit a piece on the corner of the bucket and it'll move you. See how it moved me right there? Because the bucket's full. It filled up during its scoop and then I pulled out. See, so I, I hop myself forward a little bit. Sometimes I'll do that if I'm, I, I'll, I'll purposely try to hop myself forward, but you don't really want to do that because and now here I'll, I'll i'll do an extreme exaggeration of it too see the bucket see like that a lot this is a lot of people digging that's what most people do that's when i watch somebody messing around with the uh the excavator that's what they're doing they're trying to push sideways before their bucket's cleared right so it's pretty much it's all 100 percent user error everybody that's always ever complained about it it just they're they're not taking their time and they're thinking that their bucket's going to just rip through the, the ground like it's insane. It's insane. So you just got to slow down a little bit. You just got to slow down. 
watch what's going on pay attention to it and eventually you'll get it's like muscle memory you do it every time so like i tend to jab in a little bit the ground deform you the buckets see the buckets already half full then just start curling right curl lift out all right see my tracks didn't even move come over here and dump the next scoop is not going to be the same i'm going to extend out a little bit more and reach being mindful of the sidewall i'm going to push down all right full curl lift clear the ground move all right dump practice doing that slowly just practice going slow so like again first scoop into the ground it's gonna feel real fast like boom curl lift no you're more than likely gonna flip yourself off if you're digging down here like this because you're hitting the boom first off and you're gonna curl in your bucket's already full you have to lift out and curl up at the same time to stop that from happening so you, that's how you get away that's how how you dig with the uh, the excavator to not mess yourself up All right so then there's this little doom ledge here we're gonna i'm gonna cut into it and i'm gonna lift up i'm gonna kind of finesse it in there and the same thing over here let's go ahead and uh, kiss that a little bit give it a little love Then I can come down here. Oop. And just kind of lift up with your teeth. Just got to know where your cutting bucket edge is. All right, but that's how you that's how you buy with the uh the bucket. It just takes a little bit of finesse, man. And just knowing your um and knowing how the bucket reacts and what it's going to do when it does that. So when that bucket gets full, it's going to start yanking you around. It ain't just going to dig through the ground like like butter. And that's exactly what would happen in real life. You're starting to dig, man. You start, then you push sideways up against a, you're digging a trench. What's going to happen if you yank your bucket to the left or the right? Your excavator is going to move. That's a very powerful piece of equipment. And, it ha and the ground's stronger than that piece of equipment is. In most cases, depending on how hard it is. If you're digging in like sand or something, it might just push right through it, right? But in a video game, it doesn't really know. So it's gonna, it's gonna, physics are gonna take place and it's gonna buck you around. It is 100% user error. You gotta learn, you gotta learn it. It ain't real life. You gotta, you gotta get that memory down. And once you get it down, you won't even have to pay attention to it. You'll just know your, your fingers and your brain will know when you're curling and, uh, versus, you know, need to be able to pull out and curl at the same time. Yo, what's up, bearded? What's up, man? It's a, it's a definite finesse thing, right? That's like everybody with the front end loader. They jab into the wall face. The bucket fills and they try to lift. But too much of the bucket, too much of the non-cutting bucket is underneath the lip, right? And then they try to lift and their front end, the, the, the back end just goes right up in the air. That is a user error problem. That's not the game's problem. Because a front, owner, a front end loader in real life would do the same thing theoretically, if you think about it. If it pushed all the way in under, and the bucket was underneath the lip, and it was against a hard digging surface, it would do the same damn thing. It would lift you up because it's just too much weight. It can't, or it just break the shit out of the machine, right? It's not just gonna lift up through like butter. And people want the dev to fix that somehow, but realistically he shouldn't. He should finesse it a little bit more, but you know. You shouldn't necessarily compensate for people just being horrible operators. And we're exporting. Good job, dude. Also, it's a video game too. You gotta, you gotta kind of learn the constraints of the game, right? That's why I don't like the multi-action sometimes because it can feel a little it can feel a little bit too jerky if you're not a if you're not a really good at using dual joysticks with the excavator and you don't take your time you don't have good fluid movements you're really gonna pwn yourself with the excavator keyboard mouse is really nice because it's, you're, you're more you can be more robotic with it and that's kind of what 
it's kind of what the dirt needs is you to be taking your time in the curl and the move and things like that, right? It, it does. That's why voxel ball mode, some of the guys that play with dual joysticks like that better because it's more forgiving. Yeah, it's literally that side to side movement that's really irritating because you, you want to start turning sideways to get that bucket up and out of there, but there's a little teeny thing that's just going to hold you up. Right, there's that little teeny, 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 teeny lip of dirt that you didn't see or a little micro booger sliver that you didn't catch. And it just takes you for a butt rip and it just happens. It catches me sometimes off guard too as well. I'm like, oh, holy. And that dirt is just dancing around now, man. I don't think he's got something did something, dude. I <laughs> was my uh, Easter. My Easter was good, man. I just uh, me and Dopey just got a lot of stuff were done around the house. Did a lot of like spring organizing. We're still not done. Um, I'm probably have to take it. I don't know. I'm probably have to take a day or something like that and do it because we have family coming over next week and and stuff but um yeah it's it was good i'm gonna use i'm gonna use the truck to pull myself over a little bit see ah <laughs> but it was good it was good we uh just sat down i just got some relaxation went outside burned off some carbon you know for the tar carbon tax and uh you know, just enjoyed some outside time. We had some nice weather, so fired up the barbecue, propane tanks, got all the outside furniture we just got assembled and put it outside. Got some brewskis. Took some good food. I bet that truck now has got some teeth marks in it. Yep. Give it a good bite. Dude, the bucket's empty as well, too. Let me kind of demonstrate this here. If the bucket's empty and you're pulling up into it, it won't really j jank you around as much. Sometimes it will, but it depends on your bucket's angle. Take a little too much here, but when you get real good with it, you can pick yourself up, move yourself around with it. Yes, you can. Uh, nifty things you can do with the uh, the excavators. Sometimes I'll go a little dangerous, depending. Like I don't care. I'll try to ru I'll try to like really reef on this thing. Out we go.
kind of new. Tough thing for you setting up the side appropriately. Yeah, that is the big thing. Cutting up your setting up your uh, cut size. Making uh, cut walls, man. Think ahead. Think ahead. You know, like think about how far ahead I have to. I had had. To, I had to think on this project, right? Like, okay, I've been talking about I was what I was gonna do for how long now? Okay, I'm gonna bench down here. We're gonna go all the way down here. I'm gonna be doing all that, and now I'm slowly just going through the paces of each progressing. So, you, know, you gotta peel it off like an onion, man, and make sure you have a lead edge. X skaters, rock shark combos love cut edges. Uh, don't make the cut edge too deep because then that means you got to come in with a front end loader and scrape and fix everything. It's better to come in with a dozer and kind of just give it a skim real quick than it is to have to like go down there with a loader. And but it's okay though. I mean, if you want to take a lot of material, sometimes it's better to go double the the width, dig everything you can with the front uh, with the um, the excavator on the top, and then come in with the front shove, a front end loader and just take off the bottom. Or get really good with the front shovel and then kind of eliminate both. I'm just not a front shovel play. I'm not a front shovel fan. So what? Pick your poison, right? Like these cuts would be amazing for a front shovel. If the front shovel wasn't as uh, crap. I'm not a fan of. It needs to be tuned. Oh, we don't need a death today. Oh, no death. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing is, is like, you know, y'all, it's always good to have another save. You know, if you love the game, it's always good to have another save. And, um, to make sure that, you know, if you want to go do something or dink around with something that, you know, you're not messing up your good save, you know? I don't have the luxury to play any other saves right now. I just, you know what I mean? I just don't. Pop this. Keep rolling, dudes. can Whoop. I mean yeah it's a little uh it's a little uh daunting to play the same constantly over and over but that's why I like to have variety in what I do you know how sometimes I'll just only use the dozer for a day and some then you won't see me touch the dozer for quite a while and then like then you'll see me like right now like I'm in the I'm in the um the excavator versus the front shovel. I mean, the, the front end loader, right? It just breaks up that monotony a little bit. So having that uh, arsenal of tools that you can use is, uh, is a really important thing. I'm a Hus Lawson. What's up to you, buddy? Getting that work done today, dude. I'm trying to get in here and some of the shit stripped out of here. Just got off work. Nice. Kick back, relax. Is there a way to dig by hand faster than a pickaxe? Wait. Uh, there's a fast pickaxe, yes. There's a fast pickaxe and there is a... Got there on ad break. Not on ad break, then yes. Fast pickaxe is your uh, way to go. Yep, fast pick.
You know, it's gonna be victory day when I'm digging backwards taking out this, uh... Taking out this ramp. You know what I mean? <laughs> Once I'm down, like, another three steps. It's just a thing. I gotta go down another three steps. Oof. Oof. Holy. Right? Yeah, going out three more steps, dude. Road got a little bumpy up here. Yeah, the faster way is to uh, get the faster pickaxe if you're here back from break now. I just saw there was an ad break. I used to play tons of World of Warcraft. The three characters, patch. I just quit playing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, being a con being a streamer, like definitely, being a streamer is one thing, but also having people viewing what I'm doing is also great motivation to to continue, you know, pushing through. But I understand completely, man. You don't, and people don't gotta tell me. You know what I mean? It, like it, it can be exhausting sometimes, dude. Like, I was saying, I, I try to stream 30 to 40 hours a week. Like before I used to stream easy, easy, way more than that in a week. Like, but life changes, you know? I'm just glad I still have the ability to continue to do what I'm doing. And, um, you know what I mean? Like that, for me, that was kind of like big. It, I, it would definitely suck to not be able to, to stream and stuff like that again. You know, or stream, right? So, very, very thankful that I can uh, get enough time in to get some streaming and maintain my community. Let alone play a game like this under some crazy circumstances and continue to progress, right? At a, at a de progress at a decent rate, I guess. I mean, 15 hours, I can do a lot in 15 hours if I'm focused. I'm not being stupid. But that's like not very often. I'm not being a potato. Big boy truck fills. Eight thousand's a monster. What's up, Maddie? Just chilling. Good to hear. Dubby's in laying down. She's not feeling too well today. Not feeling. She was up, up and about for a little while, but. She's good.
No, I jumped right into the excavator bucket. No. This turned out nice though. This turn this will be a, this will be a really nice cut to push out here. I think I should focus on doing this layer. The next next I think I, I think I can do a lot of damage in here. You see, I think I'm gonna be leaving a road on this side here, the width. Right? So I'm digging out everything in between all the way up to the wall. Oh, oh we made it. Hell yeah. There we go. One last question, bud. Um, I believe that that's on Steam's end. I don't think there's a way to actually change that right now. I think that Steam takes, it's probably delayed on Steam. Some of these changes will, some of them are not in full effect yet. The re full rebrand, there's still some things that need to be done, but. I know that they're, they're, they're still, still going over finding everything and making sure everything's changed and. Like I said, long, long, long process. <laughs> Spent five hours loading and dumping. Yeah, it's a long time, man. It's uh, this, it's no joke, man. Definitely, it definitely takes a lot of uh, grit to get in here and get these things done. That's why I'm excavating all of this out, even though I don't need to, because I need the material to follow my, my role play, right? So I need the money. It'd be nice to start running bedrock for once in the frickin' ever. The only time I got to run any bedrock is when I made the diversion tunnel. That's for a very short, limited time. Oh, your name so the leaderboards reflect uh, oh okay uh your name you have to go into your account it's it goes off of your account sorry it goes off your account name so you have to literally change your full account name all right so i thought you meant the game's name i was like huh okay what Hey, you're like, I got hacked.
Diggy diggy hole, bros. No, how exciting, right? Watch some guy dig a hole for like five and a half, six hours. Let's go. And exporting. So even more exciting. <laughs> even more exciting. Look at this exporting screen. It's getting pretty chill. Everyone's kind of just chilling for the night. It's relaxing. Always dies off around this time of night. Got weird. All the big boy craters are on. It's them world. Good thing there wasn't anything in that. Just at 11 hours today. Probably going to be doing 15 or 16. Nice. Don't be jealous, man. I, I like these little five to eight hour streams. It keeps me in check. A little out of control. You know what I mean? I've had some addiction problems with the past from streaming and playing a little overplaying sometimes, you know. That's and that's why mainly I don't want to do leaderboards anymore because it, it's like this un, weird, unchecked, unhealthy situation. You know, like, God, destroy a ball. <laughs> Bam. Who put that wall there? And to think how much trucking I'm doing compared to most people playing this game right now is insane. <laughs> right. Well, these cocoa puffs are smaller and they work so much better. Why can't all the dump trucks work like that? See that? that see, that's how I wish they would work. The bigger, the bigger cocoa puffs, man, they just get all like mean and angry. It's are like this weird gigantic cocoa puff, cocoa puff, like mosh pit going on. That's how you're moving everything too, Peter. Hell yeah, buddy. Truck gang. Let's go. We got the haul truck gang in here, don't we? Let's go, boys. No problem, man. I'm just a dude on the internet playing a video game. Thank all you guys for coming in and watching me, man. Appreciate it. You haven't watched my videos in a little while? It's all good. Life happens. But you're here now, right? So welcome. Good to see you.
Keep going. Do I have a Discord? Yes, I do. Link is in the description below. close to getting this cut out. That side. Anyways. And that's what we're left with down there. It's not too bad. You hear all of what you're not seeing is split jumping the equipment off the hill. Yeah, those are long days in the digging. Get a little uh, zoned out or reading chat and Pull yourself right off a cliff. Is what it is. I got like 60 games in my account. I feel like I only need one now, and that's out of war. Oh, yeah, buddy. It's the only thing I've actually felt like, I mean, a couple games here and there just because people wanted to play with me, but other than that, I really, I guess I really just don't have any interesting playing anything else right now then again like i said it also comes down to a time thing so that's a lot of it too as well out of board does really well for me so let's dump onto the back one a little bit more and then let's go forward a little bit and push it right into the middle. And scary. One one thousand, two one thousand. Join the Discord on the phone. Welcome, welcome. Shadow's running away from me. 
No, Shadow, no. Don't do a Shadow. No, it connected to the other Shadow. <laughs> They've now formed it to make a Shadow. Damn it. Gotta pull massive, 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 massive amounts out of here. I chew this cut up. Perfect cut in this. Backing this up. Change view on the camera. It's always good to do that every once in a while when you're doing these time lapses. And yes, I will remember. I will remember to not put the wrong date in for the time lapse tonight. So, my bad, fellas. My bad. Sometimes you want to dig up those sky boogies. Oh, we're already at 100%. Rip. Okay, top of the other ramp over here is where I get to cut the video off and turn it back on. Which just went into an ad break. Same thing when I get down to the bottom. That's off right there. We're just hitting the six hour mark. It's going to be a long ways down there.
Your community is back, it says on Twitch. Come back. Whoa. Easy. Oh. Driving like I'm drunk over here. Oops. Yep, gotta move forward a little bit. Reach down and grab that. Up a little. I was over full on that one. I don't know what I was thinking. Look at that little dish right there, man. Crazy, dude. How low that bedra or that pay dirt went into that thing. Yo, injections, what's up, man? How'd your drive go today, dude? I was able to catch you for a little bit. Didn't want to comment because you were driving, so. How'd your uh how'd your trip go? Not much good. Trip went good though. Right. Back out we go. Did I hear anything about gold versus the game? Uh, yeah, I'm current on all the news. Can we talk about it? I mean, yeah, I don't see why not. Nobody else is chatting. <laughs> we, we chatted about it quite a bit today, but yeah, sure. I don't see why not.
what's their what's their plan uh pretty much in short uh they today they pretty much yesterday they started the rebrand that means they changed the whole game the game's now called gold mining simulator and they will be updating the console console update today for playstation went ass um it needs to be completely redone something's wrong with it broken and we are in the testing for the second dlc of the game at the moment and uh yeah it's about all i can really say about that you know i, mean, I can't really leak anything else but it's not called goal worst the game anymore So they're going to continue to put out the planned DLCs from long, long, long ago. And uh, they're going to do... One of them should be coming up here soon. And then the other one should be coming later this year. And then I'm not sure what else they're doing after that. But turn my recording on. That, that in, a, in a nutshell broken down is pretty much what's what's gone on and what's conspired there's a lot of rumors and crazy shit going around but people are just uh people are just trying to start shit The patch that just came out today? Yeah, the PlayStation patch is absolutely borked, apparently. <laughs> Wouldn't know. Not a console tester. Did it get an update, though, today on, on uh, Xbox? Does your game now say old mining simulator? If it doesn't and it still says gold rush, it didn't update. Been the big topic news. Maybe I might have to do something on it like I was saying earlier today. I just, you know, I just don't know. Because, I don't know, when I look at, like I said earlier, when I look at gold rush, I just kind of see like this weird hollow shell of a game that I used to play that doesn't really say, hold the same meaning anymore and um I just don't know what I want to do with it yeah PC updated for sure I know that I just don't know what content there is to be had other than just sitting there talking about shit that doesn't really mean anything really like they rebranded okay cool that's nice they they had to change they're not they're not done by discovery 
They're not partnered with Discover anymore. You know what I mean? Like, they're not partnered with Discover anymore. Okay, cool. So we lost all the, the, the gold rush fun factor of, you know, potentially seeing anything themed with gold rush, the TV show, which is why most of us bought the game in the first place. But that's a really big bummer, right? So, you know, so now we're not going to have like any themed gold rush, the TV show stuff anymore. You know what I mean? So that's, that's going to be kind of a bummer. Like I said, I don't know, it's, it's, can you really call it the same game if it's not going to have the gold rush flair? Oh, dude, thank you much for the, uh, follow, man. I mean, it still is the same game. Don't get me wrong, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I like, like I, I canceled my, uh, my upcoming gold rush content because of, of all this. Like, I don't feel. I feel like if I'm just going to be playing a mining game, then I can sit and talk. I, so my plan was, is I was going to, I was going to do Gold Rush, the TV show recap episodes, like talk about the episodes and have talking points. And I was going to do a weekly, a weekly video on that and play Gold Rush the game. But it's not Gold Rush the game anymore. So I can literally just play anything and do the same thing. Right. So there's no connection anymore other than some of the wash plants and the same stuff's there, but eventually that's not going to be there anymore. Right. So it's like, for me, I'm kind of like, you know, well, I loved, I really loved the TV show and that's what got me and kept, maybe kept me there for a long time. Now the only thing that keeps me playing that game is the fans, you know, but you guys have all uh, embraced me playing this game. So you know what I mean? Do I really need to play that game for the fans anymore? How do you guys feel about that as the viewers? People have been viewing me for years. How do you guys feel about that? Like brutal honesty time right now. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, Gold Rush devs can't handle fixing the PSV5 version. It's stated in their Discord. They never planned for that console, even though... No. I mean, PS5... Okay, so PS5, I'm part of the development team, by the way. Like, the uh, the testing group. So, it's just a little bit of a... If you didn't know. Um, the PS5 got added in as an afterthought right when the new, new gens came out. Like, right before that came out so it wasn't actually they didn't know if they were going to meet the certifications for it so it's not like they did it on purpose it just so happened that they were able to get it certified on the next gens right so it was a I'm surprised it worked as good as it did on the next gens you know what I mean considering <laughs> the time frame of when the game was actually ported i think it was just dumb luck that it actually met the certifications for ps5 uh, when they originally ported it from an old pc version i found you all with this game can't speak of what you did in the others i like watching you play this yeah mainly mainly the, the like like on youtube we got a lot of og viewers that have watched me throughout the years right like most of most of the people that watch on Twitch right now may have only just found me recently because I wasn't on Twitch after a while. I used to play Farm Sim and like Gold Rush and stuff like that here, but uh, then I kind of came back. So a lot of my viewers, oh shit! A lot of, well, that's what I get for not paying attention. Can I save it though? Is the question? Absolutely freaking not. Now we're just humping a rock truck. Good job, bro. <laughs> What the? Well, walk of shame, dude. Walk of shame. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> that's what you get for not paying attention. 
Trying to read two chats at the same time? Well, rip. <laughs> I downloaded Gold Mining Simulator, played for two minutes, and oh, back to Out of War. Uh, yeah, they will, they will eventually bring it back. They will, they will fix it up to it. It's just not, it's not happening right now at this moment. It's happening currently. It is being worked on. They are working on bringing it up to, but they didn't give a deadline really on when it was going. It was very... I even told him it didn't, it didn't, obviously this whole April Fool's thing was not an April Fool's joke. It was just a poorly marketed, they were kind of forced to do it during that time frame. Now being brought up to, consoles being brought up to the level of PC at the moment will take them time. I don't know if they've stated that, they could have stated that, they should have stated that way better. So, so a lot of their marketing right now has been rushed because of a lot of things that we can't talk about. So it's a, it is a, it is a shitty situation. No, they didn't leave enough time for a lot of things. They were rushed, obviously. I mean, a rebrand is not a good thing, right? People keep saying, oh, rebrand's great. No, we, we talked about this earlier. Rebrand is... First off, they lost one of the most powerful names in, in the the industry. Losing the name Gold Rush is massive. That was one of their biggest selling points is having the name Gold Rush. Right? Like, that is not a good thing. Anybody who says otherwise, it's like, damn, bro. I mean, also, too, it's like you can't ever really guarantee on Sony or Microsoft when it comes to cert certain games. That's one thing. Like, they could literally just, like, be like, oh, all checks are good. Then at the very last second, nope. And they fail you. And, well, you're sitting there with your wiener in your hand going, uh, well, we've already told everybody that it's coming out and we didn't pass certification, but we were already ha got a passing grade. But that's another weird thing, too, uh, when it comes to video games. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're porting their own game, the, the new devs. So this is a new dev team. I know that the old dev team did not port the game themselves. They hired a company called Blitz to port the game. And I think they did a fairly okay job because there wasn't too many bugs. There was only, but they did leave in that weird, nasty, um, out of vehicle lag with the first person with the, with the first person camera, right? Like that's was kind of weird that that even made it past the um certification and stuff like that really really odd yeah that is that is a very negative point i would 100 percent agree like i remember like before was up sitting there going you know oh don't worry guys console is coming out console is coming i sat, I sat there for years and defended them right as being one of their testers and like kind of like an unofficial pr guy for gold rush for many years and everybody's like no it's never coming out this game's horrible crappy devs but it was definitely coming out it was definitely coming out the company had to go through a lot of bullshit like they were constantly fighting with each other in the office arguing upper management was horrible drove the game into oblivion like these are things that are public information the public knowledge right i mean we even had on one of my streams the owner or one of the bosses, I don't know who the shit it was. We were sitting there talking about the game with one of the person, one of the coders on, and they were sitting to chat about the game. And you hear this guy come in the background, just screaming at them, like just running through the office, ranting like a freaking lunatic, dude. Like it was just some weird ass janky shit throughout the years. Weird janky stuff. It seemed like the, it seemed like for me, it seemed like being a part of it since the beginning. Like I've been, I've been there for, I was there for eight, I've been there for eight years, dude. Like I was there, I was playing Gold Wars a year before it even came to Kickstarter. And it just seemed like they were always on eggshells and everything that they did because of the upper management and blada blada. And everything was, everything was, I'll, I'll say it right now. 
everything was micromanaged by people that had no fucking clue how to build video games. I'll be I'll be one hundred percent true, uh, fa factual about it. Uh, that's exactly what the problem was. You got these guys with money, that have no clue how to build a video game, that want to sit there and power trip on people that actually know what they're doing. That is the problem with some of these these uh, companies. Like I had I had I had one of these guys sit and try to like treat me like I didn't know what the hell I was doing as a tester because they gave me the wrong testing code. So I sat there for three days listening to this asshole trying to explain to me how to enter a, a code into Steam to access testing when I've literally been testing the game for eight fucking years. And I've been a paid tester at some big, big companies. Like, it's how stupid the, the, some of these upper management people are. They're just power trippers and they have no clue what the hell they're doing. They should not They should not do anything other than open their wallet, support the game that way, and get the fuck out of their way. And it, it, it drove, it, you could tell it drove the game, uh, the company to oblivion. And that's the same thing that happens to a lot of dev teams. Horrible upper, upper management thinking that they're just power trippers. They have no clue actually out how to build the game themselves. That's been the bane of almost every indie style project that I've ever been a part of is is the upper management just ruins it and the publishers ruin it. But the coders themselves sit there and eat shit because they're the ones in the front line with the community taking it like a champ. You know what I mean? Like, they just get dicked on. And he's, you know what I mean? Like, still don't get the why the quads are in there. Uh, th all that stuff was, all the stuff that's coming out and all the stuff that was coming out and has came out, like the quads and stuff, were all asked for by the community. So back in the day, we had suggestions and the devs actually paid attention to them and they were trying to add a lot of the stuff that the people wanted. And one of them was a, was a quad or ATV. All right, so that was, that was one thing. Let's not flip off the cliff again. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I get, it's just, it's a shitty situation any, any way, any way you look at it. I mean, yeah, in a way, they don't got to deal with Discovery Channel anymore, and that seemed to always be a roadblock because Discovery Channel is picky because why, well, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't Discovery Channel be like, yo, we have one quality control and it's not making it or whatever. Who knows what the deal was exactly, right? I don't think we'll ever, I don't think we'll ever know the full, the full dealings that went down with that whole situation. Do you know what I mean? And nor should we really, to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't think we'll ever, ever know. People can guess all they want and, you know what I mean? Most of it's just rumors. I've tried to get a public statement to see because I would I was was trying to get some information publicly so I could give you guys, but they're uh, they're very tight lipped now. Like they're they're very you know do it themselves so to speak, right? When the old devs were like, "All right, content creators, get out there and and here you go and here's some information to go off of," and now it's like, nah, they don't. I mean, we don't even have embargoes or anything like that for anything. Can't get any information out of them, which is very weird. As a creator, you know what I mean? Like, that's very, very strange. So, I don't know. I'm along for the ride, though, dude. Like, I always have been, and I'm just going to try to stay positive about it because it is a group. It is a new group of uh, people working on the game, and there's new upper management. So, just going to try to remain positive, and hopefully, the game and the company does great things, right? And brings Gold Rush back to, I mean, Gold Mining Simulator back to uh, something crazy, right? Let's have level five access. I mean, I've been there. I've been, like I said, I've been there for eight years. You know, so maybe I'm just the old relic dinosaur now that doesn't deserve any information, which is probably what it is, so. old ass dinosaur
Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to play the game more if they were bringing out like content on a regular basis and like the game actually had more content, right? It just doesn't have the content to keep me entertained long enough. I still love it, but it's just not there no more. You'd only feel a rock truck or a Frankenstein so many ways in the same claim. So many times. You can only dig a hog pen out so many times. Whether you love the game or not, it's not enough to keep you to continue doing that same gameplay loop over and over and over again. At least with this, it's massively dynamic, right? I asked myself in Discord to be honest with the players, but just got answers with some silly white knight mods. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think both. I mean, I know on both mods, they're one of them is a mod for my channel. They're not going to sit there and say things that are going to go against the devs. There's no way because they want to keep their mods. Let's just be honest about it. Let's be brutally honest about it. They're not going to go against the mods. I mean, the mods are not going to go against the devs, even though they have something that's truthful. They're not going to say it. And they're not going to say it publicly. And they're always going to take the sides of the devs. Right? So, it's just the way it is. Like, in any game, or any mod, or anything like that, man. Like, it's just, it sucks, but, you know. Like, I don't share the, I don't share the same opinion, but then again, I'm not going to, like... I'm not going to cause problems because of it. You know what I mean? Because I, I have a lot of I have a lot of GR fans. Like I have a lot over the years of playing this game, that game, right? So for me, it's like why start anything when you know what I mean? It's not going to get anywhere. There's no point. And I kind of see their their view as well. They're just trying to they're just trying to keep the devs happy in a sense. But in a sense, it's causing more ripples because people want the truth, right? After all these years, right? Like. What happened? Why? Right? Like, why? You know, the Gold Rush community was abused by the old devs. I mean, that's my that's my opinion on it. Like, the player base was abused. Like, for the better part of five years, there was nothing other than broken promises. We were we were abused and left in the dark. Right? Like, and people are upset, and they have the right to be upset. And I, and I do I think that the moderators are going about it the right way and some of the attitudes some people have about it? No. Because people do deserve to be heard because we all did buy the game, after all. Right? We did buy the game. We did support the game for all these years. So a lot of the questions I see are valid. Some of them are just trolly, it seems like, right? Well, they have, you know, some of them have loyalty to the dev development team because they're making friends with them and things like that, right? So I can understand them being a little bit more, like you said, white nighty, right? I mean, I definitely see it. I mean, I, I've laughed at them, them myself about it. <laughs> like, dude. You know, so it's, yeah, it is what it is. Teach is their own, right? Like I said, I'm not going to make any waves though, dude. I have, I have other shit to do. There's, there's already a butt ton of people on there voicing their opinions and stuff like that, right? So all I, all I know is to my fans, I'm, I will continue to try my best to make your guys' voice heard with the things that you want to see out of GMS and stuff like that, right? So, but whether or not they're listened to is, is what it is, right? No, mod mo moderators are always worried about losing their moderatorship. So, just just a just a for your information there, you know what I mean? They're always worried about sucking dev ass. They always will, and they always will be. It's never gonna change, no matter what game company you are at or who you're around. That's one thing about being a moderator is, is once you get to be a moderator, you're you're never really entitled to a, a legit opinion. You always gotta baby it. You gotta walk around on eggshells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yours isn't updated on Xbox? Yeah. And I'm poking at him because I know all of them. 
be nice if out of war came into next gen console yeah i would agree man it'd be nice to see this game come to console it'd be it'd be really nice like i doubt it's gonna but i mean these guys are actual actual indie developers uh code horizon tried to play off that they were indie developers way back in the day but when you have 20 something people on your team and a lot of them went to college for building games you're not really an indie team right so Christian is an indie developer and I would say that you know he's doing a really good job with what he's worked on so far and, and I know for a fact that a lot of people would love to play this on console um, you know hopefully hopefully when he goes on row 5 there's hope for him possibly trying to put it on console at least like maybe even just just single player it'd be nice just to have it just on single player uh, even if there was no multiplayer, if that made it easier, I think it'd be really good for him marketing wise to at least try to hit it on console. Don't make any promises, but just do it out of nowhere. You know what I mean? But it's hard to say because, you know, he is one dude. He's still learning and there's a lot to learn. So maybe out of war two or who knows, right? Yeah, Code Horizon, Code Horizon's had a lot of a lot of ties with titles. They didn't just make Gold Rush, they made quite a few games. His mods in Farm Sim were great. Yeah, he did they seem to that's what a lot of you guys said that a lot of the North Modding Company's mods in Farm Sim were really good. We've gotten to know him pretty well and uh, he's a good dude and he you know he works hard and he tries his best and you can tell he's constantly learning, so that's all we can really hope for someone that's trying to build a game that we're all trying to enjoy and stuff, right? Is that they learn every day and... You think the G GMS is, uh, has less sales? Um, I think it's... I think losing the name Gold Rush is going to hurt them for sure. I think I think it 100% is. I mean, people will flock to any turd. Not saying that that's a turd. I'm just saying in general. I mean, look at the Gold Hunter. Gigantic dumpster fire that that is. Look how many people flock to that giant flaming pile of crap. Right, so I think it'll hurt them. I think it'll hurt them more than they think. Or maybe they don't care. I don't know, but I think it's definitely going to hurt. That's just my honest opinion. I think it's going to hurt. I mean, how could it not hurt, right? The name, like I said, the name Gold Rush is powerful, dude. Like, in the world. If you think of it as like a world, how many people watch that TV show? Like, that's insane, right? To lose that IP is insane. I mean, that's a massive blow, right? Like that, like marketing wise, whoo, that's a kick in the nuts. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a massive blow. feel like it's just a way to get gold uh, people to play gold rush again uh no you can definitely say it's not <laughs> i could definitely tell you that that's not the game. the dozer looks so tiny in the background it does doesn't it poor little dozer the poor little 400 Looks like a skid loader. Nah, they they were they were um they they were forced to injections. They uh they they lost the licensing. In whatever form or factor they lost the licensing to use the name Gold Rush and all likenesses of it. That's why they had to rebrand. It wasn't. It was not a gimmick. It was definitely a uh, a full fledged thing.
I obviously know more, but I can't say anything. But it will, I will. When I can, I will cover it. But it won't be anytime soon. I'll tell you that much. It's not like, oh my god, I'm gonna break it. You know, I mean, all the. No. No, I just can't say anything right now about it. But no. They definitely had to change the brand. Yep. That is the case. More more light will be shed on everything the more the months go by. And so right now it's just this weird process that everybody's got to get over and deal with it. Yes, it is changing. Yes, it changed. Yes, things are happening. They do mean what they say. Because like I, was, I said earlier today, this new crew is like the the mop-up crew of all the stuff that we were supposed to be getting and stuff like that over the last four years that the old development team failed on so these guys are in there putting in work trying to get the game to do what they can some obviously it's had some obstacles and hurdles so let's see let's see what they can do right let's see if they can make the game worth coming back and playing with you know new life and and stuff if not then it is what it is <laughs> right like it is what it is I mean, I know there's a lot of pissed off people. I know that. I know. Trust me, I know. The day that, the day that they came out with that early thing about the April Fools, I got about 300 DMs in about a six-hour period. Um, and then over the next following days, probably like another 200 leading up to... Now it's pretty much almost what any, everybody wants to talk about in the streams. Big, big, what? Uh, ma. I'm assuming you meant split, but. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's been the hot topic for days, right? Oh, I was like, huh? Big. You can get the first person to ever do it like that. Say it. <laughs> like, huh? I mean, it'll soon pass like like a lot of people logged in today and I, I knew you know I saw it coming right like the only thing that was changed today on PC was all the gold rush names and stuff like that was gone right <clears throat> it was pretty much just the rebrand and uh, a lot of people were expecting like a lot of stuff like most people today were like I thought it was gonna be an actual like overhaul like it, I mean I, I can understand people being mad like they have every right to be upset, right? They it, it kind of was like a it was kind of gimmicky. To be honest, it was gimmicky. I said I said it to the developers today. I was like, it was kind of gimmicky. People have the right to be upset, and you know what I mean. You guys are just gonna have to take it. It is what it is. True. I do need to save. It's been a been a hot minute. I think, I mean, like I said, though, I think overall it's going to be a positive. Okay. And I'll say this again. 
I think overall it's going to be a positive thing because anything is happening. Before, nothing was happening. So therefore, it was all negative. So therefore, it can't be any worse than it was. Even though people may not like how things are worded or things are being brought out or things like that. So I, I, I truly do believe that. That it is better than what we had because before what we had is nothing. Right? No chance, no hope after the console release. And it was just going downhill and it was just a bunch of coders sitting in an office collecting a paycheck and doing little to next to nothing. And these are my these are my friends that I grew to knew over a long period of time, and you know, it, yeah, you know, yeah, they definitely worded it like shit, hundred percent. And honestly, I I kind of laughed at them about that today. Was back in the day, it was this is what it always was. They put the patch note out, they butchered it because the English to either Poland from Polish and Poland in there and they would fuck it up all the time so what would happen everybody would run to my stream because I'd be sitting there waiting because they told me exactly what time the patch was going to drop they told me exactly when everything was going to happen and I would sit there and like soothe the crowd you know calm everybody down you know hey this is what's going on now chill out just relax and I did that for the better part of five years and I just stopped doing it like, because it was so hard to follow up with. I was getting wrong information. Like, they were just, you know, they started just not caring anymore. And uh, I just felt like it wasn't worth it anymore. Right? And that, that cohesion that, and synergy that was working between developer and content creators was really good. And now it's just like they put this shit out there and it's just like damage control mode constantly, right? And, and how can I, I can't do damage control. When I'm not part of and I'm not in the in crowd anymore, right? So nor am I gonna try to. Yeah, anything's better than nothing for years, exactly. Anything's better than nothing for years. So now I'd I would love to work with the new devs and do what I did what I used to do for the community. Absolutely would love to. But I don't think that's actually gonna happen. So they got, they got their agenda, they got their path, and they're just going forward, and that's it. So I'm just going to sit back and do what almost every content creator does and just cover it when it comes and see what it's going to be, All right? And do and help out where I can. They still haven't posted any patch notes. Some of the console asked for them. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Like I said, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what their reason would be, would be behind that not posting patch notes or or I think that they're so overwhelmed right now would be my guess that they just you know I don't it's hard to say it really is like I, I don't I don't know like I submitted a giant thing to them like saying you know hey I'm willing to do this and this and this as a content creator I just want to make sure that we're like very clear on you know what i'm willing to to do for the game as a creator like i've done in the past with other devs and i just literally got no response but then again like i said earlier today as well did i dodge a bullet because do i really want to wrap myself up in what's going on right now not really i could rather maybe i'd rather just wait for the smoke to blow over you know what i mean and just play out of war and have fun and just chat with people like we're doing right now, right? About the whole situation that is, you know, that. Like, like I said, like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Yeah, the no patch notes thing was kind of weird. But then again, if it was just a rebrand, then that's why there wouldn't be any patch notes because it was just a rebrand. They had to get all the GR stuff off the main titles and stuff like that. That's probably exactly all that was done. That's why there was no patch note. That's my that's my guess. Because I'm kind of shocked that there was no patch note either. But if it was just a rebrand and nothing else, then there wouldn't be a, a, a patch note. Uh, 
Uh, they may not be so keen because I played this. No, that would be a stupid mistake because I'm like one of the biggest creators that plays this game. <laughs> of course you want the guy that's playing your opposition to play your game too. And I even, I even directly asked them if me playing this game was going to cause a problem and they said absolutely not. You know, because whenever a patch comes out for this game, I get, you know, my views shoot up and you know what I mean? Like... Besides the big, big boys that play this game, like on YouTube and stuff like that, the big, but they don't play the game regularly, right? So like on YouTube, I don't even, like today, I think maybe we peaked at 75, but during the patches, we were up to like this whole last, you know, 60 days, we were up to like 120, uh, even peaking up to like 160, 170, 270 viewers uh, for like the first like two or three weeks of this patch. So you definitely want people playing your game that play other games that are in the same genre, especially a small genre like this. Right, so. Hundred <laughs> percent. No, I directly asked him because I said, I said, you know, hey, if me, if me playing this game is gonna jeopardize anything that I do, I need to know now, so I can distance myself. And they said, no, absolutely not. So, you know, because that's the first thing I want to know as a creator and a tester. I've been with them for so long, right? Like, like I mean, I'll be honest. I knew more about Gold Rush than all the new developers when they came in to, to uh, start their, their their thing there. Like the stuff that I've seen. Most of those guys had no clue people have seen that stuff. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Like, wait, you know, how do you know about that? <laughs> what do you think? Like, you're, you're new here. You've only been here for a year. I've been here for eight. <laughs> right? Like, you're new. You're a noob. With the program. I've been here a week. <laughs> yeah, I've been here. Let me just put it this way. My copy of Gold Rush is so old that when they put out that modding, the, 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 you know, the skin modding where you can mod for the skins, my account was so old it didn't even register as a copy of Gold Rush. So when it went to patch in, I couldn't get the tools. They had to make a special version just for me so I could mod the skins. That's how old my copy of the game is, dude. It was it was an original. It was like an original 15. Uh, friends and family copy. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous, man. I do actually have the uh, assigned. Um, I bet you have Goldworks on floppy disk. I actually do have it on CD. I have the full deluxe edition. Um, I have all of it on hardbound and autographed by all the developers. And uh, they sent me a postcard with my name on it that said Gold Rush. And that postcard was signed by all of them. Then they signed the inside pages and stuff like that. For all the work I did in testing and everything like that. They also sent me a Diesel Brothers one too. Hard copy of Diesel Brothers for the same thing. I actually have quite a f I actually have quite a few game devs that have done that. They've sent me like autographed copies of the the game and stuff for all the games I've worked on in the past. Ad break. Copy is a lick starter, <laughs> Kickstarter. Uh, 
Damn, that's one way to get your game going. Get a lick starter. <clears throat> This old branch that you can sell it off and make mint. True. True. Let's see, I got... I got a signed Overwatch. I got signed um, Burning Crusade. Ratchet of the Lich King. Uh, let's see here. Rainbow Six, old one back in the day. Yo, what's up, DMS? And Luke, thank you much for that sub, man. Appreciate that, dude. I yeah, actually, actually have quite a few uh actually have quite a few games that I've worked on that they sent me actual hard copy sign and stuff. It's fun just to, uh, I, I did a lot of paid testing, but with these digging games, I just, I just do it because I, I mean, I started, I, I really wasn't involved with gold, the gold rush because I, I did that for free because I just liked the TV show. And when I, I always, for some reason, every one, all the time, I always would search, go on the internet and I'd search for realistic digging game, like excavation and gold mining. I would just do it randomly, like once every couple times a year. See if anything was popping up. Because I was just a fan of, uh, it did a little bit of it in real life. And watching the TV show and stuff like that, I was just like, oh, it'd be really cool if they could, like, mimic this in a video game, right? And then out of nowhere, I was sitting there and I was searching on one of my, my sites that I use to, uh, find development teams that are looking for paid testers. And all of a sudden, I, I saw this little pop-up that was like realistic digging game and i was like huh interesting I wonder what that's about so i clicked on it i was like oh some people from poland so i busted out the translator and i was like oh interesting so i just kind of started up a conversation with them i was like oh cool they didn't even have a name or a brand yet nothing like that and um i had to start chatting with them and they're like hey would you like to test our game and i was like sure <laughs> so that's kind of where it started with these uh dig digging games these games aren't really my actual like games that I actually really enjoy playing. Like, I liked playing simulator games a little bit here and there because I, it got me away from the elitist like World of Warcraft raid leader, you know, perfectionist, gotta get shit down like top 10 in the world, right? It got me away from that style of gameplay and craziness that the people bring with it. And I just... I don't know. I just, I, I was just, I, I, that's the type of games. Like I, I love playing six Sim city and stuff like that when like I wasn't playing those type of games. So I really am not per se a Sim player, So just, it's kind of funny how the games that you guys all watch me play are digging games. I'm like, I'm like, dude, dude, I was, a, I was ranked 0 0.02 in the world that PUBG ranked against all the ranked players. I was one of the top PUBG players. I couldn't get a soul to watch me. Like, it was, you know what I mean? Like, nah, it was all about Shroud, Dr. Disrespect, and all those guys, right? But those guys are sitting there, like, killing, like, they're dropping, like, 20 bangers, killing freaking people running up to him going, hey, take my money or take my loot, right? And, I, you know? Hey, DMS, dude, thank you much for that, man. Appreciate that, dude. Appreciate that, man. I couldn't get nothing, it would, you know? I was getting 20 bombs killing actual actual hard players and nothing I couldn't get anything out of you know what I mean so 
I just enjoyed playing this game, and the only reason why I got into streaming was because I was like, you know, I was like, eh, well, my friend wants to see the game, and I want to show it to a couple friends, so I just threw up a stream, and that's what started. I just rolled into it, man. No, we're not done. I owe you something. Oh no, what did I do? You can the carpet bomb me now? I owe you something. You set me up with that sub, man. I appreciate that, dude. You not been tempted to make a sim game? I actually did make uh, two concepts, actually, and I sold them off here recently. I sold them to... I can't say who I sold them to, but... I sold, I sold off of two Bering Sea Gold style games. The one was under the ice dredging and the other one was a uh, floating dredge. DMS dropping the $100 super chat. My dude. I would assume you are the one from Twitch the other night. I said you were going to come in and drop, <laughs> drop a hundo. I, assume that's, I would assume that's who you are. Dude, you had, you had me. I almost spit my damn... I was eating dinner, bro. I was like half asleep at my desk. <laughs> and I, 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 yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like, this dude, this motherfucker talking about me. I was like, nah, I don't know if he's talking about me or not. It sounds like he's talking about me. <laughs> I was like, nah. Then I saw the people that were in the chat and I was like, I know those guys. I know those are damn degenerates. I was like, oh, dude. dude. Much love, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm happy you are enjoying the game, dude. Honestly. Yeah, we get a big old hype for DMS, man. I don't, I don't have, I'm such a horrible streamer, dude. I don't do links or anything, man. I'm just freaking lazy as shit. You know what I mean? So. I'm like, pretty fail. Yeah, man. Much love, dude. Yeah, I've seen you guys. Seen you guys over here on Twitch as well. Like, I was telling everybody, man. Get up into this game. Get playing it, dudes. It's worth it. It'll it'll bring your view count up. I trust me. Like, trust me on this. This is this is a good one. This will bring your view count up. It always has. Everybody who's played it or made content on it, if they were serious about it and they're passionate about it, and they were learning, it definitely, it definitely, is good. So bring your view count up especially on twitch because twitch has been kind of dead for the better part of the whole last forever up until recently right so definitely get up in this guys all the current content creators right there we go there it is i wonder what's taken there I just got this working, so I'm trying to figure out how to set up a good base. Well, you're in the right place. If you head on over to my YouTube channel, you will definitely find a majority of the information that you need, especially if you type in uh, productions. Like my productions video, I have underground mining, I have blasting tutorials, uh, all that stuff. Keep in mind, some of the equipment looks a little out of date because there's been updates since then, but most of them work 90% of the, uh, the thing yet. So that's why I haven't made any new videos yet. Did my first uh, live show yesterday, and it was the worst. <laughs> YouTube is a whole different animal, bro. And now we're exporting, so get wrecked, right? Guess I can sit and focus on uh, chat. Yeah, no, it's uh, YouTube is a whole different beast. Like you're not allowed to do 99% of the stuff that you do you can do on um, on Twitch. Like the whole music thing, we ain't got. We don't get that here, unless you got a uh, copyrighted, like. Like, just the viewership's different. They don't... Like, Twitch... Twitch is a little bit... I like to pick on Twitch. Because they're quiet, and then when you poke them with a stick enough, eventually they come out swinging. And then YouTube, they're just all old geriatric fucks that probably are older than the game we're playing. Like, by like 40, 50 years. See how many of them we wake up. Hey! Hey, what the shit, dude? Yeah, they're all in bed right now, so they're not going to respond. Right? Like... 
You just smack them in the head with a wiffle bat all day, and eventually they'll roll out of their game and say what's up. Yeah, Demos is good. People seem like it, man. Get good vibe to your stream. I got a good laugh. I got a laugh out of it. <laughs> hey, I'm 61. You talk about me. Speak about yourself there, dude. See, yeah, see, you just gotta poke him a little bit, man. That's all it is. It gets late, man. It's like, like 7.45 my time, but for them, it's like an eternity. They're trying to figure out how to put their depends on still. Yeah, but YouTube's a whole different animal. It's a hard thing to, uh, you gotta gain traction and stuff like that through videos and it's, it's hard. It's a lot harder. Like I was telling people, it's a lot harder to be on Twitch and then try to do YouTube. It's, it's a lot easier to go back the other way. It's a lot easier to be a YouTuber and then to open up a Twitch channel and stream and just multi-stream there, right? It, it's a lot easier. YouTube something that can take years to grow. I'm 24. I feel like I'm 60. <laughs> YouTube is better than Twitch because Twitch is dead. I don't know, man. I was watching some stuff on Twitch the other night, dude. Whew, there's a lot of cool stuff in that pools and hot tubs. I'll tell you that much. The invisible chair? Damn. That's a whole new meaning to Duck Duck Goose. Goodness. They almost called me the starfish hunter last night. That's all I was looking for on Twitch. Now, nah, both platforms have their place, man. It's, uh, wherever you can find your little space in this world to grow. That's what it is. That's where you got to focus. So let's move back our, our day. Cause it's getting pretty dark and it'll be pretty dark for the time lapse. <laughs> I know that all too well, man. All too well. All right, let's get down in here. And I am pretty good today, actually. I think I made quite a bit of progress today. Oops, let's not fall off this cliff. Y'all, what's up, Vars? Just kidding around. Nah, yeah, I know. Everybody's always poking. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get away from the... Uh, trying to get my viewership away from the whole platformists type of thing where it's like i'm low i'm loyal to this I'm, I'm loyal to that it's like how about just be loyal to your content creator and who gives a shit where they stream right follow them wherever they stream if they're streaming this day in there or they're doing this today then just follow them right it's one thing i disliked about twitch was the kumbaya factor you got 40 people watching 40 different people and nobody realistically grows and chats are all dead and that's the same thing can happen on youtube because I know everybody wants to support everybody and everybody wants to grow and and stuff like that. But it really does hurt the ecosystem of, of everything. And it sucks because we all stream at the same time and there's so many great people, right? So that's the down. That's the, that's the shit side of it. That is the shitty side of it. Like, I can't. It's hard for me to watch when I'm trying, you know, chatting with all the people in my chat and then try to be in other people's chats. It's a tough one. It's really is a tough, tough thing, right? Okay, let's keep pushing here. <clears throat> Try to keep everything right because such a noob. Hey, man, it comes with time. You'll get there. You'll get there. Watching me push you over your fear? Fear of what? I got fears all the time, man. Like, I might shit myself on stream. You know, that's, that's my biggest fear, dude. Pooping myself on stream. That's like the worst, man. You're just having a bad day while streaming. You're digging in your bucket. Your, your excavator goes flipping over. And then like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you might poop yourself, dude. It happens. 
Oh, YouTube's YouTube's tame, man. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, you can be it can be a scary, daunting place because you just don't know what's going on. But you know, biggest advice I can give you. The biggest advice I can give you. There is no actual trend. There's nothing. It's all a myth. It's all bullshit. Do you literally because you can't copy anybody like right now. I'll, 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 and this is the way I can show you. I'll, I'll prove it to you. Look at how many content creators. When I say this, you're going to laugh. Everybody's gonna laugh. look at that um, pirate software guy. You know what I mean? That long haired dude. It's like always talking in that super deep voice. And he's like, yo, um, um, I work for Blizzard, dude. And and um, I got a Hello Kitty butt plug. You know that guy right everybody copies him but nobody's growing right nobody everybody copies him because it's personalized to him so you can't really copy what anybody else does and you know what i mean and not everybody can be mr beast right so it's like just make your content and pray that's literally all you can do just make it and pray just, just go for it do whatever you got to do or Markiplier, yeah, right? Everybody, everybody, everybody tries to copy that guy. Everybody does, and it just doesn't work. Your power's gonna be out until the fourth. What happened, dude? <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. Yeah, my goal every day is to literally try to make somebody laugh and uh, distract people from shitty times they may be having. I can at least do that. Everything else is good after that, you know? Everything else is good. Everything else has been a success, right? Whether you have one viewer or you have a thousand, doesn't matter. That's honestly, the, that's the thing. It's, that's the thing that's probably kept me going the longest over anything. Is the fact that, you know, you're making somebody have a better day. I was going to quit many times, man. I was like, you know, I was just going to, I was like, you know what? This is just insane. I'm spending way too much time doing this. Did that today? Hey man, thumbs up then. I wins broke a power pole. Damn, dude, that is some shit luck, man. Man, every day is not going to be a good day. That's why I try to tell people, you know, if, if you're having a shit day, don't stream. Content's not worth the content. The content reduction's not going to be worth it. Like this week, man. This weekend, I'm gonna be honest, man. I was like. I was ready to game all weekend long. And then I got hit with the, my body just telling me I needed to sleep, dude. It was like, catch up on some sleep, hang out with the wife, relax. And it's all good. You know what I mean? Cause me sitting there droned out, not answering any questions, not trying to be like, you know what I mean? It's just not, it's not worth it. It's not. Like I like to be on my game when I'm streaming. You know what I mean? At least for the first three hours, four hours. Cause after that, it's just like, you're into extra innings and you never know what's going to happen, right? It's, it's only, you can only, you can only talk about the same subject over and over and over again. Like today, it's like I've been beaten to death with gold rush questions, but it's all right. Cause everybody's, you know, irritated and pissed off and, but eventually that will pass and then we'll be talking about something else and it'll be worse. No damage to my property. That, that is true, man. At least it's only a uh, power for a couple days, man. Oh, no. Careful, bro. Oh, baby. Excavators are made.
Yeah, streaming sounds harder than being married. Uh, it depends on how you look at it, right? Like I, I look at this as a business. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie or front to anybody. Um, if it wasn't, if I didn't make money doing this, I wouldn't be doing it anymore. Because you know the economy, the way the economy is, and I do have a full time job, but you know what I mean. That don't pay for anything anymore, really. <laughs> so. You know, if, you know, if I wasn't making at least enough money to cover what I'm doing and, you know, some, some food in the fridge and maybe a couple date nights, then I would just have to call and go get another job. That's just reality, right? So I'm very thankful for what I'm able to do. And, you know, I, I always sit down and I always wonder, am I bringing them enough content to justify what they're giving me? And I never feel that that answer is ever enough. Like, so I always, I'm always harder on myself than anybody could ever be. It's just, you know. Because every day I try to learn something. Or every day I try to be better. Some days I'm not going to be. Some days I'm just a royal pain in the ass. You guys have heard me. Some days I'll come in, some will come in the chat and it goes right back to the don't stream me for pissed off. Yeah. Tell me you're a tech guy. See what fucking happens. <laughs> Tell me you're a tech guy. Watch what happens. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, you know, you know when I get pissed off I fight dumb with dumb. All right. I just go dumb It doesn't it doesn't matter. I don't care if I win an argument or if I look better for winning it I will fight stupid with stupid every day because it's fun If you tell me one plus one is two I will tell you a hundred times that you're wrong just to be stupid When you get me pissed off on a bad day <laughs> This <laughs> Sometimes that's the greatest content, apparently. That's what you guys love the most, so I don't... <laughs> like, bro, your stupid arguments are the best. Sometimes I just believe them, dude. Or I, I, I literally thought one plus one was potato. I'll leave a very compelling argument. <laughs> that's why we have a Tide Pod and a short bus emoji. <laughs> this is what's up, dude. Keep telling one plus one is three. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's fun. Streaming is fun, man. When things are going good and you stop dwelling on the numbers and what views you're getting, and you're actually interacting with people, streaming is great, man. Stream is good. Streaming's like hanging out with like a hundred of your best buddies, and none of them can respond to you really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what, Bill? Why don't you sit in that corner and shut the fuck up, bro? No, just kidding. Drink that beer and hand me another one. Anyway, that's my ramble for the day on how to be a horrible streamer. Yeah, dude. Conserve that battery, buddy. It takes a lot to get me pissed off. I always go for the content versus being pissed. I'm just very, very curious when it comes to like how people are on the internet. I think that's where my, my thing comes from. Oh, we're getting some power flickers, so... And we're getting close to the end of the stream, so be, if I if I dip out, that is what's going on. But we are in a windstorm right now, too, as well. Hey, what's up, Mark? Yeah, true. Let me go ahead and drop a save here. We made... Oh, man, that's a lot of progress today. 8 o'clock? Okay, I got, I got a little little bit longer here. You gotta cook some grub, go see how the wife's doing. She's a little under the weather today. Spend some time with her. We're heading out to work. Yep, I will be streaming tomorrow. I should be here at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I'm on, I'm on all nighter anyway, so we'll see. I'm tr I'll try my best. 
I need at least six hours sleep when I when I go for 24 hours. So because today my sleep schedule is all out of whack and because uh, I was kind of just sleeping all willy nilly this weekend. So yep, that's what happens. But I will have the time lapse recording out tonight. I will be in discord for a little bit uh, chilling uh, while I'm doing that and cooking some dinner. So. If you're a VIP member and you got uh, your Discord all synced up, come on in. Say what's up. Hey, dude. I appreciate that, man. And very much appreciate that. Wife says thank you as well, too. Yeah, yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, man. No problem, dude. Thanks, that. Thank you guys for being here, man. You guys have been watching legit for like six hours, seven hours straight almost. Appreciate that. All right, we are almost full. Yeah, I just want to finish out the end of this cut here. Just want to finish out the edge. Man, that was that was a nice cut string. Let's see. Tomorrow I should be able to come in and put out probably. I, you know what? I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do it all tomorrow, but I'm gonna put a big hit in it. I'm going to put a big hit in this cut. Oh, hey, Mark, dude. Sorry if I missed that 19 minutes ago, dude. Sorry about that, brother. All right. Okay. So let's see. Oh, that's a lot of money. We got a lot of money saved up. We got, I think I'm at, let's see, one, three, I think about seven million saved up. Rothmeyer. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I was like, you subbed on both. And I looked over and I didn't see two marks. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hmm, guessing game. Yeah, you didn't notice YouTube's obviously my main platform. I try not to neglect Twitch, but sometimes it happens. They get too quiet and I forget. I'm actually, sometimes I actually forget I'm streaming to Twitch. Even at the end of the night, I'm like, oh man, I forget to raid somebody. I feel so bad. Like, cause I try to raid my out of wars. You know what I mean? I try, I try my best to raid all the guys uh, playing. I always try to go to the guys that are the smaller ones that need the most loving. So. A couple of the nights, like a couple weeks ago, I, I just totally spaced off. It's new to me back to be back on uh, on Twitch and be on both platforms. The progress in the damnation cut. It's getting there. It's hard to tell where the damn thing is with the... Uh, you guys are right. I do need to put some Jersey barriers down. I can barely see where the damn cut line is versus the ramp. I'm going to run off the side. All right. We got, I got this going here. We're almost there towards the end of this cut. This side. So then what I'm going to do is tomorrow I will feather in the ramp, smooth out the bottoms so I can get closer to the next cut wall. I'll take another couple strips. Mine inspector's coming for me. Uh, is a special software free to stream on both separately? Uh, no, you just got to run like plugins and stuff like that for OBS. There's there's add-ons that you can use stream to uh, multiple platforms, but on the same broadcast. But you still have to magnify the amount of uh, bit rate that you're sending. All right, so I send 20,000 bit rate to YouTube for 1440p, like native 1440p uh, quality. And then Twitch gets uh, 6,000 uh, bit rate because that's the maximum that they allow you to do as a, an affiliate. So I 
I was doing kick for a couple days, but my computer, the uh, OBS was having some encoder issues, which was really weird. It kept telling me that my, it kept telling me my coder was over overloaded, but it wasn't, which I didn't understand why it was doing that. It made no sense. But I just said F it and dropped kick because like literally nobody watches there. So it's pretty much a gambling website anyways, right? I mean, most of the people that stream there are like IRL streamers and like people that were like banned off of, off of Twitch. Keep on scooping here, bros. There are a lot. You know, their app is very. Their app is really crap. I was. I'm not a fan of their app and like their API and stuff like that's kind of garbage and, and they need a lot of work. Hey, hey, John, dude, take it easy, brother. Take it easy, man. We feel so left out. Ah, you guys are chill. You guys are. You guys are nestled right next to my YouTube chat, so. Your guys is actually easier to read Twitch chat because the position I have it in. Like I can't put any, I can't put any. Oh God, I wasn't even started on that one. What a noob. <clears throat> I can't put any chat on my left monitor, my left monitor over there because I'm legally blind in my left eye. Like it's, it's just, it's, it's shit. It's garbage. So like when I'm looking directly in, into my middle monitor, I can read most of chat on my right eye just by glancing at it for a second. If I do the same thing to my left, it's, I have to like stop, look at it and focus. So, and right above my chat monitor, my other mon one of my other monitors, my fourth little smaller monitor has a picture of the game. So when I read chat, I can still play the game at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Like most of the time I'm always looking at my chat, right? Like I'm rarely ever looking at my middle monitor anymore. You guys have just been too busy, dudes. Honestly. You guys have been, you guys have been killing it, man. Especially like the last, like the first, like six, five weeks of this patch. There was what a hundred plus of you guys, 120 in here, 150 every night for like eight hours straight. And then Twitch was holding about 20 to, uh, to 35. That's a lot of chat messages. It's no wonder my brain's like numb. I'll be honest, man, when it gets like that sometimes, and you try to read as much chat as you possibly can and play your game, it is nice to have some days where the viewership's a little on the lower end and chat's a little slower. It does. It is nice. Cause you guys were killing it, man. Five to five to eight thousand chat messages a night, non-spam. Yeah, there is those days where chat will literally just like, I'm not even like any part of it, really. Oh, those days are great. We're like chats just buzzing, dude. And they're, all they're doing is talking with the, with each other. That's those are great days. I, I like those days. Cause then I'm not like, I don't feel like I have to like perform. You know what I mean? Cause streaming is entertaining, right? So you do have to perform like dance monkey, right? <laughs> You get out there and perform for us. You better make us laugh or else. You know, so it is nice to see you guys chat. I, I said, that's one of the things I like the most. One of the things I like the most. I love seeing you guys communicating with each other, whether it's in discord, hanging out, making friends. That shit's like, I just, I don't ever try to interfere with that. That's great. I 
I'm really just curious why you're not just stringing a couple of rows of hoppers with you and going into a container because I'm not allowed to on this save. This is a hard hard mode uh, role play save. I'm not allowed to really be using any wash plant setups locally and I'm not allowed to run conveyor belts and things like that over long distances. So it's just part of the uh, viewer challenge with a what the viewers let me let me do. The fact that they let me use any hopper like I was just storing Pater is a miracle. So like 80% of everything you see that I moved out of here was either blasted or was dug and ran up the hill through the plant or just recently into the hopper. As of this last week, everything else was either dozed or anything like that. Dozed, dug, or, or whatnot, the good old fashioned way. No gimmicks. Oh, trust me, if I was if I was doing belt mining or blast mining, this project would be done already. I'd already be on to like two more projects by now. It's all about that grind. So. Well, yeah, then you try, exactly you try to look over and see what the hell they've been talking about. That's where, like I tell people, it's like it's like an art form to be able to jump in to chat's conversations that they're having amongst each other to try to figure out the flow of chat. That it is it is an art form to do that. Oh yeah, dude, this this is a this is a pure save, man. And any any big decisions that get made, I vote we vote on them. So the last major decision that was made where we did a vote was whether or not I can buy building blocks because I'm not allowed to buy anything. I'm not allowed to buy anything. I have to make it. If I want it, I have to make it. Now chat did, we did take a vote and this was a two day vote because I'm, there's a potential of me not being able to finish this project because of time. And, and so the vote was, can I buy building uh, cement blocks and cement products? but I have to add a 50% tax. So if I spend a million dollars on blocks, I got to put $500,000 away. And I can't, I can't use it on anything other than decoration blocks and things like that. So I can't use it to buy more blocks later down the road. Right, so that was, uh, I, all these decisions, if we go to alter something on the original, on this playthrough, you guys are the ones that vote on it. Right, so there just hasn't been any votes in a little while because I'm just on cruise control, right? So. There hasn't been a need to really because I'm, I'm i think i'm making a good pace on the progress and you know there's no risk for me having to restart anytime soon i don't think as far as the games end so i don't mind how long it's gonna take three seven i i estimated around was i think i said like five to, to seven hundred hours on season four and we've been going for two months now on the same project uh with these hard hardcore settings so Hey, hey, Jonah, I'll give you guys a little bit more time, a little bit more time. But I do got to hurry up and uh, get this video edited out for the night and creep around the corner here. Yeah, it's definitely a, um, it's a long road, but uh, for me, I've always liked the longer content. It gives me something to kind of do. And, um, yeah, I, I, I always worry about burning you guys out, right? Am I taking too long? Is it worth it to do it hardcore? Does anybody really care if I'm doing it hardcore? I always wonder these things, right? You know what I mean? Like, does anybody really care about it? Or is it just kind of like a, let's watch them suffer? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so let's see. So what... Did it take, what, is, what does it take tax break while, wait, what, hold on, what? Oh, the tax break. Wasn't it a big donation? Uh, yes, that was, um, one of our, one of the viewers, Den, Den Brock, he said, what is it to bribe, what is it to bribe the chat? Pretty much in a sense. 
for letting Split not have the taxation for the week. And pretty much he said, I'll give 50 gifteds and to remove the tax for a week. And that night in total, he ended up doing 60 gifted subs. I was like, wait, what? Well. And yeah, so that was, that's what, he, that's what he, that's what he did. So that's why I, I was grinding my ass off to make sure I give him the, give him his money's worth, dude. Like, I was like, dude, no, bro, I gotta, I gotta put the pedal down here. I need to start making money. Like, and that's why, like, I, I started doing the digging the way I'm doing it, where I was loading up a hopper and then filling up my wash plants in the static gold recovery, right? You got amazing views? Yeah, dude. I'm very blessed with the community that I have that supports me, man. Without a doubt. These guys are absolutely crazy, dude. For some of my size, dude, last month, well, no, well the month before, dude, these guys gifted a, almost a hundred, almost a thousand, actually. Sorry, a thousand gifted. And then last month was like 500 and something gifted subs. That's absolutely stupid for a channel my size. Honestly, it really is. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, so, I mean, like I said, man, these guys have been insane throughout the years, and you guys get you guys are getting even more crazy as this last year was insane. Yeah, let me here's some numbers. Last year, I did more in every aspect than I had in six years of playing Gold Rush. Six years. The whole channel, everything, split in two gaming as a business. Last year, I did more in every aspect last year than the whole thing combined. Views, likes, comments, everything. Like, that's how crazy last year was compared to uh, all the years combined. Yeah, I was saying, man, last year was nuts. Last year was absolutely crazy, and you guys were a massive part of it, and... And last year was just a, um, last year was pretty much just me trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the channel because I was about ready to stop. Like, uh, I think it was, I think it was like September before Out of War came out. I was, you know, like, I was like, you know, I just don't know if I'm going to do this anymore. And I was just playing some random games, not very motivated to, to want to do anything. I heard playing the same game day in and day out, you know, with no hope inside for there ever being an update or anything like that, right? It was just like, you know, here's what it is. Out of War came along. You know, it, really, it definitely it definitely sparked my 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 creativeness to come more out. I started making videos, which I'd never done really before, and started trying to turn the channel into something a little bit different. Uh, trying to definitely interact with you guys a lot more having way less time is uh, the hard thing for me right now. So that's why some days I'm just going to say, nope, you know what? We're not playing out of war today. We're going to play a game where I can play with you guys. And uh, if I'm not playing a single player game, I'm going to be definitely playing a multiplayer game that I can play with you because there's no point in playing a single player game for 30 hours a week and then jumping in and playing a game where I can't play with you guys. That makes no sense. So last year it was just coming up with a with a, a whole new thing, which is why I brought the um I like this like the seasons. So season three was one of those things. Uh Wilds, I do thank you much for that uh, subman over here. Appreciate that dude. That's why like see I noticed that season one thing I did notice is that you guys really seem to like my challenges, my viewer challenges, even on farm sim on Twitch back when I was doing that. You guys really seem to gravitate towards being able to put the the dick into me. Even though you guys know I'll do it without having any problems, you guys still like to be involved, and that's one way I could involve you guys in day-to-day -day decisions on the save. And uh, you know, in dis anytime we anytime where I had a decision where it's like, should I do this or should I do this? Let's let chat decide. You know, so you guys seem to really like that format when I did it in Gold Rush, Farm Sim, uh, Out of War season. Pretty much season three and season and this season, right? So that's where it was. Uh, you guys, like I said, you guys seem to like it. So polish it up, keep polishing it, polish it, polish it, polish it, polish it, and uh, try to come up with a format that the viewers like. 
it seems like you guys have been really enjoying season four so season five i'm gonna polish it even more and just keep making the format better right there's no no reason to change something hardcore when it's working so oh gosh damn it stupid export everyone loves out of war we all we all yearn for the mines yeah the mining the mining seems to be like my dopey laughed at me man she was like when out of war started taking off she was like you go and watch my very first out of war video you can tell how hesitant i was on playing this game because of brexburg the very first version of this game technically i was like you could hear my hesitant i even said in my discord f this game i was like dude it's gonna you know, be a scam you just canceled this first game now we're making us making us buy this like, you could hear it you could hear it in my voice dude and i was just like no and i was like you know what okay fine screw it i'm just gonna give it a chance i'm gonna talk to him it's been a couple of years since i chatted with him and uh, we had some really good conversations, and you know, this is where we're at now, right? So the guy was uh, the guy did something extremely crazy. I did not expect him to do, and it earned a lot of respect in my book, honestly. When he gave out of war out to everybody who bought Brexburg, when he did that, that was the moment that well, I was like, you know what? He could put me a, di a giant pile of dog shit in my hand, and I'd probably still love it because. That right there, no, no, most other developers would not do, or most other people would not do, especially indie devs. They take the money and run, and come back in and stab you again. And uh, that's why I started playing Out of War and backing him, and trying to get people to stream it, and try to get people to play it, and make videos, and and just have you know, and, and have fun, engaging comment, uh, you know, commentary about the game, and just just hang out, right? And look at all the friends that we've made, man. Like, it's it's really good. Like, Gold Rush back in the day was very cutthroat. And, like, everybody was fighting for views. And everybody was trying to stab each other in the back. And uh, this is just a whole different story, man. Like, it is. It's a lot It's a lot more fun to be a part of the community and, and the streamers and the video creators. And watching people do their thing and growing on their own accord. And... But, yeah, it's been nice to kind of be like the, the the goat of this game as well too it's kind of insane just like digging holes <laughs> i just like digging them holes you know if it ain't broke don't fix it yep Fair warning, I'm gonna be looking up that Vindy video in a bit. <laughs> My ch I'm not gonna be lying, old geez old geezer man. Dude, as soon as that first video hit like 13,000 views in like 40 minutes, dude, I was like, I love this game. <laughs> I was like, Looks like I know what I'm playing. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, you don't you don't see those type of views as, as a creator my size. Would you get as many views in a video in like five hours as you have in subscribers? That's a big deal. You're like, holy shit. <laughs> nah, it got it got fun real quick though. It did. I mean, like I said, it's the engagement between the people. Whole new whole new group of people to chat with, right? And everybody's everybody's be trying to be positive and optimistic and Everyone wants to just chat about things that could be theory craft, right? That's what I'm having the most fun. That's what I'm that's where I'm having the most fun. Found out of order for you. I was doing mining in uh, FS22 and dropped in come over this. Have you ever tried to make your own assets for a game? Yes. I actually developed a um, two concepts. 
uh, Baron T Gold, but I split the game up into two. And I sold off two concepts to uh, publishing companies. Uh, for one was above the ground, was above on the water, like barge dredging, like Christine Rose. And the other one was a underwater version. So dredging under the water. I'm not a coder, so I don't have the skills to do that. But I can concept the game down to the point where it just takes somebody that knows how to code really well to uh, literally make the game. But concept the whole thing out, it works. It's just, we need, they just, you know, they just got to assign a dev team to build it at this point. So I took small payout and percentage of sales if, when the game gets made. It's the deal that I took. Oh, I don't, I don't build models, really. I, I build them very basic because it's a concept. You don't need to actually build the models. I'm not a modeler. I tried learning Blender as well as Unreal as well as C++ all at the same time and my brain almost exploded. So, yeah, that wasn't, that was not uh, smart. Sorry, I'm sneezing. But yeah, that's what I... That's my extent of... Um, I've actually uninstalled Unreal again because I just... It's taking too much time away from making and streaming. And I have a full-time job, which I got to get off of here for. So... <laughs> Gonna drop a save. Second, while this does its thing. Okay. See. See. Learning now 3D modeling now. Blender's giving me a run right now. Makes you want to go to school for this. Like I was just trying to learn way too much all at one time because I was working on all these concepts. I love building worlds in Unreal and just decorating. I love doing that. I love just building towns and these cool scene like scenes and stuff like that. I've, I've always, I've built thousands of worlds and just deleted them for nothing. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, everything I, everything I always do, I never feel like I do good enough. So that's my biggest problem in life, I guess. And especially when it comes to anything that has art to it or design like that. I don't know. I, I, it's just something I, so that's pretty much been my, uh, thing. That's why I prefer streaming over over making videos because on a stream it's just live. It is what it is. Right? You mess up, it is. There it is. Deal with it. But videos, I can sit and critique it a million times to the point where it never comes out. Right? And yeah. Yep. That's what's up. We uh save the drone footage here too as well. I would love to stay and stream longer tonight. I have to edit this video out real quick here. And I gotta cook dinner. Hang out with the wife before I go to work. Uh, okay, it's only a few frames. It doesn't really matter. It's just cash. Let's go on a flight. Let's go see what we did. So I cut the bench in today. <laughs> and then started, I, I didn't think I was actually going to get to running the bench today, but... Damn... All right, here we go. Put the bench in. That means I need to, I need to push out this side first. I need to figure out what I'm doing with this. So that way I can move forward on the project. Whether I make a nice curved into the thing and kind of then doze everything down into this wall, whatnot. Weaponized and flyable. Hell yeah, dude. Then that when when modding comes available, dude, you should put it into Out of War. Okay, so need I definitely need to push out this canyon even more. Right, so I need to push out to at least probably tomorrow. I'll probably do a lot of pushing on this side. I would like to get the cut more. Maybe maybe I'll stop and let's just get a cut section put in. 
think I'd probably be the best. Let's just run a bunch of stuff and stockpile a bunch of money. I guess I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna focus on just doing that and halt on this side. I've done a lot of work over here this last week and some change. From here all the way in and the road putting put in. I did a lot of work. So I'm actually wanna strip a layer pack. I wanna go all the way back. So if I gotta go three layers, I'm gonna do it in sections. I'm gonna take one layer first where the loader's at, that layer. And then I'll come in here and fix up this area. And then I'll prep for a whole nother layer again. And that's getting me closer to my final depth that I need in this damnation cut. So it's getting closer. Getting close. But I do have a lot of money saved up. So for, not a lot, but you know, enough to give me some damage to hold me through. Enough to finish that corner, that retaining wall, uh, and so on and so forth. So let's see here. One second, bear back to the Sorry about that. Check on the wife. I think she was she was knocking on the uh, the wall. She needed me for something there. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So yeah, I think that's probably gonna what I'm needing to do because I need to break up the monotony in this cut. If I if I don't break it up, what's gonna happen is it's gonna feel the burn even more. So I need to to I need to fill this in a little bit and make the road a little bit better on the side. I'm gonna come down the hill like I've been doing, right? I'm going to strip all this out up to that little road area, leave the side. And then I'm going to, actually I can do the whole thing. I can just make a little ramp up there. So I need to go into that back corner, dig all that out all the way up to here. And then I need to build that retaining wall on the back side. And then once I do that, I think I'm going to prep the next cut in. Got to eventually buy blocks at some point and finish off that first face of the dam. Got to finish off the blocking here. In this section. Don't need to block off anything right there at the moment. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. I think that's what I'm going with. Yeah, I want to get some stuff ran. Uh, let's take one second here and go take a look at the ruck itself. Go take a look over here. Do we have a gold bar total? What are we at here? Nope. Nope. Okay. What do we have? Do we have any? Anything? Nope. I think. Oh, we do. Okay, we do have some. I was like, I thought some of these I filled up earlier for the last run. Yeah, we got a little bit more. My goal was like 10 million, hopefully. Oh, another tax-free week would be great. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> another tax-free week would be amazing. And we got gold ore in here. And what I'll do is I'll stock that back up tomorrow when we get running. So that'll give me another massive passive while we're running all that material up the hill. And I think I need to restock my box, possibly. Or, no, yeah, maybe not. 
I don't think I will. I think tomorrow will pretty much just be hitting it hard. I got I got to hit that hard. I got to put the hours in on the cut. I should be I should be able to get at least half, if not seventy five percent of that cut done tomorrow. If I can do if I can hit it that hard and run all that up this hill, ooh, that's looking good. Because <clears throat> let's see here. So I need to run all of this right. So I'm gonna start probably from here and push out all of this. All right, get all that dished out. That shouldn't take too, too long to get this pushed out. Some of this will start hitting bedrock in this corner. I'll probably start hitting bedrock up in here. I'll probably hit a good fat bedrock right in this area. Because we're already hitting the bedrock up here already as it is on this side of the cut. So I'll probably hit more bedrock out here. So I'll probably have a good sliver of bedrock to run up the hill. And that'll also give me some cement blocks that I can start making as well. And it's pay all the way. It's So I did some testing. We did the drill testing. Find out how deep the actual bedrock was here. And I won't hit it on this layer. I might hit a little bit back in here. Possibly, maybe, or just barely scraping bedrock. So more than likely, I'm not going to hit it anywhere in here. Because this all came down this hill right here. Coming down. So yeah, I need to push this out. So... When I talk about the offshoot, see, I need to, this needs to be more out here, actually, now that I look at it. So, yeah, it's definitely coming off at the wrong angle. It's too, it's too, too much. This needs to come out more and then bend over like that way and then kind of do like an S or not. I was thinking possibly just run this straight and then over it might be faster because I got to doze this whole mountain into here, right? So that's the other problem. <laughs> Okay, how much money do we got? Let's take a look. Let's go take a look at the uh, the box here. Before we uh, jump out of here and not delete anything that's here, please. That would suck. All right, gold bars. So, gold bar wise, I am sitting at... The 40,000 gold bars. Like 47,000. 1,000. Nice. And we got some diamonds. And we got 6,000 gold ore right there. And I have the wash plant from what I ran today. Let's go take a look at the wash plant. The old big old turbo trauma wash plant seems to be working pretty good for us. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, we did for having that long of a drive going up the hill. And we got about 4,500 gold today out of that. That's not bad. We also got 1,000 silicon. Got 1,500 ruby. Got about 838. Plus 13,000 a stack. So I think I fared pretty well today on production and just overall moving of material. So farmed over 700,000. Pulled the trigger, just finished downloading it. All right, so now I got to load up the machines. I have to load everything up. So that's a nice, good amount of material. I'll load the diamonds and stuff like that in first on tomorrow. We'll do that. That'll, that'll help out with the stack and everything. These will also sell too. Gold, we have another, that's another 1.47 million right there. Good start. So that five, you know, four and a half stacks. 1.4 uh, we're about set with 7 point like 7.5 million roughly actually more than that like probably almost 8 probably 8 and a half million that's what I say I have saved up in just gold once it's smelted and I sell it so that's not too bad that's not too bad I'll, I'll take it that works for me not too bad for just kind of like slacking this week, last two weeks. All right, so when I push all this in, plus smelting the next couple days, we should definitely be over 10 million by Friday, maybe 12 million by Friday. Yep, 12 million by Friday would be nice. That would be that would be a good goal. 12 million by Friday. I don't really need to spend money on explosives right now, so that's good to go. I do that. Trying to think here. Got to do a little bit of a, a breakdown, right? 
any starter tips you should know uh before i go uh yes uh definitely jump in if you played any other mining games jump in and change all the controls to something you already know because the controls for this game are kind of ass so but the best thing about this game one of the best things is the amount of different controls that you can do right so you can do keyboard controller or joysticks dual joysticks all that stuff so that's one of the things i recommend the most if you're already used to playing the game jump in and change yours i use all basic gold rush uh defaults i use all default um goal rush keyboard controls and mouse so that's just what i'm used to so i use those so if you already have a play in the game that you play then just change them to those that'd be one of the the number one things i'd say as a new player to do is just make your own keybinds because the game gives you the power to do that is controller fairly decent yeah i know a lot of people that play in controller and they have no problems it's just a couple janky little things you got to change here and there but not too bad. You still looking for those steel steps? Nope. No, I'm not. But dudes, I gotta run, dudes. I'm like an I'm like 45 minutes past. I got very little time to get this video. I gotta speed rush this uh time lapse video. But I'm gonna drop one more save here. And uh I will catch you guys tomorrow on stream. Let's drop this save and let's find someone to raid on Twitch. Uh see if we have any any homies over there. As well as thank all you guys who jumped in and Gave some beastly ass support today. We got um, DMS Nation. He's also over on Twitch, dudes. Make sure you guys go and give him a follow. He was a funny dude, man. I was watching him the other day. He was playing in uh, Out of War. Make sure you guys go over and give him some love if you guys have not already. Make sure you guys do that. Um, yeah, big old donation today, top D of the day, as well as uh, Snippy dropping the uh, ten bomber. The uh, the gifted dudes. And if you guys got them, if you guys see the, if you see uh, Snippy in the chat, dudes, make sure you, you got a gifted. Or any of these guys that may do be giving the gifted, make sure you guys give them a big giant thank you the next time we stream. But uh, bros, I'm out. Get you guys. Oh, you know, hold on, I gotta find someone. Out again, even though I just said it. Streamer. Horrible. Who do we got? Do we got anybody in the out of war? Kinda, it was kind of dead the last two days. I went to go look for someone to freaking watch and like nobody was on. Like, where are all the out of war streamers? Maybe it's because it was Easter. Maybe that's my bad. <laughs> it was Easter, noob. That's where we all were. Well, the only other person streaming right now is our good boy Dark Tree Gaming. So I'm gonna send you guys on over there. Make sure you guys show the love. I'm sure you guys most of you guys are followed, but if you're not, make sure you guys drop a follow and say hello. Dark. So that the uh, widow looker loves him. Raid this guy here, guy. All right, no problem, dude. No problem at all. You'll definitely be able to help out a little bit more. I'm just in a, in a time crunch here. <laughs> like, like falling behind here, just kind of chilling, chatting. Let's uh, let's raid this guy out, dudes. All right, guys, I'm out. Get you guys tomorrow around 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Take a take a look for the uh, notice. But if you don't join Discord, we'll add everybody there, and uh, yeah, I'll be around. Be around for sure. All right, it's peace.